situations and different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. What happened? What's bothering you? It's my neighbor's dog. They leave it outside to bark for hours, especially in the middle of the night. I can barely get any sleep. Ugh, that does sound irritating. Have you talked to them about it? I've tried, but they don't seem to care. I even left a polite note, but nothing's changed. That's frustrating. Maybe you could call the local animal control or noise complaint line if it continues. Yeah, I might have to resort to that if things don't improve. It's just so inconsiderate. I completely understand. Annoying neighbors can be a real headache. Is there anything else bothering you? Well, my coworker keeps playing loud music in the office, and it's distracting. I need some peace and quiet to focus. That's tough. Maybe you could suggest using headphones or talking to your supervisor about the issue. I might have to. Although I wish people could just be more considerate of others. I agree. Annoying situations like these can be tough to deal with, but hopefully, they'll get better soon. He's forever complaining about this country. You know what really gets on my nerves? He's forever complaining about this country. Yeah, I've noticed that too. It seems like he always finds something to criticize. I mean, I get it, no place is perfect. But it's not like he's doing anything to make it better. All he does is complain. True, it can be frustrating when someone constantly focuses on the negatives without offering any solutions. And it's not like he's been anywhere else to compare. He just acts like this place is the worst. Have you ever tried talking to him about it? Maybe he has valid concerns or frustrations he wants to express. I've attempted to, but he just brushes it off and continues ranting. It's like he enjoys being a perpetual critic. Well, sometimes people use complaining as a way to vent their frustrations or seek attention. It might not always be about the actual issues. I guess you're right. I'll try to be more patient with him, but it's still annoying when he starts on one of his rants. I understand. Hopefully, he'll find a more constructive way to channel his feelings about the country. On my way. Are you almost here? We're all waiting for you. On my way. Great. We can't wait to see you. It's been too long. Yeah, I've missed you all. I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Perfect timing. We just started setting up everything for the barbecue. Awesome. I'll bring some of those specialty sausages you love. That sounds delicious. And I've got the drinks covered. Just hurry up, we're all starving. I'm picking up some ice cream too. Dessert is sorted. You're the best. See you soon. Can't wait to catch up and enjoy some good food.
No thanks. Hey, would you like to try some of this new spicy salsa I made? It's really flavorful. No thanks. Are you sure? It's got just the right amount of kick, not too overwhelming. No, really, I'm good. Thanks for offering though. Okay, no problem. More for me, I guess. By the way, did you watch the game last night? It was incredible. No, I didn't catch it. I'm not much of a sports fan. Oh, really? You're missing out on some exciting moments, you know. Yeah, I've heard. Just not my thing, I guess. Fair enough. So, any plans for the weekend? Not really, just gonna relax and catch up on some reading. Sounds nice. Well, if you change your mind about the salsa or want to hang out, you know where to find me. Will do, thanks. Enjoy your salsa and have a great weekend. Thanks, you too. Parking problems. Ugh, finding parking in this area is such a nightmare. Tell me about it. We've been driving around for ages, and there's no available spot anywhere. I can't believe how crowded it is. It's like everyone decided to come to this area at the same time. I know, right. And it's not just the lack of parking spaces, but also the confusing signs and restrictions. Absolutely. It's so frustrating trying to figure out where we can park without getting a ticket. Maybe we should consider a parking garage or lot nearby. It might cost a bit more, but at least we won't have to waste more time searching. That's a good idea. Let's check if there's one nearby. It's better to pay a little extra than drive around in circles. Agreed. Plus, it will save us from the stress and hassle. Let's find a parking garage and get on with our plans. Run. Hey, have you been running regularly lately? I heard you joined the running club. Yes, I've been running with the club for a few weeks now. It's been a great experience. That's awesome. How often do you run with them? Do you run every day? The club meets three times a week, and we run together for about an hour each time. That sounds like a good routine. Have you run any races with the club yet? Not yet, but we're planning to participate in. A local marathon next month. I'm excited. That's impressive. I think you'll do great. Have you ever run a marathon before? Yes, I ran one a few years ago. It was challenging, but crossing the finish line was an incredible feeling. I can only imagine. Running a marathon is a remarkable accomplishment. Did you run with a specific goal in mind? Absolutely. I ran to challenge myself and push my limits. It's a great way to improve both physically and mentally. I admire your determination. I think running can be a transformative activity. Have you ever run for a charitable cause? Yes, I ran a charity race last year to raise funds for cancer research. It was a rewarding experience. That's inspiring. I think running for a cause adds extra meaning to the miles. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Your support means a lot. If you ever want to join me for a run, let me know. Theft Hey, I heard about the theft incident. Are you okay? 
Thanks for asking. It was quite a shock. Someone broke into my apartment and stole some valuable items. That's terrible. Did you report it to the police? Yes, I filed a report immediately. They are investigating the incident, but I'm not sure if they'll be able to recover anything. I hope they catch the thief and retrieve your belongings. Did you have insurance for the stolen items? Unfortunately, I didn't have insurance. It's a lesson learned the hard way. I never thought something like this would happen to me. It's unfortunate, but don't blame yourself. Theft can happen to anyone. It's important to prioritize safety measures going forward. You're right. I'll definitely be more cautious and take steps to enhance the security of my home. Is there anything I can do to help? Maybe assist you with replacing some of the stolen items? Thank you for your kind offer. It means a lot to me. Right now, I'm focusing on the investigation and taking care of myself emotionally. Of course, take the time you need to recover. If there's anything I can do to support you during this difficult time, don't hesitate to let me know. I really appreciate your support. It's comforting to know that I have friends like you by my side. I'll stay strong and work through this setback. I'm sorry for your loss. Hi, how are you doing? Not too well, actually. My grandfather just passed away. Oh no, I'm so sorry for your loss. How are you holding up? It's been tough. He was such an important figure in my life. I can imagine. Losing a loved one is never easy. If you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's just hard to believe he's gone. Of course. It's understandable to feel that way. Is there anything you want to talk about? Sometimes it can help to share memories or feelings. Actually, that would be nice. I have so many fond memories of my grandfather. He was always so kind and supportive. That's wonderful to hear. It sounds like he made a big impact on your life. He definitely did. I'm going to miss him a lot. I'm sure you will. Again, I'm sorry for your loss. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. At the airport. Hi, are you ready to check our bags? I hope the line isn't too long. Hey, yeah, I'm all set. Let's head over to the check-in counter and see how it goes. I hope they don't give us any trouble with our bags. I made sure mine fits the size requirements. Yeah, me too. I don't want any surprises at the counter. By the way, where are you off to? I'm heading to London for a family reunion. It's been a while since I've seen everyone. How about you? I'm going to New York for a business meeting. Just a quick trip this time. So, what do we do once we reach the counter? We'll need to show our tickets and ids, and then they'll weigh our backs. We should also ask about any additional fees. Right, we don't want any unexpected charges. I hope our bags are within the weight limit. Don't worry, I weighed mine at home. It should be fine. Oh, look, it's our turn now. Let's go. Great. Let's get this done quickly. I can't wait to get through security and relax at the gate. Agreed. Once we're done, we can grab a snack and maybe do a little shopping before our flight. Sounds like a plan. Let's go and get this checked bag situation sorted out. In my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in the Hey, welcome to our new home. Thanks for coming to our housewarming party. Thank you for inviting us. Your place looks amazing. The decorations are lovely, and everything is so well put together. Oh, I'm glad you like it. We spent a lot of time making it feel cozy and inviting. Please make yourself at home and enjoy the party. Absolutely. 
By the way, congratulations on your new home. It's such a milestone. How does it feel to finally settle in? Thank you. It feels incredible. It's been a whirl in getting everything set up. But now that we're here, it's like a dream come true. We're excited to create new memories and host gatherings like this. That's wonderful to hear. I can already picture the many gatherings and good times ahead. I'm sure your house will become the go-to spot for friends and family. We hope so. We wanted to create a warm and welcoming space for everyone. Thank you for being a part of our celebration today. It's my pleasure. Cheers to your new home and to many happy moments to come. Discussing future plans. Hey, I've been thinking about the future a lot lately. What are your plans for the coming years? Oh, the future can be both exciting and uncertain. I'm Samantha, by the way. Nice to meet you. As for my plans, I'm considering pursuing a master's degree in business administration. Nice to meet you too, Samantha. That's a great plan. An MBA can open up a lot of opportunities. Have you decided on any particular specialization? Thank you. I'm leaning towards focusing on marketing. I've always been fascinated by consumer behavior and brand management. That's fantastic. With your passion for marketing, I'm sure you'll excel in that field. As for me, I'm contemplating a career change. I've been working in finance for a while, but I'm considering transitioning into sustainable development. Wow. That sounds like a meaningful and fulfilling career path. The world definitely needs more people working towards sustainable solutions. What steps are you taking to make that transition? I've been taking online courses and attending sustainability conferences to gain more knowledge and network with professionals in the field. I'm also considering volunteering or interning at organizations focused on sustainability. That's a smart approach, taking proactive steps towards your goal. I'm sure you'll make a positive impact in the field. It's inspiring to see people pursuing their passions and making a difference. Thank you, Samantha. It means a lot to hear that. I believe it's important to align our careers with our values. I wish you the best of luck with your MBA and future endeavors. Likewise, it was great talking to you. Best of luck with your career change and your pursuit of sustainability. Let's stay in touch and support each other's journeys. Absolutely, Samantha. Let's definitely stay connected. Thank you for the encouragement. Have a wonderful day, and may all your future plans come to fruition. Do you have any desserts available? Hello, how can I help you? Do you have any desserts available? Absolutely. We have a delectable assortment of desserts to satisfy your sweet tooth. Our options range from classic favorites to indulgent creations. May I recommend a few? Yes, please. What would you suggest? One of our popular desserts is the Molten Chocolate Lover Cake. It's a warm, rich chocolate cake with a gooey center, served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. We also have a creamy New York style cheesecake with a choice of raspberry or caramel drizzle. And for a lighter option, we offer a refreshing mixed berry parfait with layers of fresh berries and whipped cream. Oh, those all sound delicious. I think I'll go with the molten chocolate lava cake. Excellent choice. Our lava cake is a crowd pleaser. Would you like any additional toppings or sauces with it? I'll have a scoop of chocolate ganache on top, please. Noted. I'll make sure your dessert is prepared to perfection. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Your molten chocolate lover cake will be served shortly. Enjoy your dessert. Thank you so much. I can't wait to indulge in it.
What's the most beautiful place you've ever visited? Hey, what's the most beautiful place you've ever visited? Oh, that's a tough question. I've been fortunate to visit many breathtaking places, but if I had to pick one, I would say Santorini in Greece. Santorini is known for its stunning views. What made it the most beautiful place for you? The iconic whitewashed buildings perched on cliffs overlooking. The deep blue Aegean Sea created a picturesque landscape that was unlike anything I had ever seen before. The sunsets were absolutely mesmerizing. It sounds absolutely magical. Did you have any memorable experiences in Santorini? Absolutely. Exploring the charming villages like Oya and Fira, tasting delicious Greek cuisine, and relaxing on the unique black sand beaches were all incredible experiences. The warmth and hospitality of the locals made it even more special. I can only imagine how wonderful it must have been. Are there any other destinations that come close to Santorini in terms of beauty? Yes, another place that left me in awe was the Plitvis Lakes National Park in Croatia. The cascading waterfalls, crystal clear lakes, and lush greenery created a natural paradise that felt like stepping into a fairy tale. That sounds like a hidden gem. I'll definitely add it to my travel list. Thanks for sharing your experiences. You're welcome. The world is full of incredible beauty, and exploring these places is a reminder of how diverse and awe-inspiring our planet is. Happy travels! Hey, I don't think we've met before. I'm Anna. Tell me about yourself. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Peter. I work as a graphic designer for a creative agency. I've always had a passion for art and design. So it's amazing to have a career that allows me to express my creativity. Besides work, I love traveling and exploring different cultures. I find it incredibly inspiring to see the world through a new lens. That's fascinating. What's the most memorable place you've traveled to? It's hard to pick just one, but I'd say my trip to Japan was unforgettable. The vibrant culture, beautiful landscapes, and delicious cuisine made it an incredible experience. I was particularly fascinated by the attention to detail in Japanese design and architecture. Japan sounds amazing. I've always wanted to visit. What other hobbies or interests do you have? I love capturing moments and preserving memories. It allows me to combine my love for art and storytelling. I also enjoy hiking and being in nature. It's a great way to disconnect from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and find inner peace. That's wonderful. Your passion for art, travel, and photography is inspiring. It's been great getting to know you. Let's enjoy the rest of the party and maybe exchange some travel stories later. Thank you. I've enjoyed our conversation too. Let's definitely catch up later and share some travel tales. Cheers to a fun-filled evening. Making introductions. Hi there. I don't believe we've met before. My name is Sarah. What's your name? Hello, Sarah. Nice to meet you. I'm John. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Likewise, John. So, what brings you here today? I'm actually attending this conference on artificial intelligence. It's been quite interesting so far. What about you? Oh, that sounds fascinating. I'm here for the same conference. I've always been intrigued by AI and its potential applications. 
I'm excited to learn more. That's great to hear. It's always refreshing to meet others who share similar interests. Have you been to any other conferences like this before? Yes, I've attended a few in the past. They've always been enriching experiences, providing valuable insights and networking opportunities. How about you? This is my first time attending a conference on AI. I'm hoping to expand my knowledge and connect with professionals in the field. Any recommendations on which sessions to attend? Absolutely. There's a panel discussion on ethical considerations in AI scheduled for later today. It's definitely worth checking out. I can give you more details if you're interested. That sounds like an important topic. I'd appreciate any information you can share. Thanks for the suggestion, Sarah. You're welcome, John. I'll be happy to fill you in on the details. It's been a pleasure meeting you, and I look forward to the conference discussions. Likewise, Sarah. Thank you for your kindness. Let's keep in touch throughout the conference and exchange insights. Enjoy the rest of your day. Absolutely, John. Let's definitely stay connected. Enjoy the conference as well, and have a wonderful day. Do you have any allergies I should be aware of? Hello, how can I help you? Do you have any allergies I should be aware of? Absolutely. We take allergies seriously to ensure a safe dining experience. Could you please let me know if you have any specific allergies or dietary restrictions? I'm allergic to peanuts and tree nuts. Thank you for letting me know. We have strict protocols in place to avoid cross-contamination. Our kitchen staff is well trained to handle allergies. Is there anything else I should be aware of? No, peanuts and tree nuts are the only allergies I have. Noted. Rest assured that we will take every precaution to accommodate your needs. If you have any questions about the menu or specific dishes, please don't hesitate to ask. That's reassuring. Thank you for your attention to detail. You're welcome. It's our pleasure to provide a safe dining experience for all our guests. If you need any assistance in choosing your meal, or have any special requests, please feel free to ask. We want to ensure your dining experience is enjoyable and worry-free. I appreciate that. I'll take a moment to look over the menu and let you know if I have any questions. Take your time. I'll be here to assist you. Just let me know when you're ready. Thank you for your help. It's my pleasure. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here to assist you. Have you ever traveled solo? Hey, have you ever traveled solo? Yes, I have. In fact, I highly recommend it. There's something liberating about exploring new places on your own terms. That's interesting. What made you decide to travel solo? I wanted to challenge myself and step out of my comfort zone. Traveling solo allows for self-discovery, independence, and the freedom to create your own itinerary. Were there any specific destinations that you enjoyed traveling solo to? Definitely. One of my favorite solo trips was to Thailand. The warm hospitality of the locals, the stunning beaches, and the vibrant street markets made it a perfect destination for solo exploration. Did you face any challenges while traveling alone? There were a few challenges, like language barriers and occasional moments of loneliness. However, those challenges were also opportunities to grow and connect with people in unexpected ways. That's inspiring. Do you have any tips for someone considering traveling solo for the first time? Absolutely. Research your destination, stay informed about safety precautions, and trust your instincts. Also, be open to meeting new people and immersing yourself in the local culture. Those are great tips. I might consider traveling solo myself. 
any other memorable experiences from your solo adventures? Oh, plenty. From hiking to breathtaking viewpoints to discovering hidden gems off the beaten path, every moment was filled with a sense of freedom and self-discovery. It sounds like an incredible journey. Thanks for sharing your experiences. Solo travel definitely seems like an enriching experience. You're welcome. It truly is. Whether it's a short getaway or a longer trip, solo travel has the potential to be transformative. Experiences Hey there. I couldn't help but notice your backpack. Are you a fellow traveler? Yes, I am. I love exploring new places. I'm Jane, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Jane. I'm Mark. So, what's the most memorable travel experience you've had so far? Oh, there are so many, but one that stands out is when I hiked through the Himalayas in Nepal. The stunning landscapes and the warmth of the local people left a lasting impression on me. How about you, Mark? That sounds incredible, Jane. As for me, I had an amazing time backpacking through Southeast Asia. The vibrant cultures, delicious food, and beautiful beaches made it a truly unforgettable journey. That sounds like a dream. I've always wanted to explore Southeast Asia. Any specific places you recommend? Absolutely. Thailand is a must visit, especially the bustling city of Bangkok and the stunning beaches of Phuket. Vietnam and Cambodia are also worth exploring for their rich history and breathtaking scenery. I'll definitely add them to my bucket list. Thanks for the recommendations, Mark. It's great to meet someone who shares a passion for travel. Likewise, Jane. It's always inspiring to connect with fellow travelers. If you ever need more travel tips or recommendations, feel free to ask. Safe travels and enjoy your future adventures. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. I wish you incredible journeys as well. Stay in touch and happy travels. Discussing future plans. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do Hey. I've been thinking about the future a lot lately. What are your plans for the coming years? Oh, the future can be both exciting and uncertain. I'm Samantha, by the way. Nice to meet you. As for my plans, I'm considering pursuing a master's degree in business administration. Nice to meet you too, Samantha. That's a great plan. An MBA can open up a lot of opportunities. Have you decided on any particular specialization? Thank you. I'm leaning towards focusing on marketing. I've always been fascinated by consumer behavior and brand management. That's fantastic. With your passion for marketing, I'm sure you'll excel in that field. As for me, I'm contemplating a career change. I've been working in finance for a while, but I'm considering transitioning into sustainable development. Wow, that sounds like a meaningful and fulfilling career path. The world definitely needs more people working towards sustainable solutions. What steps are you taking to make that transition? I've been taking online courses and attending sustainability conferences to gain more knowledge and network with professionals in the field. I'm also considering volunteering or interning at organizations focused on sustainability. That's a smart approach, taking proactive steps towards your goal. I'm sure you'll make a positive impact in the field. It's inspiring to see people pursuing their passions and making a difference. Thank you, Samantha. It means a lot to hear that. I believe it's important to align our careers with our values. I wish you the best of luck with your MBA and future endeavors. Likewise, it was great talking to you. Best of luck with your career change and your pursuit of sustainability. Let's stay in touch and support each other's journeys. Absolutely, Samantha. Let's definitely stay connected. Thank you for the encouragement. Have a wonderful day, and may all your future plans come to fruition. Making Introductions
Hi there. I don't believe we've met before. My name is Sarah. What's your name? Hello, Sarah. Nice to meet you. I'm John. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Likewise, John. So, what brings you here today? I'm actually attending this conference on artificial intelligence. It's been quite interesting so far. What about you? Oh, that sounds fascinating. I'm here for the same conference. I've always been intrigued by AI and its potential applications. I'm excited to learn more. That's great to hear. It's always refreshing to meet others who share similar interests. Have you been to any other conferences like this before? Yes, I've attended a few in the past. They've always been enriching experiences, providing valuable insights and networking opportunities. How about you? This is my first time attending a conference on AI. I'm hoping to expand my knowledge and connect with professionals in the field. Any recommendations on which sessions to attend? Absolutely. There's a panel discussion on ethical considerations in AI scheduled for later today. It's definitely worth checking out. I can give you more details if you're interested. That sounds like an important topic. I'd appreciate any information you can share. Thanks for the suggestion, Sarah. You're welcome, John. I'll be happy to fill you in on the details. It's been a pleasure meeting you, and I look forward to the conference discussions. Likewise, Sarah. Thank you for your kindness. Let's keep in touch throughout the conference and exchange insights. Enjoy the rest of your day. Absolutely, John. Let's definitely stay connected. Enjoy the conference as well, and have a wonderful day. Family life. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and miss me. Good morning, everyone. Breakfast is ready. Please come to the table. Good morning, Mom and Dad. We're coming. How did you sleep last night? I slept well, thanks. I had a dream about going to the beach. That sounds like a fun dream. Maybe we can plan a beach trip soon. I had a hard time falling asleep, but once I did, I slept okay. Is there anything on your mind that you want to talk about, sweetie? Well, I've been feeling a little stressed about school lately. The workload is piling up. We understand, and we're here to support you. Let's discuss a plan to manage your time better and reduce stress. We can also reach out to your teachers for any extra help you might need. I'm excited about the family picnic this weekend. Can we go to the park afterward? That sounds like a great idea. We can enjoy some outdoor activities together. Let's make a list of games and snacks to bring. Yay! We can't wait. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You're welcome, my darlings. Now, let's have a delicious breakfast and start our day off right. Good evening. I'm so glad we could finally meet up for dinner. It's been far too long. I completely agree. Life gets so busy sometimes, but I'm thrilled we could make this happen. This place looks amazing, by the way. Great choice. Thank you. I heard their food is exceptional, and the ambience is perfect for a relaxed evening. I hope you're hungry because the menu is quite extensive. I'm absolutely starving. I've been looking forward to this meal all day. What do you recommend? Is there anything on the menu that's a must try? Well, their seafood dishes are outstanding, especially the grilled salmon. And I've heard great things about their homemade pasta too. Let's explore the menu together and decide. That sounds fantastic. I love seafood, so the grilled salmon definitely has my attention. And pasta is always a safe bet. I'm excited to indulge in some delicious food and catch up with you. Me too. 
it's always great to have good food and even better company. So, tell me what's been happening in your life lately. Oh, you know, the usual. Work has been keeping me busy, but I recently started taking cooking classes. It's been so much fun experimenting with new flavors and techniques. That's fantastic. Cooking classes sound like a wonderful way to unwind and unleash your creativity. I'd love to try some of your culinary creations sometime. Absolutely. I'd be thrilled to have you over for a home cooked meal. We'll plan it soon. But for now, let's enjoy this dinner and make the most of our time together. Agreed. Here's to good food, great company, and making memories. Cheers. Cheers. I couldn't have said it better. Cheers to a fantastic evening and many more dinners like this in the future. Housewarming Party <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in the Hey, welcome to our new home. Thanks for coming to our housewarming party. Thank you for inviting us. Your place looks amazing. The decorations are lovely, and everything is so well put together. Oh, I'm glad you like it. We spent a lot of time making it feel cozy and inviting. Please, make yourself at home and enjoy the party. Absolutely. By the way, congratulations on your new home. It's such a milestone. How does it feel to finally settle in? Thank you. It feels incredible. It's been a whirl in getting everything set up. But now that we're here, it's like a dream come true. We're excited to create new memories and host gatherings like this. That's wonderful to hear. I can already picture the many gatherings and good times ahead. I'm sure your house will become the go-to spot for friends and family. We hope so. We wanted to create a warm and welcoming space for everyone. Thank you for being a part of our celebration today. It's my pleasure. Cheers to your new home and to many happy moments to come. Bar. Hey, fancy meeting you here. How's it going? Oh, hey. It's going well, thanks. I needed a break, so I thought I'd unwind at this bar. What about you? Same here. This place has a great ambience and the perfect vibe for a relaxing evening. Mind if I join you? Not at all. Grab a seat. What are you in the mood for? Cocktails or maybe something different? I'm feeling adventurous today. How about we try some of their signature cocktails? I've heard they're fantastic. That sounds like a plan. Let's order a couple of their specials and share our thoughts. It's always fun to explore new flavors together. Absolutely. I love discovering new tastes. So, how's life been treating you lately? Any exciting updates? Well, work has been demanding, but I'm managing. On a positive note, I recently picked up a new hobby photography. It's been a great way to unwind and express my creativity. That's wonderful. Photography can be so fulfilling. I'm glad you found an outlet for your artistic side. We should plan a photo walk sometime. Definitely. I'd love that. It's always more enjoyable to explore with a friend. Let's make it happen soon. Absolutely. Cheers to new experiences and great conversations. Here's to a memorable evening. Cheers. I couldn't agree more. Cheers to friendship and making the most of the present moment. Dancing Invitation Hey there, I wanted to invite you to a special event. There's a dance happening next weekend, 
and I thought it would be so much fun if you could join me. Well, thank you for thinking of me. That sounds like a great opportunity to let loose and have a fantastic time. I'd love to come with you. That's awesome. I knew you'd be up for it. It's going to be a lively night with great music and a vibrant atmosphere. Plus, it'll be a chance for us to show off our dance moves. I can't wait. I've been meaning to hit the dance floor for a while now. Do we need to dress up or is it more casual? It's a semi-formal event, so dressing up a bit would be perfect. Let's put on our stylish outfits and make a statement on the dance floor. Sounds like a plan. I'll make sure to bring my dancing shoes too. Are there any specific songs or dances we should brush up on? Not really. The DJ will be playing a mix of different genres. It'll be a mix of classic and modern hits, so we can groove to whatever comes our way. That's great to know. I'm looking forward to having a blast with you on the dance floor. Thanks again for the invitation. You're welcome. It's going to be an unforgettable night. Get ready to dance the night away and create some amazing memories together. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way in to be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The news if it's a loose shit. The stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Recipe Adaptations I wanted to make lasagna tonight, but I don't have all the ingredients. No problem. Let's get creative. What's missing? I'm out of ricotta cheese and fresh basil. Well, we could substitute cottage cheese for ricotta, and maybe use dried basil or oregano for the basil. That might work. What about the meat? It calls for ground beef, but all I have is ground turkey. Ground turkey is a lean option. Let's go for it and season it well. Thanks for being so flexible. Let's give it a shot. This is actually really good with the turkey and dried herbs. And the cottage cheese isn't bad at all. It's creamy like ricotta. Adaptation can lead to new discoveries in cooking. Plus, it's all about making the best of what you have. To culinary creativity. Cheers. And to a delicious improvised lasagna. to the guest room. Good evening. I'm a guest here, and I seem to have misplaced my room key. Is it possible to get a replacement? Good evening, sir. Of course, I can help you with that. 
May I have your name and room number, please? My name is James Johnson, and I'm staying in room 305. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. I apologize for the inconvenience. I'll arrange a replacement key for you right away. Please wait here while I retrieve it from the back office. Thank you for your assistance. Here is your replacement key, Mr. Johnson. Please remember to keep it in a secure place. And if you need any further assistance, feel free to contact our front desk. I appreciate your help. By the way, could you also provide me with directions to my room? I seem to have lost my way. Of course, sir. Room 305 is located on the third floor. You'll need to take the elevator on your left and exit on the third floor. Once you're out of the elevator, turn right, and your room will be the second one on the left-hand side. Thank you for the clear directions. I'll make my way to my room now. You're welcome, Mr. Johnson. If you have any further questions or need any assistance during your stay, please don't hesitate to reach out. Enjoy your evening and have a pleasant stay with us. How long will the flight take? Excuse me, do you happen to know how long this flight will take? Sure, I can help you with that. May I see your boarding pass, please? Of course, here it is. Thank you. According to the information on your boarding pass, the flight duration is estimated to be approximately 4 hours and 30 minutes. All right, thank you for letting me know. I was curious about the duration. You're welcome. Flight durations can vary depending on factors like weather conditions and air traffic, but the estimated time gives us a good idea of what to expect. That's true. I'll keep that in mind and plan accordingly. It's always a good idea to arrive at the airport on time and allow for some buffer time in case of any unforeseen delays. Additionally, remember to set your watches and devices to the local time at your destination. I'll make sure to do that. Thanks for the reminder. No problem. If you have any more questions or need assistance during the flight, feel free to reach out to the flight attendants. They're there to help make your journey comfortable and enjoyable. I appreciate the information. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Have a pleasant flight and a great time at your destination. Where to pick up baggage? Excuse me, could you please tell me where I can pick up my baggage? Of course. Once you exit the plane, you'll need to proceed to the baggage claim area. Do you know which carousel your flight's baggage will be on? I'm not sure. How can I find out? No worries. You can check the information screens located throughout the airport. They will display the flight numbers and corresponding baggage carousel numbers. Look for your flight number on the screen to determine which carousel you should proceed to. That's helpful. Thank you. Is the baggage claim area located in the same terminal where I arrived? In most cases, yes. The baggage claim area is typically located within the same terminal as your arrival. However, it's always a good idea to double check the signs and listen for any announcements to ensure you're heading in the right direction. I'll make sure to pay attention. Thank you for the advice. You're welcome. Once you reach the baggage claim area, you'll find the carousels with rotating belts. Look for the one assigned to your flight and wait for your luggage to arrive. Got it. I appreciate your help. Not a problem at all. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Enjoy your stay.
Hi there. I'm interested in joining a health club and was wondering if you have any recommendations or tips for touring one. Absolutely. When touring a health club, it's important to assess a few key aspects. First, consider the facilities they offer. Look for a well equipped gym with a variety of exercise machines, free weights, and cardio equipment. Additionally, check if they have amenities like a swimming pool, sauna, or group exercise classes that align with your interests. Good point. What about the staff and trainers? The staff and trainers play a crucial role in your experience. During your tour, interact with them to gauge their knowledge, friendliness, and willingness to assist you. Ask about their qualifications and certifications. A supportive and knowledgeable team can greatly enhance your fitness journey. That makes sense. And what about the membership plans and fees? It's important to understand the membership plans and fees upfront. Inquire about any initiation fees, monthly dues, or additional charges for specific services. Also, clarify their cancellation policy and any potential long term commitments. This will help you make an informed decision based on your budget and needs. Thank you for all the helpful information. Is there anything else I should keep in mind during the tour? One more thing to consider is the club's overall atmosphere. Pay attention to the cleanliness, organization, and overall vibe of the facility. It's essential to choose a place where you feel comfortable and motivated to achieve your fitness goals. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the guidance. I feel more prepared to tour health clubs now. Cell phone. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice your phone case. It's really cool. Oh, thank you. I got it because it's also a wallet. Super convenient for travel. That's smart. I'm always worried about misplacing my cards when I'm on the go. Exactly. Having everything in one place makes life a lot easier. By the way, I saw you with those wireless earbuds. Are they good? Oh, these? Yeah, they're fantastic. The sound quality is impressive, and the fact that they're wireless is a game changer. I've been thinking about getting a pair. It's just so liberating not dealing with tangled wires. Absolutely. And the battery life on these lasts a really long time. Perfect for long flights or layovers. That's important. Travel can be draining, so having good entertainment is a must. Speaking of which, have you tried any travel apps? Oh, for sure. I have a bunch on my phone. Flight trackers, language translators, and city guides are my go tos. Nice. Any recommendations for a frequent traveler like me? Definitely get a reliable currency converter app and a Maps app that works offline. They've saved me in tricky situations. Great advice. Thanks. Well, safe travels to you. Maybe next time we'll meet at another airport with more travel tips to exchange. Sounds like a plan. Have a great trip and happy travels. Postgraduate's Fever. Hey there. You seem a bit restless. Everything okay? Yeah, it's just this postgraduate's fever, you know. I'm about to head abroad for my master's program, and the excitement is mixed with a touch of nervousness. Oh, I totally get it. Postgrad studies are a big step. Where are you off to? And what's your field of study? I'll be flying to the UK for a master's in international relations. It's been a dream, but now that it's happening, I can't help but feel the pressure. It's natural to feel that way. The unknown can be both thrilling and intimidating, but you're going to do great. Thanks for the encouragement. Sometimes I worry about the academic load and adjusting to a new place. You've got this. Remember, 
Many people have gone through similar experiences and have come out stronger and more knowledgeable. I appreciate your confidence in me. It's also about making new friends and building connections, right? Absolutely. Your fellow POS grads will likely be feeling the same way. It's a chance to bond over shared experiences and support each other. True. It's just this mix of emotions eager to learn, excited to explore, and a tad anxious about the unknown. Embrace it all. This journey will shape you in ways you can't even imagine right now. And remember, every challenge you face will contribute to your growth. Thank you for the pep talk. I guess I just need to take a deep breath, trust the process, and give it my all. You've got the right attitude. Embrace the fever and make the most of this exciting time in your life. Safe travels and best of luck with your postgrad adventure. Thanks a lot. I'll definitely make the most of it. How long will the flight take? Excuse me, do you happen to know how long this flight will take? Sure, I can help you with that. May I see your boarding pass, please? Of course, here it is. Thank you. According to the information on your boarding pass, the flight duration is estimated to be approximately 4 hours and 30 minutes. All right, thank you for letting me know. I was curious about the duration. You're welcome. Flight durations can vary depending on factors like weather conditions and air traffic, but the estimated time gives us a good idea of what to expect. That's true. I'll keep that in mind and plan accordingly. It's always a good idea to arrive at the airport on time and allow for some buffer time in case of any unforeseen delays. Additionally, remember to set your watches and devices to the local time at your destination. I'll make sure to do that. Thanks for the reminder. No problem. If you have any more questions or need assistance during the flight, feel free to reach out to the flight attendants. They're there to help make your journey comfortable and enjoyable. I appreciate the information. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Have a pleasant flight and a great time at your destination. Meeting old friends. Oh wow, it's been ages. It's so great to see you again after all these years. How have you been? I know, right? It feels like a lifetime ago since we last met. I've been doing well, thanks. Life has had its UPS and downs, but overall, I can't complain. How about you? What have you been up to? I've been keeping busy with work and family life. It's been quite the journey, but I'm grateful for the experiences. Speaking of which, do you remember that time? We went on that crazy road trip together. How could I forget? That road trip was one for the books. We had so many adventures and laughs along the way. It's amazing how those memories still bring a smile to my face. Absolutely. Those memories are cherished. It's funny how time flies, but reconnecting with old friends reminds us of the bonds we shared. We should definitely catch up more often. Children's Education Hi, I noticed you're carrying a bunch of books and educational materials. Are you a teacher or parent? Hi, I'm actually a teacher. I'm heading to a conference on innovative approaches to children's education. 
always looking to learn and bring new ideas to my students. That's wonderful. Education plays such a crucial role. I have a niece who's starting school soon, and I'm a bit nervous about how she'll adjust. It's natural to feel that way. Starting school is a big step for children. Creating a positive and supportive environment at home can make the transition smoother. Thanks for the advice. I've heard a lot about different teaching methods nowadays. What's your favorite approach to teaching young children? I'm a fan of hands-on learning and exploration. Kids learn best when they're actively engaged and able to connect with real-world experiences. That makes a lot of sense. And I see you have a tablet there. Do you use technology in your classroom? Definitely. Integrating technology can enhance learning experiences. There are so many educational apps and interactive tools that can make lessons more engaging. That's fascinating. I'm glad to hear that education is evolving with the times. It gives me hope for the future. Education is a dynamic field that's always adapting to meet the needs of each generation. It's an exciting time to be involved in children's learning journeys. Absolutely. Well, have a productive conference. And thank you for your dedication to children's education. Thank you. And keep fostering curiosity and a love of learning in your niece. It's a gift that lasts a lifetime. Negative thoughts will cause different disabilities, so do better. Work hard under pressure. Individual Initiative Hey, I couldn't help but notice your project display over there. It looks impressive. Thank you so much. It's all about individual initiative and making a positive impact. That's fascinating. Can you tell me more about what you've been working on? Sure. I've been involved in a community-driven initiative to promote eco-friendly practices. We're organizing local cleanup events, raising awareness about recycling, and even collaborating with schools for environmental education. That's really commendable. It's not every day you see someone take such proactive steps. I believe that every small action counts. If we all do our part, we can collectively make a significant difference. Absolutely. And it's inspiring to see someone take charge and lead by example. Thank you. It's been quite a journey, and seeing the community come together and embrace these changes is incredibly rewarding. I can imagine. It takes a lot of dedication and effort to initiate change, especially on a local level. It's true, but when you're passionate about a cause, it doesn't feel like work. Plus, the positive impact keeps me motivated. Well, your project is a shining example of what individual initiative can achieve. It's inspiring me to think about how I can make a difference too. That's wonderful to hear. Remember, even small actions can lead to significant changes. It's all about taking that first step. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Keep up the fantastic work. Thank you. And best of luck with your own initiatives. Together, we can create a better world. How do I get to the gate? Excuse me, can you help me? I'm trying to find my gate. Of course. Which airline are you flying with? I'm flying with Delta Airlines. All right. You need to head to Terminal 2. The gates for Delta Airlines are located there. Let me give you directions. Go straight down this hallway until you reach the main concourse. Once you're there, take a right and follow the signs for Terminal 2. It's just a short walk from here. Thank you so much. Is there any security check I need to go through? Yes, there will be a security checkpoint before you can reach the gates. Make sure you have your boarding pass and identification ready. Follow the signs for the security checkpoint and they will guide you through the process. Got it. And how much time should I allow for security?
it's recommended to arrive at least two hours before your domestic flight or three hours before an international flight. This will give you enough time to check in, go through security, and find your gate without rushing. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Have a safe and pleasant journey. Abroad. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice the excitement on your face. Are you off to study abroad? Yes, you guessed it. I'm about to embark on this incredible journey to study in a new country. That's amazing. Which country and what will you be studying? I'm heading to Germany. Actually, I'll be pursuing a degree in environmental science at a university there. Wow, that sounds like a fantastic opportunity. How do you feel about leaving home? and diving into a whole new culture. I'm a mix of nervousness and excitement. Leaving family and friends behind is tough, but I can't wait to explore a new culture and gain a global perspective. It's going to be quite an adventure. Do you have any language concerns? Well, I've been learning German for a while, so I'm hoping that'll help me get by, but I'm ready for the challenge of adapting to a new language environment. That's impressive and you'll make new friends from around the world too. Exactly. That's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most meeting people from diverse backgrounds and forming lasting connections. Well, I'm sure you'll thrive in this new chapter. Studying abroad can be transformative. Thank you for the encouragement. I can't wait to see where this journey takes me and how much I'll grow along the way. Safe travels and best of luck with your studies abroad. Embrace every moment of it. Thanks a lot. I'll do my best to make the most of this incredible opportunity. Digital Products Hey, is that a Wacom tablet in your bag? Are you into digital art? Yep, you caught me. I'm a digital artist. I'm heading to a workshop on creating and selling digital products. That's awesome. I've always been curious about digital art. How did you get started? I've always loved drawing, and digital art opened up a whole new world for me. The ability to undo and experiment without wasting materials is a game changer. True. The flexibility is a huge advantage. Are you also selling your artwork online? Absolutely. I sell my designs as downloadable prints and stickers. It's a great way to reach a global audience without worrying about shipping. Smart move. And what about piracy or unauthorized sharing of your digital products? It's a concern, but there are ways to protect your work. Watermarking and offering high quality, affordable products can discourage piracy. Plus, connecting with your audience helps foster respect for your creations. Those are good strategies. I see you have some business books in your bag too. Yeah, I'm always looking to improve my knowledge of marketing and entrepreneurship. Creating digital products involves more than just art skills. I admire your dedication. Well, safe travels to your workshop. Maybe one day I'll give digital art a shot. Thank you. And who knows? You might discover a hidden talent. Digital products are a world of opportunities. Learning new customs. Never stop, forget it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up. Till I'm really excited about my upcoming trip to Japan, but I'm a bit nervous about unfamiliar customs. Do you have any tips for learning and adapting to new customs? Absolutely. Learning new customs can be both challenging and rewarding. One key tip is to do some research before your trip. Read about the local customs, traditions, and etiquette in Japan 
Understanding basic greetings, table manners, and gift giving practices can go a long way in showing respect. That's a good point. I'll definitely do my homework. But what if I make a mistake? Making mistakes is a natural part of the learning process. Don't worry too much about it. The locals generally appreciate the effort you make to respect their customs. If you do make a mistake, apologize politely and learn from it. Most people will be understanding and helpful. That's reassuring. Any other suggestions? Yes, immerse yourself in the local culture as much as possible. Try local foods, visit cultural landmarks, and interact with the locals. This will not only enhance your understanding of their customs, but also enrich your overall travel experience. That sounds like a great approach. I'll make sure to embrace the local culture during my trip. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Enjoy your trip to Japan and have fun learning about their customs. It's an incredible opportunity to broaden your horizons and appreciate the diversity of our world. Safe travels. Boarding United Airlines Fight Excuse me, I'm looking for the boarding gate for my United Airlines flight. Can you assist me? Of course. I'd be happy to help. May I see your boarding pass, please? Sure, here it is. Thank you. You're departing from gate C12, which is in terminal 3. You'll need to head down this hallway and take the escalator up to the departure level. Once you're there, follow the signs for terminal 3. Gate C12 will be on your right hand side. Got it, thank you. Is there anything I need to keep in mind before boarding? Yes, please make sure you have your identification and boarding pass readily available. United Airlines also allows one personal item and one carry-on bag. Make sure your carry-on bag meets the size and weight restrictions. Okay, I'll double check that. How much time do I have before boarding? It's recommended to be at the gate at least 30 minutes before your departure time. This allows for any last minute changes or unforeseen delays. However, please consult your boarding pass or the airport monitors for the most accurate information. I'll make sure to be there on time. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need further help, feel free to ask. Enjoy your flight with United Airlines. Hey, I've been searching for a new apartment, and I could use some advice. How did you find the right place, when you were apartment hunting? Sure, happy to help. When I was looking for an apartment, I started by making a list of my must-haves and deal breakers. It helped me stay focused during my search. What are your priorities? Well, I need a pet-friendly place with a washer-dryer in the unit. I also prefer a quiet neighborhood, with good public transportation access. Budget-wise, I'm looking for something within a certain range. Those are great starting points. I recommend checking online listings and reaching out to real estate agents. Also, consider driving or walking around neighborhoods you like to see if there are any for rent signs. It can be helpful to visit potential apartments in person to get a feel for the place and the surrounding area. That makes sense. I'll definitely take those steps. Did you come across any challenges during your search? Definitely. It's important to be patient and persistent. Some apartments might not meet all your criteria, but don't settle for something that doesn't feel right. Keep searching, and I'm sure you'll find the perfect place that fits your needs and feels like home. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully, I'll find my dream apartment soon. You're welcome. Best of luck with your search. I'm sure you'll find an amazing apartment that checks all your boxes. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any more help along the way.
Shopping online. Hey, I couldn't help but notice all those packages. Shopping spree, help. Guilty as charged. I went a bit overboard with online shopping recently. Retail therapy, you know? I totally get it. It's so convenient to shop online. What did you get? Mostly clothes, shoes, and a few gadgets. Oh, and I couldn't resist those limited edition sneakers I've been eyeing for ages. Nice. I'm always hesitant about buying shoes online. How do you make sure they fit right? It can be a gamble, but I always check the size chart and read reviews. Also, some websites have really good return policies just in case. Smart move. And that laptop sleeve you're holding looks cool. Thanks. I wanted something stylish yet protective. Online shopping's been a lifesaver during lockdowns. Definitely. But I sometimes miss the experience of trying things on in stores. I know what you mean, but the convenience of browsing endless options and having them delivered to your door is hard to beat. True, especially with our busy schedules. Any advice for a successful online shopping haul? Research the products, read reviews, and be patient with deliveries. Oh, and keep an eye out for sales or discounts. Thanks for the tips. Enjoy all your new stuff and safe travels. Thanks, and happy online shopping to you too. It's a retail therapy world out there. Chinese Medical Therapy Hey, have you seen that Chinese Medical Therapy booth here at the airport? It caught my attention. Yes, I noticed that too. It's interesting to see traditional Chinese therapies being offered here. Absolutely. I've heard about acupuncture and herbal treatments, but I never thought I'd see them offered at an airport. It's a unique concept. I guess they're catering to travelers who might be interested in alternative treatments. I've always been curious about acupuncture, but I've never tried it. Do you think it's worth giving it a shot? Well, it depends on your comfort level and openness to different treatments. Acupuncture has been known to help with various issues like stress and pain. That's true. Traveling can be stressful, and a long flight can leave me feeling pretty tense. It might be worth trying, especially if you're open to exploring new experiences. Just make sure you go to a qualified practitioner. Good point. Safety first, of course. And who knows? It might actually help me relax before my flight. That's the spirit. Sometimes, a little self-care can go a long way, especially during travel. I think I'll give it a try. Thanks for the encouragement. No problem. Enjoy your experience and have a great journey ahead. Checking a bag at the counter. Good morning. How may I assist you today? Hi there. I need to check in this bag for my flight to New York, please. Absolutely. Could I have your passport and airline ticket, please? Sure, here they are. Thank you. I'll just confirm your flight details. I, uh, you're traveling on flight 123 to New York. That's scheduled to depart at 10.30 a.m. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Great. I see that you're entitled to one checked bag. Do you have any other bags to check in today? No, just this one. All right. I'll tag your bag with the destination code and provide you with a baggage claim tag. Please keep it safe as you'll need it to collect your bag later. Here's your boarding pass as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Could you please place your bag on the scale so we can check its weight? Sure. Excellent. Your bag meets the weight requirement. 
and it's within the size restrictions. We'll take care of it from here. You can proceed to the security checkpoint. Have a pleasant flight. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose, if it's a moose, shit. The stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. What happened? What's bothering you? It's my neighbor's dog. They leave it outside to bark for hours, especially in the middle of the night. I can barely get any sleep. Ugh, that does sound irritating. Have you talked to them about it? I've tried, but they don't seem to care. I even left a polite note, but nothing's changed. That's frustrating. Maybe you could call the local animal control or noise complaint line if it continues. Yeah, I might have to resort to that if things don't improve. It's just so inconsiderate. I completely understand. Annoying neighbors can be a real headache. Is there anything else bothering you? Well, my coworker keeps playing loud music in the office, and it's distracting. I need some peace and quiet to focus. That's tough. Maybe you could suggest using headphones, or talking to your supervisor about the issue. I might have to. Although I wish people could just be more considerate of others. I agree. Annoying situations like these can be tough to deal with, but hopefully, they'll get better soon. He's forever complaining about this country. You know what really gets on my nerves? He's forever complaining about this country. Yeah, I've noticed that too. It seems like he always finds something to criticize. I mean, I get it, no place is perfect. But it's not like he's doing anything to make it better. All he does is complain. True, it can be frustrating when someone constantly focuses on the negatives without offering any solutions. And it's not like he's been anywhere else to compare. He just acts like this place is the worst. Have you ever tried talking to him about it? Maybe he has valid concerns or frustrations he wants to express. I've attempted to, but he just brushes it off and continues ranting. It's like he enjoys being a perpetual critic. Well, sometimes people use complaining as a way to vent their frustrations or seek attention. It might not always be about the actual issues. I guess you're right. I'll try to be more patient with him, but it's still annoying when he starts on one of his rants. I understand. Hopefully, he'll find a more constructive way to channel his feelings about the country.
on my way. Are you almost here? We're all waiting for you. On my way. Great. We can't wait to see you. It's been too long. Yeah, I've missed you all. I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Perfect timing. We just started setting up everything for the barbecue. Awesome. I'll bring some of those specialty sausages you love. That sounds delicious. And I've got the drinks covered. Just hurry up, we're all starving. I'm picking up some ice cream too. Dessert is sorted. You're the best. See you soon. Can't wait to catch up and enjoy some good food. No thanks. Hey, would you like to try some of this new spicy salsa I made? It's really flavorful. No thanks. Are you sure? It's got just the right amount of kick, not too overwhelming. No, really, I'm good. Thanks for offering though. Okay, no problem. More for me, I guess. By the way, did you watch the game last night? It was incredible. No, I didn't catch it. I'm not much of a sports fan. Oh, really? You're missing out on some exciting moments, you know. Yeah, I've heard. Just not my thing, I guess. Fair enough. So, any plans for the weekend? Not really. Just gonna relax and catch up on some reading. Sounds nice. Well, if you change your mind about the salsa or want to hang out, you know where to find me. Will do, thanks. Enjoy your salsa and have a great weekend. Thanks, you too. Parking problems. Ugh, finding parking in this area is such a nightmare. Tell me about it. We've been driving around for ages, and there's no available spot anywhere. I can't believe how crowded it is. It's like everyone decided to come to this area, at the same time. I know, right. And it's not just the lack of parking spaces, but also the confusing signs and restrictions. Absolutely. It's so frustrating trying to figure out where we can park without getting a ticket. Maybe we should consider a parking garage or lot nearby. It might cost a bit more, but at least we won't have to waste more time searching. That's a good idea. Let's check if there's one nearby. It's better to pay a little extra than drive around in circles. Agreed. Plus, it will save us from the stress and hassle. Let's find a parking garage and get on with our plans. Run. Hey, have you been running regularly lately? I heard you joined the running club. Yes, I've been running with the club for a few weeks now. It's been a great experience. That's awesome. How often do you run with them? Do you run every day? The club meets three times a week, and we run together for about an hour each time. That sounds like a good routine. Have you run any races with the club yet? Not yet, but we're planning to participate in. A local marathon next month. I'm excited. That's impressive. I think you'll do great. 
Have you ever run a marathon before? Yes, I ran one a few years ago. It was challenging, but crossing the finish line was an incredible feeling. I can only imagine. Running a marathon is a remarkable accomplishment. Did you run with a specific goal in mind? Absolutely. I ran to challenge myself and push my limits. It's a great way to improve both physically and mentally. I admire your determination. I think running can be a transformative activity. Have you ever run for a charitable cause? Yes, I ran a charity race last year to raise funds for cancer research. It was a rewarding experience. That's inspiring. I think running for a cause adds extra meaning to the miles. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Your support means a lot. If you ever want to join me for a run, let me know. Theft. Hey, I heard about the theft incident. Are you okay? Thanks for asking. It was quite a shock. Someone broke into my apartment and stole some valuable items. That's terrible. Did you report it to the police? Yes, I filed a report immediately. They're investigating the incident, but I'm not sure if they'll be able to recover anything. I hope they catch the thief and retrieve your belongings. Did you have insurance for the stolen items? Unfortunately, I didn't have insurance. It's a lesson learned the hard way. I never thought something like this would happen to me. It's unfortunate, but don't blame yourself. Theft can happen to anyone. It's important to prioritize safety measures going forward. You're right. I'll definitely be more cautious and take steps to enhance the security of my home. Is there anything I can do to help? Maybe assist you with replacing some of the stolen items? Thank you for your kind offer. It means a lot to me. Right now, I'm focusing on the investigation and taking care of myself emotionally. Of course, take the time you need to recover. If there's anything I can do to support you during this difficult time, don't hesitate to let me know. I really appreciate your support. It's comforting to know that I have friends like you by my side. I'll stay strong and work through this setback. I'm sorry for your loss. Hi, how are you doing? Not too well, actually. My grandfather just passed away. Oh no, I'm so sorry for your loss. How are you holding up? It's been tough. He was such an important figure in my life. I can imagine. Losing a loved one is never easy. If you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's just hard to believe he's gone. Of course. It's understandable to feel that way. Is there anything you want to talk about? Sometimes it can help to share memories or feelings. Actually, that would be nice. I have so many fond memories of my grandfather. He was always so kind and supportive. That's wonderful to hear. It sounds like he made a big impact on your life. He definitely did. I'm going to miss him a lot. I'm sure you will. Again, I'm sorry for your loss. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. At the airport. Hi, are you ready to check our bags? I hope the line isn't too long. Hey, yeah, I'm all set. Let's head over to the check-in counter and see how it goes. I hope they don't give us any trouble with our bags. I made sure mine fits the size requirements. Yeah, me too. I don't want any surprises at the counter. By the way, where are you off to? I'm heading to London for a family reunion. It's been a while since I've seen everyone. 
How about you? I'm going to New York for a business meeting. Just a quick trip this time. So, what do we do once we reach the counter? We'll need to show our tickets and IDs, and then they'll weigh our bags. We should also ask about any additional fees. Right. We don't want any unexpected charges. I hope our bags are within the weight limit. Don't worry. I weighed mine at home. It should be fine. Oh, look, it's our turn now. Let's go. Great. Let's get this done quickly. I can't wait to get through security and relax at the gate. Agreed. Once we're done, we can grab a snack and maybe do a little shopping before our flight. Sounds like a plan. Let's go and get this checked bag situation sorted out. In my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in the Hey, welcome to our new home. Thanks for coming to our housewarming party. Thank you for inviting us. Your place looks amazing. The decorations are lovely, and everything is so well put together. Oh, I'm glad you like it. We spent a lot of time making it feel cozy and inviting. Please make yourself at home and enjoy the party. Absolutely. By the way, congratulations on your new home. It's such a milestone. How does it feel to finally settle in? Thank you. It feels incredible. It's been a whirl in getting everything set up, but now that we're here, it's like a dream come true. We're excited to create new memories and host gatherings like this. That's wonderful to hear. I can already picture the many gatherings and good times ahead. I'm sure your house will become the go-to spot for friends and family. We hope so. We wanted to create a warm and welcoming space for everyone. Thank you for being a part of our celebration today. It's my pleasure. Cheers to your new home and to many happy moments to come. Discussing future plans. Hey, I've been thinking about the future a lot lately. What are your plans for the coming years? Oh, the future can be both exciting and uncertain. I'm Samantha, by the way. Nice to meet you. As for my plans, I'm considering pursuing a master's degree in business administration. Nice to meet you too, Samantha. That's a great plan. An MBA can open up a lot of opportunities. Have you decided on any particular specialization? Thank you. I'm leaning towards focusing on marketing. I've always been fascinated by consumer behavior and brand management. That's fantastic. With your passion for marketing, I'm sure you'll excel in that field. As for me, I'm contemplating a career change. I've been working in finance for a while, but I'm considering transitioning into sustainable development. Wow. That sounds like a meaningful and fulfilling career path. The world definitely needs more people working towards sustainable solutions. What steps are you taking to make that transition? I've been taking online courses and attending sustainability conferences to gain more knowledge and network with professionals in the field. I'm also considering volunteering or interning at organizations focused on sustainability. That's a smart approach, taking proactive steps towards your goal. I'm sure you'll make a positive impact in the field. It's inspiring to see people pursuing their passions and making a difference. Thank you, Samantha. It means a lot to hear that. I believe it's important to align our careers with our values. I wish you the best of luck with your MBA and future endeavors. Likewise, it was great talking to you. Best of luck with your career change and your pursuit of sustainability. Let's stay in touch and support each other's journeys. Absolutely, Samantha. Let's definitely stay connected. Thank you for the encouragement. Have a wonderful day, and may all your future plans come to fruition. Do you have any desserts available?
Hello, how can I help you? Do you have any desserts available? Absolutely. We have a delectable assortment of desserts to satisfy your sweet tooth. Our options range from classic favorites to indulgent creations. May I recommend a few? Yes, please. What would you suggest? One of our popular desserts is the Molten Chocolate Lover Cake. It's a warm, rich chocolate cake with a gooey center, served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. We also have a creamy New York-style cheesecake with a choice of raspberry or caramel drizzle. And for a lighter option, we offer a refreshing mixed berry parfait with layers of fresh berries and whipped cream. Oh, those all sound delicious. I think I'll go with the molten chocolate lava cake. Excellent choice. Our lava cake is a crowd pleaser. Would you like any additional toppings or sauces with it? I'll have a scoop of chocolate ganache on top, please. Noted. I'll make sure your dessert is prepared to perfection. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Your molten chocolate lover cake will be served shortly. Enjoy your dessert. Thank you so much. I can't wait to indulge in it. What's the most beautiful place you've ever visited? Hey, what's the most beautiful place you've ever visited? Oh, that's a tough question. I've been fortunate to visit many breathtaking places, but if I had to pick one, I would say Santorini in Greece. Santorini is known for its stunning views. What made it the most beautiful place for you? The iconic whitewashed buildings perched on cliffs overlooking. The deep blue Aegean Sea created a picturesque landscape that was unlike anything I had ever seen before. The sunsets were absolutely mesmerizing. It sounds absolutely magical. Did you have any memorable experiences in Santorini? Absolutely. Exploring the charming villages like Oya and Fira, tasting delicious Greek cuisine, and relaxing on the unique black sand beaches were all incredible experiences. The warmth and hospitality of the locals made it even more special. I can only imagine how wonderful it must have been. Are there any other destinations that come close to Santorini in terms of beauty? Yes, another place that left me in awe was the Plitvis Lakes National Park in Croatia. The cascading waterfalls, crystal clear lakes, and lush greenery created a natural paradise that felt like stepping into a fairy tale. That sounds like a hidden gem. I'll definitely add it to my travel list. Thanks for sharing your experiences. You're welcome. The world is full of incredible beauty, and exploring these places is a reminder of how diverse and awe-inspiring our planet is. Happy travels! Hey, I don't think we've met before. I'm Anna. Tell me about yourself. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Peter. I work as a graphic designer for a creative agency. I've always had a passion for art and design. So it's amazing to have a career that allows me to express my creativity. Besides work, I love traveling and exploring different cultures. I find it incredibly inspiring to see the world through a new lens. That's fascinating. What's the most memorable place you've traveled to? It's hard to pick just one, but I'd say my trip to Japan was unforgettable. The vibrant culture, beautiful landscapes, and delicious cuisine made it an incredible experience. I was particularly fascinated by the attention to detail in Japanese design and architecture. Japan sounds amazing. I've always wanted to visit. What other hobbies or interests do you have? I love capturing moments and preserving memories. It allows me to combine my love for art and storytelling. I also enjoy hiking and being in nature. It's a great way to disconnect from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and find inner peace. 
That's wonderful. Your passion for art, travel, and photography is inspiring. It's been great getting to know you. Let's enjoy the rest of the party and maybe exchange some travel stories later. Thank you. I've enjoyed our conversation too. Let's definitely catch up later and share some travel tales. Cheers to a fun-filled evening. Making Introductions Hi there. I don't believe we've met before. My name is Sarah. What's your name? Hello, Sarah. Nice to meet you. I'm John. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Likewise, John. So, what brings you here today? I'm actually attending this conference on artificial intelligence. It's been quite interesting so far. What about you? Oh, that sounds fascinating. I'm here for the same conference. I've always been intrigued by AI and its potential applications. I'm excited to learn more. That's great to hear. It's always refreshing to meet others who share similar interests. Have you been to any other conferences like this before? Yes, I've attended a few in the past. They've always been enriching experiences, providing valuable insights and networking opportunities. How about you? This is my first time attending a conference on AI. I'm hoping to expand my knowledge and connect with professionals in the field. Any recommendations on which sessions to attend? Absolutely. There's a panel discussion on ethical considerations in AI scheduled for later today. It's definitely worth checking out. I can give you more details if you're interested. That sounds like an important topic. I'd appreciate any information you can share. Thanks for the suggestion, Sarah. You're welcome, John. I'll be happy to fill you in on the details. It's been a pleasure meeting you, and I look forward to the conference discussions. Likewise, Sarah. Thank you for your kindness. Let's keep in touch throughout the conference and exchange insights. Enjoy the rest of your day. Absolutely, John. Let's definitely stay connected. Enjoy the conference as well, and have a wonderful day. Do you have any allergies I should be aware of? Hello, how can I help you? Do you have any allergies I should be aware of? Absolutely. We take allergies seriously to ensure a safe dining experience. Could you please let me know? If you have any specific allergies or dietary restrictions. I'm allergic to peanuts and tree nuts. Thank you for letting me know. We have strict protocols in place to avoid cross-contamination. Our kitchen staff is well trained to handle allergies. Is there anything else I should be aware of? No, peanuts and tree nuts are the only allergies I have. Noted. Rest assured that we will take every precaution to accommodate your needs. If you have any questions about the menu or specific dishes, please don't hesitate to ask. That's reassuring. Thank you for your attention to detail. You're welcome. It's our pleasure to provide a safe dining experience for all our guests. If you need any assistance in choosing your meal or have any special requests, please feel free to ask. We want to ensure your dining experience is enjoyable and worry-free. I appreciate that. I'll take a moment to look over the menu and let you know if I have any questions. Take your time. I'll be here to assist you. Just let me know when you're ready. Thank you for your help. It's my pleasure. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here to assist you. Have you ever traveled solo?
Hey, have you ever traveled solo? Yes, I have. In fact, I highly recommend it. There's something liberating about exploring new places on your own terms. That's interesting. What made you decide to travel solo? I wanted to challenge myself and step out of my comfort zone. Traveling solo allows for self-discovery, independence, and the freedom to create your own itinerary. Were there any specific destinations that you enjoyed traveling solo to? Definitely. One of my favorite solo trips was to Thailand. The warm hospitality of the locals, the stunning beaches, and the vibrant street markets made it a perfect destination for solo exploration. Did you face any challenges while traveling alone? There were a few challenges, like language barriers and occasional moments of loneliness. However, those challenges were also opportunities to grow and connect with people in unexpected ways. That's inspiring. Do you have any tips for someone considering traveling solo for the first time? Absolutely. Research your destination, stay informed about safety precautions, and trust your instincts. Also, be open to meeting new people and immersing yourself in the local culture. Those are great tips. I might consider traveling solo myself. Any other memorable experiences from your solo adventures? Oh, plenty. From hiking to breathtaking viewpoints to discovering hidden gems off the beaten path, every moment was filled with a sense of freedom and self-discovery. It sounds like an incredible journey. Thanks for sharing your experiences. Solo travel definitely seems like an enriching experience. You're welcome. It truly is. Whether it's a short getaway or a longer trip, solo travel has the potential to be transformative. Experiences Hey there. I couldn't help but notice your backpack. Are you a fellow traveler? Yes, I am. I love exploring new places. I'm Jane, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Jane. I'm Mark. So, what's the most memorable travel experience you've had so far? Oh, there are so many, but one that stands out is when I hiked through the Himalayas in Nepal. The stunning landscapes and the warmth of the local people left a lasting impression on me. How about you, Mark? That sounds incredible, Jane. As for me, I had an amazing time backpacking through Southeast Asia. The vibrant cultures, delicious food, and beautiful beaches made it a truly unforgettable journey. That sounds like a dream. I've always wanted to explore Southeast Asia. Any specific places you recommend? Absolutely. Thailand is a must visit, especially the bustling city of Bangkok and the stunning beaches of Phuket. Vietnam and Cambodia are also worth exploring for their rich history and breathtaking scenery. I'll definitely add them to my bucket list. Thanks for the recommendations, Mark. It's great to meet someone who shares a passion for travel. Likewise, Jane. It's always inspiring to connect with fellow travelers. If you ever need more travel tips or recommendations, feel free to ask. Safe travels and enjoy your future adventures. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. I wish you incredible journeys as well. Stay in touch and happy travels. Discussing future plans. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do Hey. I've been thinking about the future a lot lately. What are your plans for the coming years? Oh, the future can be both exciting and uncertain. I'm Samantha, by the way. Nice to meet you. As for my plans, I'm considering pursuing a master's degree in business administration. Nice to meet you too, Samantha. That's a great plan. An MBA can open up a lot of opportunities. Have you decided on any particular specialization? Thank you. I'm leaning towards focusing on marketing. I've always been fascinated by consumer behavior and brand management. That's fantastic. With your passion for marketing, I'm sure you'll excel in that field. As for me, I'm contemplating a career change. I've been working in finance for a while, but I'm considering transitioning into sustainable development. Well, 
That sounds like a meaningful and fulfilling career path. The world definitely needs more people working towards sustainable solutions. What steps are you taking to make that transition? I've been taking online courses and attending sustainability conferences to gain more knowledge and network with professionals in the field. I'm also considering volunteering or interning at organizations focused on sustainability. That's a smart approach, taking proactive steps towards your goal. I'm sure you'll make a positive impact in the field. It's inspiring to see people pursuing their passions and making a difference. Thank you, Samantha. It means a lot to hear that. I believe it's important to align our careers with our values. I wish you the best of luck with your MBA and future endeavors. Likewise, it was great talking to you. Best of luck with your career change and your pursuit of sustainability. Let's stay in touch and support each other's journeys. Absolutely, Samantha. Let's definitely stay connected. Thank you for the encouragement. Have a wonderful day and may all your future plans come to fruition. Making Introductions Hi there. I don't believe we've met before. My name is Sarah. What's your name? Hello, Sarah. Nice to meet you. I'm John. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Likewise, John. So, what brings you here today? I'm actually attending this conference on artificial intelligence. It's been quite interesting so far. What about you? Oh, that sounds fascinating. I'm here for the same conference. I've always been intrigued by AI and its potential applications. I'm excited to learn more. That's great to hear. It's always refreshing to meet others who share similar interests. Have you been to any other conferences like this before? Yes, I've attended a few in the past. They've always been enriching experiences, providing valuable insights and networking opportunities. How about you? This is my first time attending a conference on AI. I'm hoping to expand my knowledge and connect with professionals in the field. Any recommendations on which sessions to attend? Absolutely. There's a panel discussion on ethical considerations in AI scheduled for later today. It's definitely worth checking out. I can give you more details if you're interested. That sounds like an important topic. I'd appreciate any information you can share. Thanks for the suggestion, Sarah. You're welcome, John. I'll be happy to fill you in on the details. It's been a pleasure meeting you, and I look forward to the conference discussions. Likewise, Sarah. Thank you for your kindness. Let's keep in touch throughout the conference and exchange insights. Enjoy the rest of your day. Absolutely, John. Let's definitely stay connected. Enjoy the conference as well, and have a wonderful day. Family life. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and miss me. Good morning, everyone. Breakfast is ready. Please come to the table. Good morning, Mom and Dad. We're coming. How did you sleep last night? I slept well, thanks. I had a dream about going to the beach. That sounds like a fun dream. Maybe we can plan a beach trip soon. I had a hard time falling asleep, but once I did, I slept okay. Is there anything on your mind that you want to talk about, sweetie? Well, I've been feeling a little stressed about school lately. The workload is piling up. We understand, and we're here to support you. Let's discuss a plan to manage your time better and reduce stress. We can also reach out to your teachers for any extra help you might need. I'm excited about the family picnic this weekend. Can we go to the park afterward? That sounds like a great idea. We can enjoy some outdoor activities together. Let's make a list of games 
and snacks to bring. Yay! We can't wait. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You're welcome, my darlings. Now let's have a delicious breakfast and start our day off right. Good evening. I'm so glad we could finally meet up for dinner. It's been far too long. I completely agree. Life gets so busy sometimes, but I'm thrilled we could make this happen. This place looks amazing, by the way. Great choice. Thank you. I heard their food is exceptional, and the ambience is perfect for a relaxed evening. I hope you're hungry because the menu is quite extensive. I'm absolutely starving. I've been looking forward to this meal all day. What do you recommend? Is there anything on the menu that's a must try? Well, their seafood dishes are outstanding, especially the grilled salmon. And I've heard great things about their homemade pasta too. Let's explore the menu together and decide. That sounds fantastic. I love seafood, so the grilled salmon definitely has my attention. And pasta is always a safe bet. I'm excited to indulge in some delicious food and catch up with you. Me too. It's always great to have good food and even better company. So, tell me what's been happening in your life lately. Oh, you know, the usual. Work has been keeping me busy, but I recently started taking cooking classes. It's been so much fun experimenting with new flavors and techniques. That's fantastic. Cooking classes sound like a wonderful way to unwind and unleash your creativity. I'd love to try some of your culinary creations sometime. Absolutely. I'd be thrilled to have you over for a home-cooked meal. We'll plan it soon. But for now, let's enjoy this dinner and make the most of our time together. Agreed. Here's to good food, great company, and making memories. Cheers. Cheers. I couldn't have said it better. Cheers to a fantastic evening and many more dinners like this in the future. Housewarming Party <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in the Hey, welcome to our new home. Thanks for coming to our housewarming party. Thank you for inviting us. Your place looks amazing. The decorations are lovely and everything is so well put together. Oh, I'm glad you like it. We spent a lot of time making it feel cozy and inviting. Please make yourself at home and enjoy the party. Absolutely. By the way, congratulations on your new home. It's such a milestone. How does it feel to finally settle in? Thank you. It feels incredible. It's been a whirl in getting everything set up. But now that we're here, it's like a dream come true. We're excited to create new memories and host gatherings like this. That's wonderful to hear. I can already picture the many gatherings and good times ahead. I'm sure your house will become the go-to spot for friends and family. We hope so. We wanted to create a warm and welcoming space for everyone. Thank you for being a part of our celebration today. It's my pleasure. Cheers to your new home and to many happy moments to come. Bar. Hey, fancy meeting you here. How's it going? Oh, hey. It's going well, thanks. I needed a break, so I thought I'd unwind at this bar. What about you? Same here. This place has a great ambience and the perfect vibe for a relaxing evening. Mind if I join you? Not at all. Grab a seat. What are you in the mood for? Cocktails or maybe something different? I'm feeling adventurous today. How about we try some of their signature cocktails? 
I've heard they're fantastic. That sounds like a plan. Let's order a couple of their specials and share our thoughts. It's always fun to explore new flavors together. Absolutely. I love discovering new tastes. So, how's life been treating you lately? Any exciting updates? Well, work has been demanding, but I'm managing. On a positive note, I recently picked up a new hobby photography. It's been a great way to unwind and express my creativity. That's wonderful. Photography can be so fulfilling. I'm glad you found an outlet for your artistic side. We should plan a photo walk sometime. Definitely. I'd love that. It's always more enjoyable to explore with a friend. Let's make it happen soon. Absolutely. Cheers to new experiences and great conversations. Here's to a memorable evening. Cheers. I couldn't agree more. Cheers to friendship and making the most of the present moment. Dancing Invitation Hey there, I wanted to invite you to a special event. There's a dance happening next weekend, and I thought it would be so much fun if you could join me. Wow, thank you for thinking of me. That sounds like a great opportunity to let loose and have a fantastic time. I'd love to come with you. That's awesome. I knew you'd be up for it. It's going to be a lively night with great music and a vibrant atmosphere. Plus, it'll be a chance for us to show off our dance moves. I can't wait. I've been meaning to hit the dance floor for a while now. Do we need to dress up or is it more casual? It's a semi-formal event, so dressing up a bit would be perfect. Let's put on our stylish outfits and make a statement on the dance floor. Sounds like a plan. I'll make sure to bring my dancing shoes too. Are there any specific songs or dances we should brush up on? Not really. The DJ will be playing a mix of different genres. It'll be a mix of classic and modern hits, so we can groove to whatever comes our way. That's great to know. I'm looking forward to having a blast with you on the dance floor. Thanks again for the invitation. You're welcome. It's going to be an unforgettable night. Get ready to dance the night away and create some amazing memories together. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way into be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The news it fits. I'm losing shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Overcooking Oh no, I got distracted and overcooked the pasta again. It happens to the best of us. How bad is it? They're way too soft and mushy. 
I was aiming for al dente. Well, we can salvage this. Drain the pasta immediately and run cold water over it to stop the cooking process. Okay, done. But will that really help? It should help firm them up a bit. Now, let's make a quick sauce to distract from the texture. What do you have on hand? I've got some canned tomatoes, garlic, and olive oil. Perfect. Let's make a simple tomato sauce. Sauté the garlic and olive oil until it's fragrant. Then add the canned tomatoes and simmer. Add some herbs and seasonings to taste. Got it. It's already smelling good. See, cooking mishaps can sometimes lead to unexpected deliciousness. Just remember, practice makes perfect. And next time, you'll nail that pasta. Thanks for the encouragement. Let's hope this sauce distracts from the overcooked pasta. Car services. Good morning. I was wondering if you offer any car services for guests. Absolutely. We provide car services to cater to our guests' transportation needs. What type of car service are you interested in? I would like to inquire about airport transfers and if there are any local transportation options available. We offer airport transfers for our guests. If you provide me with your flight details, I can arrange a car to pick you up from the airport upon arrival. As for local transportation, we have partnerships with reliable taxi services and can assist you in arranging transportation to nearby attractions or any specific destinations you have in mind. That sounds convenient. How can I go about booking these car services? You can either inform our concierge desk of your requirements or use our hotel app to book the car services. If you have any specific requests or preferences, please let us know in advance and we will do our best to accommodate them. Thank you for the information. Could you also provide me with an estimate of the costs for these car services? Certainly. The cost of airport transfers may vary depending on the distance and type of vehicle requested. We can provide you with an estimated fare upon booking. For local transportation, the rates are based on distance and duration of use. Our concierge team can provide you with more specific details based on your requirements. I appreciate your assistance. I will contact the concierge desk to book the car services as per my needs. You're welcome. If you have any further questions or need any assistance during your stay, feel free to reach out. We look forward to providing you with a comfortable and convenient transportation experience. Checking a bag at the counter. Good morning. How may I assist you today? Hi there. I need to check in this bag for my flight to New York, please. Absolutely. Could I have your passport and airline ticket, please? Sure, here they are. Thank you. I'll just confirm your flight details. I, uh, you're traveling on flight 123 to New York. That's scheduled to depart at 10.30 a.m. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Great. I see that you're entitled to one checked bag. Do you have any other bags to check in today? No, just this one. All right. I'll tag your bag with the destination code and provide you with a baggage claim tag. Please keep it safe as you'll need it to collect your bag later. Here's your boarding pass as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Could you please place your bag on the scale so we can check its weight? Sure. Excellent. Your bag meets the weight requirement, and it's within the size restrictions. We'll take care of it from here. You can proceed to the security checkpoint. Have a pleasant flight. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Check out.
Good morning. I'd like to check out of my room, please. Good morning. Certainly, I can assist you with that. May I have your name and room number, please? My name is Jane Smith, and I'm staying in room 205. Thank you, Miss Smith. I see that your stay is scheduled to end today. I will just check the system to finalize your bill. That's fine. Take your time. It seems everything is in order. I'll print out your final bill. Here you go. Thank you. Could you please review it with me? Of course. Let's go through the bill together. We have the room charge, any additional services you requested during your stay, and applicable taxes. It all adds up to a total of $550. That looks accurate. I'll settle the bill with my credit card. Perfect. Please insert your card into the payment terminal, and I'll process the payment for you. There you go. Thank you. The payment has been processed successfully. Here's your receipt. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's all. Thank you for your help during my stay. You're most welcome, Miss Smith. It was a pleasure having you as our guest. If you have any future inquiries or need any assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us. Have a safe journey. Excuse me, sir. Could you help me find the gate for the flight to Paris? I'm a bit confused with all these signs. Of course, I'd be happy to help. You're looking for gate 15. Just follow this hallway until you see the large departures board, and you'll find it on your left. Thank you so much. I'm traveling to Paris for a special event. It's my grandmother's 90th birthday, and the whole family is gathering to celebrate. That sounds wonderful. Milestone birthdays like that are truly special. Is it your first time visiting Paris? No, I've been there before, but it's been quite a while. I'm looking forward to experiencing the city again, especially now that I'm in the later years of my life. I want to take my time, enjoy the culture, and make lasting memories. That's a fantastic mindset to have. Traveling with a purpose can make the experience even more enriching. Have a great trip and a lovely celebration with your family in Paris. Thank you for your kind words. I'll be sure to cherish every moment. Have a great day too. With a hotel voucher. Hi there, I have a hotel voucher that I'd like to redeem. Can you assist me with that? Certainly. I'd be happy to help. Could you please provide me with the details on the voucher, such as the voucher number and any specific terms or conditions mentioned? Sure, let me find it. Here it is. The voucher number is 123,456,789, and it's valid for a one-night stay in a standard room. Thank you for the information. Let me check the availability for the dates you're interested in. I'm looking to stay from the 18th to the 19th of this month. Good news. We have availability for those dates. I'll go ahead and make a reservation for you using the voucher. Could you please provide your name and contact details for the booking? Certainly. My name is Jane Davis, and here's my phone number, 555-123-4567. Thank you, Miss Davis. Your reservation is now confirmed. When you arrive, please present the voucher at the front desk for check-in. Perfect. Thank you so much for your assistance. By the way, does the voucher include any amenities or services? The voucher covers the cost of your accommodation, including standard amenities such as WAFI access and complimentary breakfast. Any additional services or extras can be requested and settled separately. That's great to know. Thank you once again for your help. I'm looking forward to my stay. You're welcome, Miss Davis. We're glad to have you as our guest. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. Enjoy your stay with us.
Body Scanner. Excuse me, I have a question about the body scanner. Could you help me out? Of course. What would you like to know? I've never been through a body scanner before. Can you explain how it works? Certainly. The body scanner is a security device that uses advanced imaging technology to detect any concealed objects on a person's body. It's a quick and non-invasive process. You'll step into the scanner, raise your arms above your head, and remain still for a few seconds while it scans you. Will it emit any radiation or be harmful in any way? No, the body scanner uses millimeter wave technology or advanced imaging technology, which is considered safe. It emits low-level electromagnetic waves that are harmless to passengers. The images generated are also privacy-friendly, as they are displayed as a generic outline rather than a detailed representation of your body. That's good to know. Do I need to remove any clothing or accessories before going through the scanner? Generally, you won't need to remove any clothing or accessories, except for bulky outerwear like jackets or coats. However, you'll need to remove any metal objects from your pockets such as keys, coins, or belts, as they can trigger an alarm. You can place these items in the provided tray. All right, I understand. Thank you for explaining it to me. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Have a pleasant journey. At the cafe. Hey, want to grab a coffee at the cafe before our flight? Sure, that sounds like a good idea. I could use a pick-me-up. Hi there, what can I get you today? I'll have a cappuccino, please. And do you have any pastries? Of course, we have croissants, muffins, and Danish pastries. I'll go for a black coffee, please. And a blueberry muffin. Got it. Would you like those for here or to go? We have a bit of time, so we'll enjoy them here. So, how's your trip going so far? It's been good. A bit hectic with all the connections, but I'm excited about this final leg. Where are you headed to? I'm off to a conference in New York. What about you? I'm going to visit family in Seattle. It's been a while since I've seen them. Ah, the aroma of coffee is so comforting. Couldn't agree more. And this muffin looks delicious. They enjoy their drinks and pastries while chatting. It's been great catching up. Looks like our boarding time is approaching though. Yeah, we better finish up and head to the gate. Safe travels to you, and enjoy your conference. You too. Have a wonderful time with your family. Until next time. Shopping for food. I'm heading to the grocery store. Do you need anything? We can go shopping together. That would be great. I need a few things too. I'll make a list of what we need, so we don't forget anything. Perfect. Let's also check what's in the pantry and fridge to see what we already have. It'll help us avoid buying unnecessary items. Good idea. We should focus on getting fresh produce and ingredients for meals we plan to cook this week. It's always better to eat home-cooked meals and save some money. Absolutely. Cooking at home is healthier and more cost-effective in the long run. 
Plus, it's a great way to try new recipes and improve our culinary skills. I completely agree. And let's not forget to check for any ongoing sales or discounts. It's always nice to save a few bucks. Definitely. We should also be mindful of choosing sustainable options and supporting local producers when possible. It's important to make environmentally conscious choices. I'm glad you mentioned that. Let's prioritize organic and locally sourced products. It's a small step towards promoting a healthier planet. Agreed? All right, we're all set. Let's grab our reusable bags and head to the store. It's going to be a productive and mindful shopping trip. I'm looking forward to it. Shopping for food can be fun and rewarding, especially when we're making conscious choices. Let's go. Let's do it. Together, we'll make sure we have everything we need while making mindful and sustainable choices. Good evening. I need to arrange a taxi for a guest who would like to go to the airport. Can you assist me with that? Certainly. I can help you with that. What time does the guest need to leave? The flight is at 8 o'clock a.m. tomorrow, so it would be best if the taxi arrives at the hotel around 6.30 a.m. Noted. I will arrange a taxi for that time. Could you please provide me with the guest's name and room number? Certainly. The guest's name is John Smith, and he is staying in room 203. Thank you for the information. I will make the necessary arrangements with our trusted taxi service. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Yes, please let me know the estimated cost for the taxi ride to the airport, so I can inform the guest. I will find out the approximate fare for you. Just a moment, please. According to our taxi service, the estimated fare to the airport should be around $30 to $40, depending on traffic conditions. Thank you for the information. I will inform the guest about the estimated fare and the taxi pickup time. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. If you or the guest have any further questions or need any assistance, feel free to ask. Have a pleasant evening. Offering help. Hey, I noticed you've been juggling a lot lately. If there's anything I can do to help, Please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your kind offer. I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed with everything on my plate, so your help would be greatly appreciated. Of course. What specifically can I assist you with? Are there any specific tasks or projects you need support with? Well, I have a deadline coming up, and I could really use some help with research and gathering data. It's been quite time consuming. I'd be more than happy to help. You can forward me the details, and I'll get started right away. Together, we'll tackle this project efficiently. That would be a tremendous help. I can't thank you enough for offering your time and expertise. No need for thanks. We all need a helping hand from time to time. Plus, I know you would do the same for me. You're absolutely right. I appreciate your support, and it means a lot to know that I have someone I can rely on. Thank you once again. You're welcome. Remember, we're in this together. Let's make a plan and work towards easing your workload. Don't hesitate to reach out whenever you need assistance. Familiar face. Excuse me, but you look really familiar. 
Have we met before? Actually, I was thinking the same thing. Your face does ring a bell. I'm Sarah, by the way. Sarah, now I remember. We were in the same class back in high school. It's been ages. Oh my goodness, yes. It's so good to see you again. How have you been all these years? I've been doing well, thank you. Life has been quite the journey since school. And you? Likewise, lots of UPS and downs. But overall, I can complain. It's amazing how time flies, isn't it? Absolutely. It feels like just yesterday, we were sitting in the same classroom, sharing laughs and dreams for the future. Those were some unforgettable times. We had such a great group of friends. I wonder where everyone ended up. That's true. We should organize a reunion someday and catch up with everyone. It would be fantastic to reconnect. I couldn't agree more. Let's exchange contact information and make it happen. It's wonderful to rediscover a familiar face from the past. Definitely. I'm excited to reconnect and relive some of those cherished memories. It's been great running into you, Sarah. Changing Travel Restrictions Hey, have you heard about the changing travel restrictions lately? It's becoming quite confusing to keep up with the updates. Tell me about it. It feels like every week there's a new set of rules and regulations to follow. It's making travel planning and decision making a real challenge. I completely understand. It's frustrating when you're not sure if your destination will suddenly impose stricter restrictions or require additional documentation. Exactly. I had to cancel a trip recently because the destination I planned to visit suddenly implemented quarantine measures that would have significantly impacted my plans. That's unfortunate. It's hard to predict how things will evolve, especially with the ongoing pandemic. Staying informed and monitoring official travel advisories can help. But even then, things can change rapidly. It's a constant juggling act. I'm trying to be flexible with my travel plans and have backup options in case things don't work out as initially intended. That's a wise approach. It's important to have alternative destinations or dates in mind, just in case the situation shifts unexpectedly. Definitely. I'm also keeping an eye on the vaccination requirements and any testing protocols that might be in place. It's better to be prepared and have all the necessary documentation. Absolutely. Being well prepared and adaptable is key in navigating these changing travel restrictions. Hopefully, things will stabilize soon and we can travel with more certainty. Let's hope so. In the meantime, let's stay informed, stay patient, and keep our travel plans as flexible as possible. Weather Absolutely, the weather's going to get chilly soon. Any particular color or style you're interested in? I'm thinking something in a neutral tone, maybe a light gray or beige. An AV neck style would be nice, not too formal, but still versatile. Great choice. We do have a few V neck options in those colors. Have you checked out this one? It's a blend of wool and cashmere, so it's soft and warm. Oh, that sounds perfect. I like the texture too, but I'm concerned about sizing. Do you have a fitting room where I can try it on? Absolutely. Fitting rooms are right over there. Take your time and see which size feels comfortable. Our sizes are pretty standard, but it's always good to try on, especially with sweaters. 
This is exactly what I was looking for. It fits nicely and feels so cozy. I'll take this one. I'm glad it worked out. This sweater suits you well. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? No, I think this sweater will do it. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Stay warm and enjoy your new sweater. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. Trying on clothes. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that could make sense. They hate when. Hey, what do you think of this dress? I'm not sure if the color suits me. Let me see. Hum. I think the color actually complements your skin tone nicely. But maybe try a size smaller? It seems a bit loose around the waist. Good point. I'll grab a smaller size. Oh, and how about this skirt? I love the pattern, but I'm not sure if it's too short. The pattern is really cute. As for the length, it's not too short at all. It hits just above your knees, which is a flattering length for your height. Awesome. Thanks for your input. By the way, what about this blazer? I'm going for a professional but stylish look. I like the style choice. The blazer fits well through the shoulders, but the sleeves look a tad long. You could roll them up for a more relaxed vibe or have them tailored if you prefer a more polished look. Great suggestions. I'll definitely consider those options. And lastly, this pair of jeans. Are they too tight around the hips? Those jeans hug your hips nicely, and the wash is really versatile. However, if you want a bit more comfort, you could try one size up. That might give you a bit more room while still maintaining a flattering fit. You're a lifesaver. Thanks for helping me make these decisions. I'm feeling much more confident about my choices now. Anytime. Shopping is always more fun with a second opinion. Accessories Hey, I'm trying to pick out some accessories for the party tonight. What do you think will go well with this black dress? Oh, that dress is elegant. I'd go for some silver or crystal drop earrings and a matching bracelet. They'll add a touch of glamour without overpowering the simplicity of the black. That sounds perfect. I was thinking about a necklace too. Should I go for something bold or delicate? Since the dress has a higher neckline, a delicate pendant necklace would be lovely. Maybe something with a small gemstone to add a pop of color. Good idea. Now, I've got this floral top I'm planning to wear with jeans. What kind of accessories will make it pop? With a floral pattern, you don't want to overpower it. How about some statement earrings that pick up one of the colors in the top? And a stack of simple gold bangles on your wrist could complement it well. I like the sound of that contrast. And for a casual day out with the white tee and shorts? A colorful scarf tied as a headband could give your outfit a playful vibe. Also, a dainty pendant necklace and some hoop earrings would complete the easy breezy look. You've got such a knack for this. Thanks for the suggestions. You've made accessorizing seem way less intimidating. No problem at all. Accessories are all about expressing your personal style, so have fun experimenting with different combinations. Delivery service. Hey, did you hear about that new delivery service? They promised to deliver groceries within an hour. Really? That sounds super convenient. I'm tired of spending ages at the store. I know, right? I gave it a try yesterday. I ordered some essentials, and they were in my door in less than 40 minutes. That's impressive. 
But is it expensive? Surprisingly not. The delivery fee was reasonable. And they had some cool discounts on popular items. Plus, think about the time and guess I saved. True, time is money. I might have to give it a shot too. I have a busy week ahead. Definitely worth it. And their app is user-friendly. You can track your order and even specify delivery instructions. Nice. That takes away the worry of missed deliveries. How about the quality of the groceries? The produce was fresh, and they had a wide range of brands. I was a bit skeptical, but they really came through. Awesome. You've convinced me. I'll download the app today and give it a go. Thanks for the recommendation. No problem. Happy to help. Trust me, you'll wonder how you ever did without it. Enjoy the convenience. My treat. Hey, I heard it's your birthday next week. How about we celebrate? My treat. Oh, you really don't have to do that. But that sounds like a fun idea. No, seriously, I insist. It's your special day, and I'd love to treat you. Well, if you're sure about it, I won't say no. Thank you. Of course, it's the least I can do for an amazing friend like you. You're too kind. But what about the others? Should we invite them too? Absolutely, the more the merrier. Let's make it a great gathering. All right, then I'll spread the word. Thanks again for this, it means a lot. Don't mention it. I've been wanting to do something special, and your birthday is the perfect occasion. I appreciate your thoughtfulness. Let's make it a memorable celebration. I've already got a few places in mind. I'll make a reservation and take care of everything. You're really going all out for this. I can't thank you enough. It's my pleasure. Get ready for a fantastic time. Supermarket. Hey, do we need anything else from the supermarket? Yeah, we're running low on milk and bread. Could you also grab some fresh fruits? Sure thing. Should I pick up some snacks for the movie night? Good idea. Get some popcorn and maybe some chips. Oh, and don't forget the salsa. Got it. Anything else on the list? We're out of toothpaste, so don't forget to grab that. And if they have any deals on chicken, we could use some for dinner this week. Noted, toothpaste and chicken. Anything for dessert? How about some ice cream? Vanilla should do. Vanilla ice cream, gotcha. I think that's everything then. Wait, one last thing. Could you check if they have those multi-purpose cleaner refills? We're almost out. Multi-purpose cleaner refills? I'll make sure to find those. All right, I'm heading to the supermarket now. Thanks. Take a shopping cart. It sounds like we've got quite a bit on the list. Will do. I'll be back in a bit. Paying. Never stop forgetting if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. Hey, it's my turn to pay for dinner tonight, right? Oh, you don't have to do that. It's okay. No, really, I insist. You treated me last time and I want to return the favor. Well, if you're sure. But how about we split the bill instead? It seems more fair that way. Nah, don't worry about it. I've got it covered. Consider it a thank you for all the times you've been there for me. That's really kind of you, but I don't want you to feel obligated. Trust me, there's no obligation. We're friends, and that's what friends do, take care of each other. All right then, 
If you're sure you're okay with it, I appreciate the gesture. Absolutely, no doubts. And if you really feel the need to pay back, a dessert would be more than enough. Ha <laughs> deal. Thanks a bunch. You're the best. Just looking out for each other. Now let's enjoy the meal. My treat. Hey, I heard it's your birthday next week. How about we celebrate? My treat. Oh, you really don't have to do that, but that sounds like a fun idea. No, seriously, I insist. It's your special day, and I'd love to treat you. Well, if you're sure about it, I won't say no. Thank you. Of course, it's the least I can do for an amazing friend like you. You're too kind. But what about the others? Should we invite them too? Absolutely, the more the merrier. Let's make it a great gathering. All right, then I'll spread the word. Thanks again for this, it means a lot. Don't mention it. I've been wanting to do something special, and your birthday is the perfect occasion. I appreciate your thoughtfulness. Let's make it a memorable celebration. I've already got a few places in mind. I'll make a reservation and take care of everything. You're really going all out for this. I can't thank you enough. It's my pleasure. Get ready for a fantastic time. Diet. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and Hey, have you heard about that new diet trend that everyone's talking about? Oh, you mean the one where you eat only fruits and vegetables? Yeah, I've heard about it Exactly, that's the one I was thinking about giving it a try What do you think? Well, it sounds interesting But you should definitely do your research before jumping into it Diets can affect people differently. That's true. I've been reading some mixed reviews online. Some people say it works wonders, while others think it's too restrictive. Yeah, extreme diets can be tough to stick to. Maybe you could consider making gradual changes to your eating habits instead. You're right. Maybe I'll start by incorporating more fruits and vegetables into my meals and see how that goes. That sounds like a balanced approach. Remember, the key is sustainability and finding something that fits your lifestyle. Absolutely. I don't want to end up feeling deprived or unhealthy because of a fad diet. Good thinking. It's also important to consult with a healthcare professional or nutritionist before making any major changes to your diet. I'll definitely do that. Thanks for the advice. I guess the key is to prioritize overall health and well-being rather than quick fixes. You got it. Whatever you decide, I'm here to support you on your journey towards a healthier lifestyle. Thanks, I really appreciate that. Let's both focus on making better choices for our bodies. Agreed. Here's to healthier choices and feeling great. Checking a bag at the counter. Good morning. How may I assist you today? Hi there. I need to check in this bag for my flight to New York, please. Absolutely. Could I have your passport and airline ticket, please? Sure, here they are. Thank you. I'll just confirm your flight details. I, uh, you're traveling on flight 123 to New York. That's scheduled to depart at 10.30 a.m. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Great. I see that you're entitled to one checked bag. Do you have any other bags to check in today? No, just this one. All right. I'll tag your bag with the destination code. 
and provide you with a baggage claim tag. Please keep it safe as you'll need it to collect your bag later. Here's your boarding pass as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Could you please place your bag on the scale so we can check its weight? Sure. Excellent. Your bag meets the weight requirement and it's within the size restrictions. We'll take care of it from here. You can proceed to the security checkpoint. Have a pleasant flight. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I'm able vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and to be put down. It ain't your place. I'll diss my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The news it fits. Some loose shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Buying furniture. Hey, I heard you're looking to buy some new furniture. How's the search going? It's been quite a journey, to be honest. I've been to a couple of stores, but there are so many options to choose from. I totally get that. What are you specifically looking for? Mainly a new dining table and chairs. I want something sturdy but also stylish. You know, that fits my dining area. Have you considered checking out some online furniture stores? They often have a wider range of choices, and you can read reviews from other buyers. That's a good idea, but I'm a bit worried about buying something without seeing it in person first. I get your point. Maybe you could narrow down your options online, and then visit a showroom to see and touch the pieces before making a decision. Yeah, that could work. Oh, and I'm also trying to find a comfy sofa for my living room. The ones I've seen so far were either too bulky or not really comfortable. Sofas can be tricky. Make sure to check the dimensions and see if it fits your space. And when it comes to comfort, don't compromise, it's something you'll be using a lot. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep searching and maybe take your suggestion about online browsing and showroom visits. It's a bit overwhelming, but I'm determined to find the perfect pieces. You've got this. Just take your time, and I'm sure you'll find furniture that suits both your style and needs. Arranging Furniture Was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell Hey, I heard you're rearranging your furniture again How's it going? Yeah, I'm giving it another shot It's surprising how much difference furniture arrangement can make in the feel of a room Absolutely What's the plan this time? I'm trying to create a more open layout in the living room I moved the sofa against the wall and place the coffee table in the center for better flow. Sounds like a good start. Did you consider the focal point of the room? Yeah, I kept the TV as the focal point and positioned the sofa to face it, but I'm not sure if I should add some additional seating. It's a good idea. 
especially if you often have guests over. Maybe some accent chairs or floor cushions that can easily be moved around. Oh, that's smart. I didn't think about floor cushions. I'm also trying to figure out what to do with that awkward corner by the window. You could create a cozy reading nook there. A comfortable armchair, a small side table, and a floor lamp could work wonders. That's a fantastic idea. Thanks. I've been staring at this room for so long. It's nice to get a fresh perspective. Happy to help. Sometimes all it takes is a few changes to transform the space. Just remember to balance aesthetics with functionality. Will do. Thanks again for the tips. I'm feeling more excited about this rearranging project now. Interior design. Hey, have you seen the changes I made to the living room? I've been really into interior design lately. Oh, definitely. The space looks amazing. The new color scheme is so refreshing. Those cool blues really set a calm mood. I'm glad you noticed. I wanted to create a more open feel, so I repositioned the furniture. The sofa now faces the window to let in more natural light. That was a smart move. The room feels so much brighter and inviting now. And those new accent pillows and artwork on the walls add a nice pop of color. Thank you. I've been trying to strike a balance between minimalism and comfort. I also got a new area rug that ties everything together and defines a cozy sitting area. The rug does wonders. It anchors the space and adds warmth. I've been thinking about redoing my bedroom. Any tips for someone just getting into interior design? Sure thing. Start by considering your personal style and the functionality you need. Pinterest and interior design blogs are great for inspiration. And don't be afraid to experiment with different layouts before committing. Awesome. Thanks for the advice. Your living room is inspiring me to give my place a fresh look. You're welcome. Have fun with it. Designing your space can be such a creative and fulfilling journey. Renting an apartment. Hey, I heard you're looking to rent an apartment. How's the search going? It's been a bit overwhelming, to be honest. There are so many options out there. I get it. Have you considered what your priorities are? Like location, budget, amenities? Yeah, I have a rough idea. I want to be near the city center and public transport. And my budget is somewhat flexible. That's a good start. Have you looked into any neighborhoods yet? I've been eyeing a few, but I'm not too familiar with the area. Do you have any recommendations? Well, I used to live in Parkside Apartments. It's close to downtown, and they have a gym and pool. Might be worth checking out. Thanks, I'll check it out. How about the rental process itself? Any tips? Sure thing. First, make sure to visit the apartment in person to get a feel for the space and condition. Then. When you meet with the landlord or property manager, ask about lease terms, maintenance, and any additional costs. Got it. That's helpful advice. I'm a bit nervous about signing a lease. It's natural to feel that way. Just make sure you understand the terms before signing anything. And don't hesitate to negotiate if there's something you're not comfortable with. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. I'll keep all of this in mind as I continue my search. No problem. Best of luck with finding the perfect place. I'm sure you'll find something great. Money. Hey, I hope you're doing well. 
I hate to bring this up, but I'm in a bit of a financial bind at the moment. Is there any chance you could lend me some money? Hi, I'm sorry to hear that you're facing financial difficulties. I understand how challenging it can be. Can you give me some details about how much you need and what it's for? Thank you for understanding. I need about $500 to cover some unexpected expenses that came up. It's for a medical bill and car repairs. I see. I want to help you, but I also need to consider my own financial situation. Let me check my budget and see if I can lend you the full amount or a portion of it. I completely understand, and I appreciate your willingness to help. Take your time and let me know what you're comfortable with. After reviewing my budget, I can lend you $300 for now. I hope it can provide some relief. We can discuss repayment terms that work for both of us. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate your support. I'll make sure to repay you as soon as I'm able to. We can discuss the details and come up with a plan that suits us both. You're welcome. And I trust that you'll make it right when you're able to. We'll work out the repayment details soon. Remember, I'm here to support you. I won't forget your kindness, and I'll do my best to repay you promptly. Thank you again for being understanding and helping me through this tough time. Introducing nearby locations. Hi there. I just moved to the neighborhood. Can you tell me about any interesting, nearby locations worth exploring? Absolutely. Welcome to the neighborhood. There are a few places you might find interesting. First, we have a lovely park just a couple of blocks away. It's perfect for a relaxing stroll or a picnic. That sounds wonderful. I'll definitely check out the park. Any other recommendations? Of course. We also have a vibrant local market nearby. It's a great place to discover fresh produce, local artisans, and delicious street food. That sounds like a place I'd love to visit. I enjoy exploring local markets. Anything else? Yes, there's a charming cafe just around the corner. They serve excellent coffee and have a cozy atmosphere. It's a perfect spot to unwind or meet up with friends. I'm always up for a good cup of coffee. I'll make sure to stop by the cafe. Thank you for the recommendations. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your time exploring the neighborhood and discovering these nearby gems. If you need more suggestions or have any other questions, feel free to ask. I appreciate your help. I'll definitely reach out if I need more information. Thanks again. No problem at all. Have a fantastic time settling in and getting to know the area. Welcome once again. Refusing others. Hey, I wanted to ask if you'd like to join me for the concert tomorrow night. It's going to be amazing. Thanks for the invite, but I have to decline. I already made plans for tomorrow. I appreciate the offer, though. Oh, no worries. I understand. Maybe next time then? Absolutely. I'd love to join you another time when our schedules align. Just let me know in advance and I'll try my best to make it work. That sounds great. I'll definitely keep you in the loop for future events. It's always more fun to enjoy experiences with friends. I completely agree. By the way, I wanted to ask if you could help me with a project this weekend. It's a bit time consuming, but I think you'd be perfect for it. I appreciate your confidence in me, but I'm swamped with other commitments this weekend. I won't be able to help out. Sorry about that. No problem at all. I completely understand. If anything changes or if there's anything else I can assist you with in the future, feel free to reach out. Thank you for understanding. I'll definitely keep that in mind. We all have busy times, and it's important to support each other's priorities. Absolutely. We're here to help when we can, 
And it's perfectly all right to say no when we can't. Finding the right apartment. Hey, I've been searching for a new apartment, and I could use some advice. How did you find the right place when you were apartment hunting? Sure, happy to help. When I was looking for an apartment, I started by making a list of my must-haves and deal breakers. It helped me stay focused during my search. What are your priorities? Well, I need a pet-friendly place with a washer dryer in the unit. I also prefer a quiet neighborhood with good public transportation access. Budget-wise, I'm looking for something within a certain range. Those are great starting points. I recommend checking online listings and reaching out to real estate agents. Also, consider driving or walking around neighborhoods you like to see if there are any for rent signs. It can be helpful to visit potential apartments in person to get a feel for the place and the surrounding area. That makes sense. I'll definitely take those steps. Did you come across any challenges during your search? Definitely. It's important to be patient and persistent. Some apartments might not meet all your criteria, but don't settle for something that doesn't feel right. Keep searching, and I'm sure you'll find the perfect place that fits your needs and feels like home. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully, I'll find my dream apartment soon. You're welcome. Best of luck with your search. I'm sure you'll find an amazing apartment that checks all your boxes. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any more help along the way. Department. Hey, I've been searching for a new apartment, and I could use some advice. How did you find the right place when you were apartment hunting? Sure, happy to help. When I was looking for an apartment, I started by making a list of my must-haves and deal breakers. It helped me stay focused during my search. What are your priorities? Well, I need a pet-friendly place with a washer dryer in the unit. I also prefer a quiet neighborhood with good public transportation access. Budget-wise, I'm looking for something within a certain range. Those are great starting points. I recommend checking online listings and reaching out to real estate agents. Also, consider driving or walking around neighborhoods you like to see if there are any for rent signs. It can be helpful to visit potential apartments in person to get a feel for the place and the surrounding area. That makes sense. I'll definitely take those steps. Did you come across any challenges during your search? Definitely. It's important to be patient and persistent. Some apartments might not meet all your criteria, but don't settle for something that doesn't feel right. Keep searching, and I'm sure you'll find the perfect place that fits your needs and feels like home. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully, I'll find my dream apartment soon. You're welcome. Best of luck with your search. I'm sure you'll find an amazing apartment that checks all your boxes. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any more help along the way. Learning new customs. Never stop forgetting if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up. Till I'm really excited about my upcoming trip to Japan, but I'm a bit nervous about unfamiliar customs. Do you have any tips for learning and adapting to new customs? Absolutely. Learning new customs can be both challenging and rewarding. One key tip is to do some research before your trip. Read about the local customs, traditions, and etiquette in Japan, understanding basic greetings, table manners, 
and gift-giving practices can go a long way in showing respect. That's a good point. I'll definitely do my homework. But what if I make a mistake? Making mistakes is a natural part of the learning process. Don't worry too much about it. The locals generally appreciate the effort you make to respect their customs. If you do make a mistake, apologize politely and learn from it. Most people will be understanding and helpful. That's reassuring. Any other suggestions? Yes, immerse yourself in the local culture as much as possible. Try local foods, visit cultural landmarks, and interact with the locals. This will not only enhance your understanding of their customs, but also enrich your overall travel experience. That sounds like a great approach. I'll make sure to embrace the local culture during my trip. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Enjoy your trip to Japan and have fun learning about their customs. It's an incredible opportunity to broaden your horizons and appreciate the diversity of our world. Safe travels. Conveying messages for guests. Hi there. I'm the new receptionist. I noticed we have some messages for our guests. How do we typically convey them? Welcome to the team. When we have messages for guests, we usually deliver them through their room phones or leave written notes in their rooms. What messages do we have? We have three messages. One is for Mr. Anderson regarding a package delivery. The second is for Miss Johnson. Her colleague called and left a callback number. And the third is for Mr. Thompson. His dinner reservation has been confirmed for tonight. Great. Let's start with Mr. Anderson. I'll call his room and inform him about the package. Could you write down the details for the other messages? I'll make sure they receive them as well. Sure, I'll jot down the information. Once you're done with Mr. Anderson, I'll leave the notes in the respective rooms for Miss Johnson and Mr. Thompson. Perfect. Let's handle these messages efficiently and ensure our guests receive the information in a timely manner. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Thank you for your guidance. I appreciate your support. Let's get these messages delivered promptly and provide excellent service to our guests. Absolutely. We're a team and together, we'll make sure our guests have a great experience. Let's go above and beyond for them. I'll be right back. Hey, do you have a minute to talk about the new project? Sure, what's up? I just wanted to get your thoughts on the design proposal before we submit it. Oh, okay. Let me take a look. Great, I'll pull it up. What do you think about the color scheme? Hmm, I'm not sure. Can you give me a second to think? Yeah, take your time. Actually, I need to step out for a moment. Can we continue this in a few minutes? Oh, sure. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just need to take care of something really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, no problem. I'll wait for you here. Thanks, I won't be long. Lost. Hey, have you seen my tag anywhere? I can't seem to find it. Your tag? What does it look like? Where did you last see it? It's a small rectangular tag with my name and contact information on it. I usually attach it to my backpack. I last saw it this morning before I left for work, but now it's gone. 
Hum, did you check all the pockets in your backpack? Sometimes things can get misplaced inside. Yeah, I've checked every pocket multiple times, but it's not there. I'm starting to get worried. I need it for identification purposes. Don't panic just yet. Have you retraced your steps? Maybe it fell off somewhere along the way. That's a good idea. I'll try going back to the places I visited today and see if I can spot it. Hopefully, someone picked it up and will return it. Stay positive. I'm sure you'll find it soon. If not, consider getting a replacement tag made just in case. You're right. I'll keep looking and order a new tag if necessary. Thanks for your help and support. No problem. Good luck finding your tag. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to assist you. International Direct Call Hi, I need to make an international direct call. Do you know if there's a phone service available for that? Absolutely. We have international direct dialing available for our customers. Which country are you trying to call? I need to reach someone in France. Can you assist me with the necessary dialing instructions? Certainly. To make a direct call to France, you'll need to dial the international access code, followed by the country code for France, and then the recipient's phone number. The international access code for most countries is 00, so you would dial 00, then 33 for France, and finally, the recipient's phone number. Thank you for explaining. I really appreciate it. Is there a phone I can use to make the call? Yes, we have public phones available in the lobby for international calls. You can also use your room phone, but please be aware that international calls may incur additional charges. I can provide you with the rates, if you'd like. I'll use the public phone in the lobby. I'm aware of the potential charges. Thank you for your assistance. I'll make the call now. You're welcome. If you have any further questions, or need any additional help, feel free to ask. Have a successful call, and let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Inquiring room number. Excuse me, do you happen to know what room number Dr. Johnson is in? Dr. Johnson? I'm not sure, but I can check the directory for you. Give me a moment. Thank you. I appreciate it. I need to speak with him about an important matter. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, here it is. Dr. Johnson is in room 305 on the third floor. Room 305. Got it. Thank you so much. I'll head there right away. You're welcome. I hope everything goes well with your conversation. Me too. I have some urgent questions that I need his expertise on. I'm sure Dr. Johnson will be able to assist you. If you have any more inquiries or need further assistance, feel free to ask. I appreciate your help. If I have any more questions, I'll be sure to reach out. Thanks again. No problem at all. Good luck with your meeting. Conveying messages for guests. Hi there. I'm the new receptionist. I noticed we have some messages for our guests. How do we typically convey them? Welcome to the team. When we have messages for guests, we usually deliver them through their room phones or leave written notes in their rooms. What messages do we have? We have three messages. One is for Mr. Anderson regarding a package delivery. The second is for Miss Johnson. Her colleague called and left a callback number. And the third is for Mr. Thompson 
His dinner reservation has been confirmed for tonight. Great. Let's start with Mr. Anderson. I'll call his room and inform him about the package. Could you write down the details for the other messages? I'll make sure they receive them as well. Sure, I'll jot down the information. Once you're done with Mr. Anderson, I'll leave the notes in the respective rooms for Miss Johnson and Mr. Thompson. Perfect. Let's handle these messages efficiently and ensure our guests receive the information in a timely manner. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Thank you for your guidance. I appreciate your support. Let's get these messages delivered promptly and provide excellent service to our guests. Absolutely. We're a team and together, we'll make sure our guests have a great experience. Let's go above and beyond for them. Direct call. Hi, I need to make an international direct call. Do you know if there's a phone service available for that? Absolutely. We have international direct dialing available for our customers. Which country are you trying to call? I need to reach someone in France. Can you assist me with the necessary dialing instructions? Certainly. To make a direct call to France, you'll need to dial the international access code, followed by the country code for France and then the recipient's phone number. The international access code for most countries is 00, so you would dial 00, then 33 for France, and finally, the recipient's phone number. Thank you for explaining. I really appreciate it. Is there a phone I can use to make the call? Yes, we have public phones available in the lobby for international calls. You can also use your room phone, but please be aware that international calls may incur additional charges. I can provide you with the rates, if you'd like. I'll use the public phone in the lobby. I'm aware of the potential charges. Thank you for your assistance. I'll make the call now. You're welcome. If you have any further questions or need any additional help, feel free to ask. Have a successful call and let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Other services to the room guests. Good afternoon. I hope you're enjoying your stay with us. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Actually, there is something I need help with. I've been having trouble connecting to the WI fee. Is there a way you can assist me in getting it set up? Absolutely. I apologize for the inconvenience. Let's troubleshoot that for you. Could you please provide me with your room number? Sure, it's room 315. Thank you. I'll check the network settings for that room and see if there's any issue. In the meantime, would you like a complimentary welcome basket? Delivered to your room? That's very thoughtful. Yes, I would appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll make a note of it. Regarding the WI fee, I'll contact our technical support team right away to resolve the connectivity issue. They'll be able to assist you shortly. Thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate your prompt attention to these matters. It's my pleasure. We strive to ensure our guests have a comfortable stay. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. Being locked out of the fire exit. Oh no, the fire exit is locked. We can't get out this way. What do we do? Stay calm. Let's try to find an alternative route. Is there another exit nearby that we can use? I'm not sure. Let's check the floor plan. According to the map, 
there should be another exit on the opposite side of the building. We'll have to make our way there. All right, let's hurry and head towards that exit. We shouldn't waste any time. Remember to stay cautious and follow any emergency protocols we come across. Agreed. Safety is our top priority. We need to alert someone about the locked fire exit too. Let's find a staff member or security personnel on our way and inform them about the situation. That's a good idea. They should be able to take immediate action to unlock the fire exit and ensure it doesn't happen again. Let's keep an eye out for any staff members as we make our way to the alternate exit. Absolutely. Hopefully, we can resolve this quickly and ensure the safety of everyone in the building. Let's stay focused and move swiftly towards the other exit. Transfer service. Hi there. I'm wondering if there's a transfer service available to get me from the airport to the hotel. Absolutely. We provide a transfer service for our guests. When is your flight arriving? And which airport will you be landing at? My flight is scheduled to arrive at 6.30 p.m. at the International Airport. Perfect. We can arrange a pickup for you. Would you prefer a private car or a shared shuttle? I think a private car would be more convenient for me. Noted. I'll arrange a private car to be waiting for you at the airport when you arrive. Can you please provide me with your flight details, including the airline and flight number? Sure, it's flight ABC 123 with XYZ Airlines. Thank you. I'll make sure the driver is aware of your arrival time and flight details. Once you collect your luggage, the driver will meet you at the designated meeting point. Do you have any other questions or requirements? No, that sounds perfect. Thank you for organizing the transfer service. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to assist you. Have a safe flight, and we look forward to welcoming you at the airport. If you need any further assistance, feel free to let us know. Message service. Hey, I just received an important message, but I won't be able to respond right away. Do you mind helping me with a message service? Of course. I'd be happy to assist. What do you need me to do? Thank you so much. Can you please send a reply to this message and let them know that I'm currently unavailable, but I'll get back to them as soon as possible? Absolutely. Could you provide me? with the details of the message, so I can draft an appropriate response. Certainly. The message is from John Doe, and he's inquiring about the upcoming meeting. Please let him know that I'm unable to respond immediately due to prior commitments, but I'll provide a detailed response by the end of the day. Noted. I'll send the message on your behalf, assuring John that you'll get back to him by the end of the day. Is there anything else you'd like me to include? That should cover it. Thank you for handling this for me. I appreciate your assistance. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. I'll make sure to convey the message accurately. Just let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows where a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose it fits. I'm losing shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. 
If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. I would love to. Hey, there's a new art exhibit opening this weekend. Would you be interested in going? Absolutely. I love art exhibits. I would love to. Awesome. It's at the downtown gallery, and I've heard the artist's work is really unique. Count me and then. I've been wanting to explore more local art scenes. Perfect. The exhibit starts at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Does that work for you? Sounds great. I would love to attend and support local artists. It's going to be a fun afternoon of exploring and appreciating art. Looking forward to it. Me too. Thanks for inviting me. I would love to be a part of it. No problem at all. It's always more enjoyable to share these experiences with friends. Agreed. And hey, if you ever want to check out any other events or exhibits, just let me know. Will do. Likewise, if you come across anything interesting, I'm up for it. Awesome. Thanks for including me. I would love to continue discovering new things together. Absolutely. It's a plan. Let's make the most of our weekends and explore the art scene. Looking forward to it. See you on Saturday for the exhibit. Can't wait. It's going to be a great time. I don't feel like it. Hey, do you want to go for a run later? The weather is perfect. You know, I don't feel like it today. I'm just not in the mood for running. That's all right. No pressure. We can always go another time. Thanks for understanding. I usually enjoy it, but today I'm just not feeling up to it. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes our bodies need a break. Yeah, I think I might just relax at home and do some light stretching instead. Sounds like a good alternative. Listen to your body and do what feels right. I appreciate your understanding. Sometimes I feel guilty for skipping workouts. Don't be. Taking care of your mental and physical well-being is more important than pushing through a workout when you're not into it. You're right. Thanks for reminding me. I'll make sure to get back into it when I'm feeling more motivated. That's the spirit. And hey, if you ever want some company or a little motivation, I'm here. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe next time, we can tackle that run together. Absolutely. I'm up for it whenever you are. Just let me know. Will do. Thanks for being understanding. It means a lot. No problem at all. We all have those days. Just take care of yourself and do what feels right. I don't feel like it.
Achu. Bless you. Thanks. My allergies have been acting up today. I know how that feels. The pollen count has been high lately. Tell me about it. It's been a constant struggle to keep my sneezing in check. Have you tried taking any allergy medication? Yeah, I've been taking some over the counter stuff, but it only helps so much. Maybe it's worth checking with a doctor if it's affecting you this much. You're right. I should probably schedule an appointment. Thanks for the suggestion. No problem. Allergies can be really disruptive, so it's worth exploring options to manage them. Definitely. Anyway, how's your day been going? Not bad, just trying to stay on top of work. The usual. I feel you. Well, if you need a distraction from work, I'm always here for a chat. Thanks, I appreciate that. And by the way, don't hesitate to let me know if you need any allergy advice. Will do. Thanks for the offer. It's nice to have someone to talk to about this sneezy situation. Ha, ha anytime. Sneezes and all, we're in this together. You're being ridiculous. I can't believe she got upset over such a small thing. Well, you did accidentally spill coffee all over her laptop. It's understandable that she'd be frustrated. It was just a little spill. She's acting like I ruined her whole life. Come on, let's be real here. A laptop is an important and expensive device for most people. I get that, but accidents happen. She's making it. It a bigger deal than it needs to be. Maybe she's stressed about other things too. We don't always know what's going on in someone's life. You're right, but still, her reaction was over the top. Have you tried apologizing and offering to help with the repairs? I did, but she brushed me off and kept going on about how I'm irresponsible. Well, maybe she needs some time to cool down. Sometimes reactions are heightened in the heat of the moment. I suppose. It's just frustrating to be called out like this. Just remember, actions have consequences, even unintentional ones. It's important to take responsibility. Fine. I'll try talking to her again once things have settled. That's a good approach. Communication can help clear misunderstandings. Thanks for talking some sense into me. I guess I need to rethink my perspective. No problem. We all make mistakes, but how we handle them matters. It's a learning experience. You're right. I appreciate your honesty, even if it means telling me I'm being ridiculous. Hello, I would like to make a change to my existing reservation at your hotel. Is that possible? Of course. I'll be happy to assist you. May I have your name and the details of your current reservation? My name is Sarah Johnson, and my reservation is for a double room from June 15th to June 20th. Thank you. What specific changes would you like to make to your reservation? I need to modify the date slightly. Instead of June 15 to June 20th, I would like to change it to June 17 to June 22nd. Let me check our availability for those new dates. Please bear with me for a moment. 
No problem. Take your time. I apologize for the inconvenience, but we are fully booked on June 17th. However, we do have availability from June 18th to June 22nd. Would that work for you? Yes, that would be fine. Please go ahead and change my reservation to those dates. Noted. I have updated your reservation to a double room from June 18th to June 22nd. Is there anything else you would like to modify? That's all for now. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. If you have any further questions or need any additional assistance, please don't hesitate to let us know. Have a great day. Prioritizing Health, a conversation on well-being. Hi, sweetheart. I wanted to have a conversation about your health and well-being. How are you feeling overall? Hi, Mom. I've been feeling a bit tired lately, and I've noticed I haven't been eating as well as I should. I think I need to make some changes. I'm glad you brought this up, my dear. Taking care of your health is important. Let's discuss some ways we can improve your well-being together. I think I need to focus on getting better sleep and establishing a consistent sleep schedule. I've been staying up too late, and it's affecting my energy levels. That's a great observation, sweetheart. Having a consistent sleep routine is crucial for your overall health and mental well-being. Let's work on creating a bedtime routine that promotes better sleep. I also want to make healthier food choices. I've been relying on fast food and snacks too much. It's time to incorporate more fruits, vegetables, and home-cooked meals into my diet. I'm proud of your awareness, my love. Nutrition plays a significant role in our well-being. Let's plan meals together and explore new recipes that are nutritious and delicious. Exercise is another area I want to focus on. I need to incorporate physical activity into my routine to boost my energy and overall fitness. That's a fantastic goal, sweetheart. We can research different types of exercises that interest you and create a workout plan. It's important to find activities that you enjoy to stay motivated. Thank you for being supportive, Mom. Your guidance and encouragement mean a lot to me. I want to prioritize my health and make positive changes. I'm always here for you, my dear. Your health and well-being are important to me. We'll work together to create a healthy lifestyle that benefits you in the long run. Remember, small steps lead to big changes, and I'm proud of you for taking this initiative. Could you recommend something? Hello, how can I help you? Could you recommend something? Certainly. Are you in the mood for something specific, like seafood, pasta, or a vegetarian option? I'm open to anything, but I do love seafood. In that case, I highly recommend our grilled sea base. It's a tender fillet of sea base marinated in a flavorful herb sauce, served with a side of roasted asparagus and wild rice. It's a delightful choice for seafood enthusiasts. That sounds fantastic. I'll go with the grilled sea base. And could you bring me a glass of white wine to pair with it? Absolutely. Our house chardonnay pairs beautifully with the sea base. Anything else I can assist you with? Do you have any appetizers that you would recommend? Certainly. Our shrimp cocktail is a popular chase. It features plum, succulent shrimp served with a zesty cocktail sauce. It's a refreshing way to start your meal. That sounds perfect. I'll have the shrimp cocktail as well. Thank you for the recommendation. You're welcome. I'll make sure your order is prepared to perfection. Your shrimp cocktail will be served first followed by the grilled sea base. Enjoy your meal. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. I'm running late.
Hey, are you almost here? We're supposed to meet in five minutes. I'm sorry, I'm running late. There's a lot of traffic on the road. No worries. How much longer do you think it will be? It's hard to say, but I'm probably going to be at least 10 minutes late. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I'll wait for you outside the coffee shop. Sounds good. I'm really sorry about this. Don't worry about it. These things happen. Do you need me to grab you a coffee or anything? No, that's okay. I'll get something when I get there. All right, no problem. I'll see you soon. Thanks, I'll hurry as fast as I can. Take your time and be safe. I'll be here when you arrive. I really appreciate your understanding. I won't be much longer. No worries at all. See you soon. Have you ever traveled abroad? Hey, have you ever traveled abroad? Yes, I have. I've been fortunate enough to visit several countries across different continents. That's amazing. Which country has been your favorite so far? It's hard to pick just one, but I'd have to say Japan. The culture, the food, and the beautiful landscapes left a lasting impression on me. I've always wanted to visit Japan. What was the most memorable experience you had there? One of the highlights was staying in a traditional ryokan and experiencing a traditional tea ceremony. It was a truly immersive cultural experience. That sounds incredible. Did you face any challenges while traveling abroad? Well, language barriers can sometimes be challenging, especially in countries where English is not widely spoken. However, I found that people are generally helpful and resourceful, which made it easier to navigate through those situations. That's good to know. How do you usually prepare for international trips? I researched the destination extensively, including its culture, customs, and local attractions. I also make sure to have all the necessary travel documents and plan my itinerary in advance. That's smart. Is there any particular country or city that you're looking forward to visiting in the future? Yes, I'm really excited about exploring South America, especially Machu Picchu in Peru, and the vibrant cities of Brazil. Those are definitely bucket list destinations. I hope you get to visit them soon. Thanks for sharing your travel experiences. You're welcome. Traveling abroad is an enriching experience, and I highly recommend it to everyone. Good evening. I'm so glad we could finally meet up for dinner. It's been far too long. I completely agree. Life gets so busy sometimes, but I'm thrilled we could make this happen. This place looks amazing, by the way. Great choice. Thank you. I heard their food is exceptional, and the ambience is perfect for a relaxed evening. I hope you're hungry because the menu is quite extensive. I'm absolutely starving. I've been looking forward to this meal all day. What do you recommend? Is there anything on the menu that's a must try? Well, their seafood dishes are outstanding, especially the grilled salmon. And I've heard great things about their homemade pasta too. Let's explore the menu together and decide. That sounds fantastic. I love seafood, so the grilled salmon definitely has my attention. And pasta is always a safe bet. I'm excited to indulge in some delicious food and catch up with you. Me too. It's always great to have good food and even better company. So, tell me what's been happening in your life lately. Oh, you know, the usual. Work has been keeping me busy, but I recently started taking cooking classes. It's been so much fun experimenting with new flavors and techniques. That's fantastic. Cooking classes sound like a wonderful way to unwind and unleash your creativity. I'd love to try some of your culinary creations sometime. Absolutely. I'd be thrilled to have you over for a home-cooked meal. We'll plan it soon. But for now, let's enjoy this dinner and make the most of our time together. Agreed. Here's to good food, great company, and making memories. Cheers. Cheers.
I couldn't have said it better. Cheers to a fantastic evening and many more dinners like this in the future. Balancing Work and Family Life I think we need to have a serious conversation about balancing our work and family life. Lately, it feels like we're constantly juggling and struggling to find a healthy equilibrium. I couldn't agree more. It's been challenging to give our family the time and attention they deserve while also meeting the demands of our careers. We need to find a better balance. I think we should start by evaluating our priorities. What truly matters to us? We need to be intentional about creating quality time for our family and ourselves. Absolutely. It's time to set boundaries and establish dedicated family time. We should carve out specific days or evenings where work takes a backseat and we focus solely on being present with our loved ones. And we also need to learn to delegate and ask for help when needed. It's not healthy for us to shoulder all the responsibilities alone. We should consider sharing household tasks and seeking support from family and friends. I agree. We should be open to accepting help and realize that it doesn't make us any less capable or responsible. It's about building a support system that allows us to thrive in both our personal and professional lives. Maybe we can also explore flexible work options or negotiate for a better work-life balance with our employers. It's worth discussing and finding ways to reduce the stress and demands on our time. That's a good point. We should advocate for ourselves and communicate our needs to our employers. It's important to find a work environment that values work-life balance and supports the well-being of its employees. Ultimately, we need to prioritize our family's happiness and well-being. Our time together is precious, and we must make a conscious effort to cherish and nurture our relationships. I completely agree. Let's make a commitment to each other and our family. It won't be easy, but with open communication, mutual support, and a shared vision, we can find the balance we need to thrive in both our work and family life. Weekend Adventure, Making Plans for Quality Time Hey, sweetie, the weekend is almost here. Do you have any plans or ideas for how we can make the most of our time together? Hi, Mom. I was thinking it would be fun to go hiking and explore a new trail. The weather is supposed to be great, and I know you enjoy nature too. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Spending time in nature and breathing in fresh air is always rejuvenating. Let's pack some snacks and make it a memorable hiking adventure. Awesome! I'll make sure to research a trail that suits our level of difficulty and offers beautiful views. I'm excited to embark on this little adventure with you. I'm excited too, my dear. It's important to connect with nature and create lasting memories together. We can also bring a camera and capture some stunning photographs along the way. That's a great suggestion, Mom. We can document our adventure and create a photo album or share them with our family and friends. I love that idea. It's a fantastic way to preserve our special moments and share our experiences. Besides hiking, is there anything else you'd like to do during the weekend? Well, I heard about a new ice cream parlor in town. It would be great to indulge in some delicious ice cream treats after our hike. That sounds like the perfect reward for a day well spent. Let's definitely treat ourselves to some sweet delights and enjoy a well-deserved ice cream feast. I can't wait, Mom. It's going to be a fantastic weekend filled with adventure, nature, and mouth-watering treats.
I couldn't agree more, my love. I cherish these moments we share, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to create beautiful memories with you. Let's make this weekend one to remember. Have you ever experienced any culture shocks? Hey, have you ever experienced any culture shocks while traveling? Oh, definitely. Cultural differences can sometimes be surprising and eye-opening. One instance that stands out is when I traveled to Japan. Japan is known for its unique culture. Could you share a specific culture shock you encountered there? One of the biggest culture shocks for me was the concept of etiquette and bowing. The level of respect and formality in daily interactions was something I had to adapt to. It was fascinating to observe how deeply rooted it is in Japanese society. That sounds like an interesting experience. Were there any other instances of culture shock during your travels? Absolutely. When I visited India, the vibrant chaos of the streets, the overwhelming diversity, and the sensory overload were all quite different from what I was used to. It took some time to adjust, but it was an incredible cultural immersion. It's amazing how travel can expose us to new perspectives. Have you found culture shocks to be positive or challenging? It's a bit of both, actually. While culture shocks can be initially challenging and make you step out of your comfort zone, they also broaden your horizons and make you appreciate the diversity in the world. It's a valuable learning experience. I couldn't agree more. Embracing and understanding different cultures can be truly enriching. Thanks for sharing your experiences. You're welcome. It's all part of the adventure. Cultural shocks remind us that the world is a fascinating and diverse place. Happy travels, and may you continue to have memorable encounters. What's for breakfast? Morning! I was thinking of making some pancakes. How does that sound? Ma'am, that sounds delicious. Can we add some blueberries to them? Sure thing. I also bought some maple syrup yesterday, so we can pour that over them. Perfect. I'll start brewing some coffee while you make the pancakes. Sounds good. How do you like your coffee? Just black, please. I like it strong. Got it. And do you want any eggs or bacon with the pancakes? No, just the pancakes are enough for me. All right, no problem. I'll start cooking now. Thanks, I appreciate it. By the way, did you hear back from that job interview you had last week? Yes, I did. They offered me the position. Congratulations. That's great news. When do you start? Thanks. I start in two weeks, so I still have some time to prepare. Well, we should definitely celebrate. Maybe we can go out for dinner tonight. That sounds perfect. Let's make a reservation at that new sushi place downtown. Thank you for cleaning. Hey, it looks like you did a great job cleaning up the kitchen. Thank you for cleaning. No problem, I just wanted to help out. The kitchen was starting to get a bit messy. I know, I've been so busy with work lately that I haven't had much time to clean up. I really appreciate you taking care of it. Of course, happy to help out. Is there anything else you need me to do around the house? Actually, yeah. I've been meaning to clean out the garage for a while now, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Do you think you could help me with that? Sure, I'd be happy to. When do you want to get started? How about this weekend? I have some free time on Saturday morning. Sounds good to me. I'll be there bright and early to help out with the garage. 
Thanks again for cleaning up the kitchen. I don't know what I'd do without you. No problem at all. I'm always happy to lend a hand. How was your day? They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make Hey, how was your day? It was good. Thanks for asking. How about yours? It was all right. Work was busy, but I managed to get everything done on time. That's good to hear. Did anything interesting happen? Actually, yes. I had a meeting with my boss and he offered me a promotion. Wow, congratulations. That's amazing news. Thank you. I'm really excited about it. It means more responsibility, but also a higher salary. Well, you definitely deserve it. You work hard and have been with the company for a long time. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to the new challenges. So, when does the promotion start? I have to give my answer by the end of the week, but the official start date is in two weeks. That's great. We should celebrate this weekend. Yes, we should. Maybe we could go out for dinner or something. Sounds perfect. Let's make a reservation at that new Italian restaurant downtown. Can you please pass the salt? Can you please pass the salt? Sure thing. Here you go. Thanks. So, what did you think of that movie we watched last night? To be honest, I wasn't a big fan. I found it a bit slow and predictable. Really? I actually liked it. I thought the acting was really good. Yeah, the acting was fine, but I just couldn't get into the story. That's fair. I guess everyone has different tastes when it comes to movies. Definitely. Speaking of taste, this pasta you made is really delicious. Thanks, I'm glad you like it. I tried a new recipe I found online. Well, it turned out great. What's in it? It's a tomato-based sauce with some Italian sausage mushrooms and onions. Yum, it's really flavorful. You're quite the cook. Thanks, I enjoyed trying out new recipes. Would you like some more? No, I'm good for now. But thanks for offering. Anytime. Do you want to watch another movie tonight? Sure, but let's pick something more action-packed this time. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Good morning to you too. Yes, I did. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm feeling a bit groggy, to be honest. I couldn't fall asleep until late last night. Oh no, that's too bad. Maybe you should try some chamomile tea before bed tonight. It always helps me relax. That's a good idea, thanks. So, what's on the agenda for today? Well, I was thinking of taking a walk in the park this morning. The weather is supposed to be nice. That sounds great. Can I join you? Of course. The more the merrier. We can grab some coffee from the cafe on the way there. Perfect. I could use some caffeine to wake me up. Let me just change out of my pajamas first. No problem. I'll wait for you in the living room. How are things going?
Hey, how are things going? Today is so bad for me. I lost the bracelet that I have just bought yesterday. I like this one very much. I had to wait for three months to buy it cause it is in the newest collection of this year from YL Luxury. Now, if want to buy it, I have to pre-order it on their website. And wait maybe for another three or five months. Oh, that's too bad. Do you remember where you put it? We could find it together, I'll help you. No. I think it came out of my bag when I was on the bus. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to help? Can you help to do the gardening this afternoon? Sure, when do you start? Around 3 p.m. or you can come to my house earlier and we can sip hot tea. Sound great. I'll go. Okay. I'll prepare everything and wait for you. Ah. Uh, my mom said that she needed me to bring you some apples. I'll bring them to you this afternoon. Thank you. What are you going to do now? I'm going to buy some food and then I'm going to the bus station. If you wait a minute, I can go with you. Sure, that would be great. Where do your parents live? Hi Lily, are you going home this weekend? No, not this weekend. I have too much work to do. Where do your parents live? My father lives in New York. How about your mother? My mother lives in Texas. They are divorced. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Is your father still working? No, he's retired. Do you have any family here? Yes, two of my cousins live here and my aunt and uncle live about 45 miles from here. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have two brothers who live in New York and a sister who lives in California. Do you see them a lot? Not as much as I'd like to. Usually just on holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Putting things in order.
Daniel, can you help me clean things up before we go? Sure. Where should I put this cup? Which cup? The black one. Put it on top of the table. How about this fruit? Oh, that goes in the refrigerator. And those pencils? What should I do with them? Bring those upstairs and put them in the bedroom. How about this pen? Give it to me. I need to use it. What do you want me to do with that paper over there? You can throw that away. I don't need it anymore. The trash is full. All right, then please put it in a bag and take it outside. Now what? I think we're finished. Can you please turn off the lights and shut the door? Sure. Making a doctor's appointment. Hi, I'd like to see the doctor, please. Do you have an appointment? No. When would you like an appointment? Is today possible? Yes. Today is fine. What time would you like? As soon as possible. My stomach really hurts. Please wait a moment. I'll see if the doctor is available. Okay. Sorry, he's with a patient right now. It's probably going to be about another 30 minutes. Would you mind waiting a little longer? No problem. May I see your insurance card, please? Here you are. Thanks. That's going to be $25 for today's visit. Really? I didn't think it would be that much. I know how you feel. I'll pay with cash. Thank you. Would you please turn on the heat? It's really cold in here. It is cold in here, isn't it? I'll take care of that in a moment. Please have a seat and fill out these forms. Bring them back to me when you're done. I brought you an apple.
Hey, how did you get here? I rode my bike. Are you serious? Why did you do that? I could have picked you up. That's okay, I didn't want to bother you. I know you don't like to wake up early. That's so nice of you. Aren't you cold? No, not really. I wore a coat. What's in the bag? It's a special type of apple. Oh. Can I try one? It's very sweet. I put sugar on it. These apples are really good. They were only 30 cents each. Aren't those more expensive than the ones at the supermarket? Yeah, they're more expensive, but they taste better. Did you buy any other fruit? Well, besides the apples, I bought oranges and bananas. Mail Hey Jane, did you get the mail yet? Yes. I picked it up this morning. There were a few bills and a letter from my mother. There was also a lot of junk mail. Was there anything for me? I don't remember, let me check. Yes, it looks like there's something here for you. Who's it from? The American Embassy. My hands are dirty. Will you open it for me? What does it say? It says your passport is ready. You can pick it up anytime. Do you think you can drive me there? Sure, when? I think we should go get it now. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll go. Is that okay? I am here for my job interview. Fine, have a seat. May I get you some water or coffee? Sure, thank you. I'll get that for you right now. Thank you. What a nice office this is. Yes, could you come in now? I am going to take you back to meet your interviewer. Ordering fast food.
Welcome. What would you like to order? I would like to get a double cheeseburger. Would you like everything on it? I would like everything on it. Thank you. Do you want any fries? Let me get some large curly fries. Can I get you anything to drink? Sure. How about a medium Pepsi? Is that everything? That'll be all. Thanks. You're welcome, and your total is five dollars and forty-eight cents. Thank you. Here you go. How to find a job? Could you help me figure out how to look for a job? We have lots of options. What type of job do you need? I want to work in an office. Do you want to work part time or full time? I want to work full time. We have binders with local job listings. Or you can make use of the computers. Okay. I am confused a bit, but I am sure that I can use it out. If you make an appointment with a job counselor, they can also provide you with a lot of information. Do you want to see a counselor? No, I don't think I need to do that. Well, you know that this job center is here for your use, so help yourself. Good luck. Job interview. Good morning. I am here for my interview. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Gotcha. Have any trouble finding the place? No problem. So why don't you tell me why you are interested in changing positions? Unfortunately, our company is shutting down due to the economy. What would you consider your strengths? I am probably best at researching for marketing purposes. What is your biggest weakness? I tend to get bored easily and so love to keep myself challenged. We have a position where that could work out well. Preparing for a job interview. Could you help me try and figure out how to get ready for my job interview? The most important thing to do is to make sure you know the company and what services or products it provides. Do you know all about them? Yes, I pretty much understand the company. Well, after you've done your research, you have to decide whether the company is casual or formal. Have you decided what they are yet? Yes, I've been observing them. When you are choosing what to wear, keep all of that in mind. Have you chosen what to wear? Already have something to wear. I would always be ready to go shopping with you. Should we talk about other basics? I'm ready to think of other things. You need to make sure you arrive on time, smile, be pleasant and friendly, look the person in the eye, and answer all questions to the best of your ability. You'll do great. Past simple tense, how was your day? Welcome home, Dad. Oh, Emily. How are you today? Fine. Good. And how was school today? Really fun. Good. And what did you do? 
We made things. Like what types of things did you make? We made books. You made books? Okay. And what else? We, we made paper rabbits. You made paper rabbit? Okay. And what did you need to make your paper rabbit? What kind of supplies did you need? We used crayons, papers, glue, and we had to follow directions. Well, good. And, uh, what did you do after school? We went home, played games. And did. Mom said you went to the junior high school. I rode my bike in the tennis court. Did you go by yourself? I went with the whole family, and we went with Nathan, Sarah, Rachel. You went with your cousins. And my mom. Well, that's great. Well, let's get ready for dinner. Okay. Please, subscribe to learn more English with my channel. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Knead the dough. All right, now that we've mixed the ingredients for all bread, what's the next step? The next crucial step is to knead the dough. It's essential for developing the gluten and getting that perfect bread texture. How do we do that? First, lightly flour your work surface so the dough doesn't stick. Then place the dough on it. Got it. What's next? Start by pressing the dough away from you with the heel of your hand. Then fold it in half towards you. Like this? Exactly. Now give it a quarter turn and repeat. Keep doing this for about 10 to 15 minutes until the dough becomes smooth and elastic. It seems a bit tough. Is that normal? Yes, it's supposed to be a bit of a workout. But don't overdo it. You want it just right. What should the dough feel like when it's ready? When you press it with your finger, it should spring back slowly. That's the sign that the gluten is well developed. Thanks for showing me how to knead the dough properly. It makes a lot more sense now. You're welcome. Practice makes perfect. And trust me, the end result is worth it when you have that freshly baked bread. Ingredient mix-up Oh, I think I've made a mistake. Is this sugar or salt? Yikes! It's hard to tell. Let me smell it. Sniffs. Hum. It's a bit tricky, but I'm leaning towards salt. Salt in my cookies? That would be a disaster. Maybe I should taste a tiny bit to confirm? Be careful with that. Just a tiny bit on the tip of your finger. It's definitely salt. Oh no, I meant to use sugar. What can we do now? Well, you could try to balance it out. Add some extra sugar to the mix, but not too much. We don't want overly sweet cookies either. Okay, I'll add a little more sugar, and hopefully, it'll turn out okay. Crisis averted, I hope. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. And sometimes, 
Unexpected twists can lead to delicious surprises in cooking. Let's hope this is one of those times. Thanks for the help, and let's keep part of the fun in the kitchen. Enjoy the baking adventure. I can't think straight. I can't think straight today. My mind feels so scattered. I totally get it. Those days when your thoughts are all over the place can be so frustrating. Yeah, it's like I have a million things to do, but I can't focus on any of them. Is there something specific that's preoccupying your mind? Well, work has been really demanding lately, and on top of that, I've got personal stuff to deal with. It sounds like you're juggling a lot. Maybe try taking a few deep breaths to help calm your mind. I attempted that earlier, but even that felt challenging. My thoughts keep racing. How about writing down your tasks and thoughts? Sometimes putting things on paper can help clear your mind. I'll give it a shot. Anything to regain some clarity. And don't forget to take short breaks. Pushing too hard can make it even harder to think clearly. You're right. Maybe I'll step outside for a bit and get some fresh air. That's a great idea. Nature has a way of helping us reset. Thanks for understanding. It's nice to talk to someone who gets it. Of course, we all have those moments. Remember, it's okay not to have everything figured out all at once. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the advice and the chat. Anytime. Take care and give yourself the space you need to think straight again. Leisure How was your weekend? It was great. I finally had some leisure time to relax and unwind. That sounds wonderful. What did you do? I caught up on my reading, went for a long hike, and even tried my hand at painting. That sounds like a perfect way to spend your free time. It really was. I've been so busy with work lately that having leisure time felt like a luxury. I totally get it. It's important to prioritize self-care and leisure activities. Absolutely. How about you? Did you have a chance to do anything fun? I managed to watch a couple of movies I've been wanting to see. It was a nice change of pace. Movies are a great way to unwind. Any recommendations? I watched a drama and a comedy, The Social Divide, and Laugh Out Loud. I've heard of those. I'll have to add them to my watch list. Definitely worth checking out. Anyway, it's back to the grind this week. True, but having those leisure activities over the weekend really recharged my batteries. That's the goal. We work hard during the week so we can enjoy our leisure time. Couldn't agree more. Let's make sure we continue to prioritize our well-being and leisure activities. Absolutely. We deserve it. Here's to more relaxing weekends in the future. Cheers to that. Have a great week ahead. You too. And may the next weekend come quickly. Haha, <laughs> I second that. Take care and see you around. You too. Until next time. Hello, 
I'm calling to inquire about a patient who was admitted to your hospital earlier today. Sure, I'll be happy to assist you. Could you please provide me with the patient's full name and date of birth? The name is John Smith, and his date of birth is January 15, 1980. Thank you for the information. Let me check our system for any updates on Mr. Smith's condition. I have the details here. Mr. Smith is currently in stable condition and under the care of Dr. Johnson. Is there anything specific you would like to know or any message you would like to relay? I appreciate the update. Could you kindly pass on my well wishes to Mr. Smith? Let him know that his family and friends are thinking of him and wishing him a speedy recovery. Absolutely. I'll make sure to convey your message to Mr. Smith. Is there anything else I can assist you with? That will be all for now. Thank you for your help and for taking care of Mr. Smith. Have a great day. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to assist. Have a great day too, and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any further questions. Introducing nearby locations. Hi there. I just moved to the neighborhood. Can you tell me about any interesting nearby locations worth exploring? Absolutely. Welcome to the neighborhood. There are a few places you might find interesting. First, we have a lovely park just a couple of blocks away. It's perfect for a relaxing stroll or a picnic. That sounds wonderful. I'll definitely check out the park. Any other recommendations? Of course. We also have a vibrant local market nearby. It's a great place to discover fresh produce, local artisans, and delicious street food. That sounds like a place I'd love to visit. I enjoy exploring local markets. Anything else? Yes, there's a charming cafe just around the corner. They serve excellent coffee and have a cozy atmosphere. It's a perfect spot to unwind or meet up with friends. I'm always up for a good cup of coffee. I'll make sure to stop by the cafe. Thank you for the recommendations. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your time exploring the neighborhood and discovering these nearby gems. If you need more suggestions or have any other questions, feel free to ask. I appreciate your help. I'll definitely reach out if I need more information. Thanks again. No problem at all. Have a fantastic time settling in and getting to know the area. Welcome once again. Healthcare. Hey, have you noticed the healthcare facilities here at the airport? It's quite impressive. Absolutely. They've really upped their game in that department. It's great to know that medical assistance is readily available if needed. Definitely. I saw they have those automated defibrillators and first aid stations scattered around. Makes me feel safer, especially during long layovers. I agree. Traveling can be stressful and having access to medical help provides a sense of security. And did you hear about the COVID testing center they've set up? It's good for those who need a test before their flight. Yes, that's a smart move. With all the travel restrictions these days, having an on-site testing facility can save a lot of time and hassle. It's such a relief to see that airports are taking passengers' health seriously. Makes me feel like they're truly invested in our well-being. Absolutely. It's a step in the right direction, ensuring that people can travel with confidence knowing that their health needs are being considered. Agreed. Whether it's a minor ailment or something more serious, it's comforting to know that help is just a few steps away. Let's hope this trend continues and becomes a standard practice at all airports. It's a positive change for everyone's benefit. For sure. Now I can focus on my journey without worrying about unexpected health issues.
at the fast food shop. Hey, mind if I join the line here? The line at the security checkpoint was crazy. No problem, go ahead. Yeah, I noticed the chaos too. Travel days can be so hectic. Tell me about it. So, have you been to this fast food spot before? I'm starving and need something quick. Yeah, a couple of times. Their burgers are decent and the fries are pretty good too. Awesome, I'll give that a shot then. Gotta grab some sustenance before the flight. Where are you headed? I'm off to Orlando for a vacation. Can't wait to hit the theme parks. That sounds like a blast. I'm actually flying to Chicago for a friend's wedding. Oh, weddings are always a good time. Do you know the couple well? Yeah, we go way back. It's going to be a fun reunion with old friends. Nice. So, any other recommendations in this airport? I've got a bit of a layover. If you're into books, there's a bookstore around the corner. Makes the time fly by. Thanks for the tip. I might check it out. Oh, looks like our food's ready. Enjoy the wedding and safe travels. You too. Have a fantastic vacation in Orlando. Take care. Thanks, goodbye. Goodbye and have a great trip. Dinner Good evening. I'm so glad we could finally meet up for dinner. It's been far too long. I completely agree. Life gets so busy sometimes, but I'm thrilled we could make this happen. This place looks amazing, by the way. Great choice. Thank you. I heard their food is exceptional, and the ambience is perfect for a relaxed evening. I hope you're hungry because the menu is quite extensive. I'm absolutely starving. I've been looking forward to this meal all day. What do you recommend? Is there anything on the menu that's a must try? Well, their seafood dishes are outstanding, especially the grilled salmon. And I've heard great things about their homemade pasta too. Let's explore the menu together and decide. That sounds fantastic. I love seafood, so the grilled salmon definitely has my attention. And pasta is always a safe bet. I'm excited to indulge in some delicious food and catch up with you. Me too. It's always great to have good food and even better company. So, tell me what's been happening in your life lately? Oh, you know, the usual. Work has been keeping me busy, but I recently started taking cooking classes. It's been so much fun experimenting with new flavors and techniques. That's fantastic. Cooking classes sound like a wonderful way to unwind and unleash your creativity. I'd love to try some of your culinary creations sometime. Absolutely. I'd be thrilled to have you over for a home-cooked meal. We'll plan it soon. But for now, let's enjoy this dinner and make the most of our time together. Agreed. Here's to good food, great company, and making memories. Cheers. Cheers. I couldn't have said it better. Cheers to a fantastic evening and many more dinners like this in the future. Balancing work and family life. I think we need to have a serious conversation about balancing our work and family life. Lately, it feels like we're constantly juggling and struggling to find a healthy equilibrium. I couldn't agree more. It's been challenging to give our family the time and attention they deserve while also meeting the demands of our careers. 
We need to find a better balance. I think we should start by evaluating our priorities. What truly matters to us? We need to be intentional about creating quality time for our family and ourselves. Absolutely. It's time to set boundaries and establish dedicated family time. We should carve out specific days or evenings where work takes a backseat and we focus solely on being present with our loved ones. And we also need to learn to delegate and ask for help when needed. It's not healthy for us to shoulder all the responsibilities alone. We should consider sharing household tasks and seeking support from family and friends. I agree. We should be open to accepting help and realize that it doesn't make us any less capable or responsible. It's about building a support system that allows us to thrive in both our personal and professional lives. Maybe we can also explore flexible work options or negotiate for a better work-life balance with our employers. It's worth discussing and finding ways to reduce the stress and demands on our time. That's a good point. We should advocate for ourselves balance, and supports the well-being of its employees. Ultimately, we need to prioritize our family's happiness and well-being. Our time together is precious, and we must make a conscious effort to cherish and nurture our relationships. I completely agree. Let's make a commitment to each other and our family. It won't be easy, but with open communication, mutual support, and a shared vision, we can find the balance we need to thrive in both our work and family life. Weekend Adventure, Making Plans for Quality Time Hey, sweetie, the weekend is almost here. Do you have any plans or ideas for how we can make the most of our time together? Hi, Mom! I was thinking it would be fun to go hiking and explore a new trail. The weather is supposed to be great, and I know you enjoy nature too. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Spending time in nature and breathing in fresh air is always rejuvenating. Let's pack some snacks and make it a memorable hiking adventure. Awesome! I'll make sure to research a trail that suits our level of difficulty and offers beautiful views. I'm excited to embark on this little adventure with you. I'm excited too, my dear. It's important to connect with nature and create lasting memories together. We can also bring a camera and capture some stunning photographs along the way. That's a great suggestion, Mom. We can document our adventure and create a photo album or share them with our family and friends. I love that idea. It's a fantastic way to preserve our special moments and share our experiences. Besides hiking, is there anything else you'd like to do during the weekend? Well, I heard about a new ice cream parlor in town. It would be great to indulge in some delicious ice cream treats after our hike. That sounds like the perfect reward for a day well spent. Let's definitely treat ourselves to some sweet delights and enjoy a well-deserved ice cream feast. I can't wait, Mom! It's going to be a fantastic weekend filled with adventure, nature, and mouth-watering treats. I couldn't agree more, my love. I cherish these moments we share, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to create beautiful memories with you. Let's make this weekend one to remember. Have you ever experienced any culture shocks? Hey, have you ever experienced any culture shocks while traveling? Oh, definitely. Cultural differences can sometimes be surprising and eye-opening. One instance that stands out is when I traveled to Japan. Japan is known for its unique culture. Could you share a specific culture shock you encountered there? 
One of the biggest culture shocks for me was the concept of etiquette and bowing. The level of respect and formality in daily interactions was something I had to adapt to. It was fascinating to observe how deeply rooted it is in Japanese society. That sounds like an interesting experience. Were there any other instances of culture shock during your travels? Absolutely. When I visited India, the vibrant chaos of the streets, the overwhelming diversity, and the sensory overload were all quite different from what I was used to. It took some time to adjust, but it was an incredible cultural immersion. It's amazing how travel can expose us to new perspectives. Have you found culture shocks to be positive or challenging? It's a bit of both, actually. While culture shocks can be initially challenging and make you step out of your comfort zone, they also broaden your horizons and make you appreciate the diversity in the world. It's a valuable learning experience. I couldn't agree more. Embracing and understanding different cultures can be truly enriching. Thanks for sharing your experiences. You're welcome. It's all part of the adventure. Cultural shocks remind us that the world is a fascinating and diverse place. Happy travels, and may you continue to have memorable encounters. What's for breakfast? Morning! I was thinking of making some pancakes. How does that sound? Ma'am, that sounds delicious. Can we add some blueberries to them? Sure thing. I also bought some maple syrup yesterday, so we can pour that over them. Perfect. I'll start brewing some coffee while you make the pancakes. Sounds good. How do you like your coffee? Just black, please. I like it strong. Got it. And do you want any eggs or bacon with the pancakes? No, just the pancakes are enough for me. All right, no problem. I'll start cooking now. Thanks, I appreciate it. By the way, did you hear back from that job interview you had last week? Yes, I did. They offered me the position. Congratulations. That's great news. When do you start? Thanks. I start in two weeks, so I still have some time to prepare. Well, we should definitely celebrate. Maybe we can go out for dinner tonight. That sounds perfect. Let's make a reservation at that new sushi place downtown. Thank you for cleaning. Hey, it looks like you did a great job cleaning up the kitchen. Thank you for cleaning. No problem. I just wanted to help out. The kitchen was starting to get a bit messy. I know I've been so busy with work lately that I haven't had much time to clean up. I really appreciate you taking care of it. Of course, happy to help out. Is there anything else you need me to do around the house? Actually, yeah. I've been meaning to clean out the garage for a while now, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Do you think you could help me with that? Sure, I'd be happy to. When do you want to get started? How about this weekend? I have some free time on Saturday morning. Sounds good to me. I'll be there bright and early to help out with the garage. Thanks again for cleaning up the kitchen. I don't know what I'd do without you. No problem at all. I'm always happy to lend a hand. How was your day? They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make Hey, how was your day? It was good. Thanks for asking. How about yours? It was all right. Work was busy, but I managed to get everything done on time. That's good to hear. Did anything interesting happen? Actually, yes. I had a meeting with my boss and he offered me a promotion. 
Wow, congratulations. That's amazing news. Thank you. I'm really excited about it. It means more responsibility, but also a higher salary. Well, you definitely deserve it. You work hard and have been with the company for a long time. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to the new challenges. So, when does the promotion start? I have to give my answer by the end of the week, but the official start date is in two weeks. That's great. We should celebrate this weekend. Yes, we should. Maybe we could go out for dinner or something. Sounds perfect. Let's make a reservation at that new Italian restaurant downtown. Can you please pass the salt? Can you please pass the salt? Sure thing. Here you go. Thanks. So, what did you think of that movie we watched last night? To be honest, I wasn't a big fan. I found it a bit slow and predictable. Really? I actually liked it. I thought the acting was really good. Yeah, the acting was fine, but I just couldn't get into the story. That's fair. I guess everyone has different tastes when it comes to movies. Definitely. Speaking of taste, this pasta you made is really delicious. Thanks, I'm glad you like it. I tried a new recipe I found online. Well, it turned out great. What's in it? It's a tomato-based sauce with some Italian sausage mushrooms and onions. Yum, it's really flavorful. You're quite the cook. Thanks, I enjoy trying out new recipes. Would you like some more? No, I'm good for now. But thanks for offering. Anytime. Do you want to watch another movie tonight? Sure, but let's pick something more action-packed this time. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Good morning to you too. Yes, I did. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm feeling a bit groggy, to be honest. I couldn't fall asleep until late last night. Oh no, that's too bad. Maybe you should try some chamomile tea before bed tonight. It always helps me relax. That's a good idea, thanks. So, what's on the agenda for today? Well, I was thinking of taking a walk in the park this morning. The weather is supposed to be nice. That sounds great. Can I join you? Of course. The more the merrier. We can grab some coffee from the cafe on the way there. Perfect. I could use some caffeine to wake me up. Let me just change out of my pajamas first. No problem. I'll wait for you in the living room. How are things going? Hey, how are things going? Today is so bad for me. I lost the bracelet that I have just bought yesterday. I like this one very much. I had to wait for three months to buy it cause it is in the newest collection of this year from YL Luxury. Now, if want to buy it, I have to pre-order it on their website and wait maybe for another three or five months. Oh, that's too bad. Do you remember where you put it? We could find it together, I'll help you. 
No, I think it came out of my bag when I was on the bus. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to help? Can you help to do the gardening this afternoon? Sure, when do you start? Around 3 p.m. or you can come to my house earlier and we can sip hot tea. Sound great. I'll go. Okay. I'll prepare everything and wait for you. Ah, uh, my mom said that she needed me to bring you some apples. I'll bring them to you this afternoon. Thank you. What are you going to do now? I'm going to buy some food and then I'm going to the bus station. If you wait a minute, I can go with you. Sure, that would be great. Where do your parents live? Hi Lily, are you going home this weekend? No, not this weekend. I have too much work to do. Where do your parents live? My father lives in New York. How about your mother? My mother lives in Texas. They are divorced. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Is your father still working? No, he's retired. Do you have any family here? Yes, two of my cousins live here and my aunt and uncle live about 45 miles from here. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have two brothers who live in New York and a sister who lives in California. Do you see them a lot? Not as much as I'd like to. Usually just on holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Putting things in order. Daniel, can you help me clean things up before we go? Sure. Where should I put this cup? Which cup? The black one. Put it on top of the table. How about this fruit? Oh, that goes in the refrigerator. And those pencils? What should I do with them? Bring those upstairs and put them in the bedroom. How about this pen? Give it to me. 
I need to use it. What do you want me to do with that paper over there? You can throw that away. I don't need it anymore. The trash is full. All right, then please put it in a bag and take it outside. Now what? I think we're finished. Can you please turn off the lights and shut the door? Sure. Making a doctor's appointment. Hi, I'd like to see the doctor, please. Do you have an appointment? No. When would you like an appointment? Is today possible? Yes. Today is fine. What time would you like? As soon as possible. My stomach really hurts. Please wait a moment. I'll see if the doctor is available. Okay. Sorry, he's with a patient right now. It's probably going to be about another 30 minutes. Would you mind waiting a little longer? No problem. May I see your insurance card, please? Here you are. Thanks. That's going to be $25 for today's visit. Really? I didn't think it would be that much. I know how you feel. I'll pay with cash. Thank you. Would you please turn on the heat? It's really cold in here. It is cold in here, isn't it? I'll take care of that in a moment. Please have a seat and fill out these forms. Bring them back to me when you're done. I brought you an apple. Hey, how did you get here? I rode my bike. Are you serious? Why did you do that? I could have picked you up. That's okay, I didn't want to bother you. I know you don't like to wake up early.
That's so nice of you. Aren't you cold? No, not really. I wore a coat. What's in the bag? It's a special type of apple. Oh. Can I try one? It's very sweet. I put sugar on it. These apples are really good. They were only 30 cents each. Aren't those more expensive than the ones at the supermarket? Yeah, they're more expensive, but they taste better. Did you buy any other fruit? Well, besides the apples, I bought oranges and bananas. Mail Hey Jane, did you get the mail yet? Yes. I picked it up this morning. There were a few bills and a letter from my mother. There was also a lot of junk mail. Was there anything for me? I don't remember, let me check. Yes, it looks like there's something here for you. Who's it from? The American Embassy. My hands are dirty. Will you open it for me? What does it say? It says your passport is ready. You can pick it up anytime. Do you think you can drive me there? Sure, when? I think we should go get it now. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll go. Is that okay? I am here for my job interview. Fine, have a seat. May I get you some water or coffee? Sure, thank you. I'll get that for you right now. Thank you. What a nice office this is. Yes, could you come in now? I am going to take you back to meet your interviewer. Ordering fast food. Welcome. What would you like to order? I would like to get a double cheeseburger. Would you like everything on it? I would like everything on it. Thank you. Do you want any fries? Let me get some large curly fries. Can I get you anything to drink? Sure, how about a medium Pepsi? Is that everything? That'll be all. Thanks. You're welcome, and your total is $5.48. Thank you. Here you go.
How to find a job. Could you help me figure out how to look for a job? We have lots of options. What type of job do you need? I want to work in an office. Do you want to work part time or full time? I want to work full time. We have binders with local job listings. Or you can make use of the computers. Okay. I am confused a bit, but I am sure that I can use it out. If you make an appointment with a job counselor, they can also provide you with a lot of information. Do you want to see a counselor? No, I don't think I need to do that. Well, you know that this job center is here for your use, so help yourself. Good luck. Job interview. Good morning, I am here for my interview. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Gotcha. Have any trouble finding the place? No problem. So why don't you tell me why you are interested in changing positions? Unfortunately, our company is shutting down due to the economy. What would you consider your strengths? I am probably best at researching for marketing purposes. What is your biggest weakness? I tend to get bored easily and so love to keep myself challenged. We have a position where that could work out well. Preparing for a job interview. Could you help me try and figure out how to get ready for my job interview? The most important thing to do is to make sure you know the company and what services or products it provides. Do you know all about them? Yes, I pretty much understand the company. Well, after you've done your research, you have to decide whether the company is casual or formal. Have you decided what they are yet? Yes, I've been observing them. When you are choosing what to wear, keep all of that in mind. Have you chosen what to wear? Already have something to wear. I would always be ready to go shopping with you. Should we talk about other basics? I'm ready to think of other things. You need to make sure you arrive on time, smile, be pleasant and friendly, look the person in the eye, and answer all questions to the best of your ability. You'll do great! Past simple tense, how was your day? Welcome home, Dad. Oh, Emily. How are you today? Fine. Good. And how was school today? Really fun. Good. And what did you do? We made things. Like what types of things did you make? We made books. You made books? Okay. And what else? We, we made paper rabbits. You made paper rabbit? Okay. And what did you need to make your paper rabbit? What kind of supplies did you need? We used crayons, papers, glue, and we had to follow directions. Well, good. And, uh, what did you do after school? We went home, played games.
and did. Mom said you went to the junior high school. I rode my bike in the tennis court. Did you go by yourself? I went with the whole family, and we went with Nathan, Sarah, Rachel. You went with your cousins. And my mom. Well, that's great. Well, let's get ready for dinner. Okay. Please, subscribe to learn more English with my channel. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Recipe Adaptations I wanted to make lasagna tonight, but I don't have all the ingredients. No problem. Let's get creative. What's missing? I'm out of ricotta cheese and fresh basil. Well, we could substitute cottage cheese for ricotta, and maybe use dried basil or oregano for the basil. That might work. What about the meat? It calls for ground beef, but all I have is ground turkey. Ground turkey is a lean option. Let's go for it and season it well. Thanks for being so flexible. Let's give it a shot. This is actually really good with the turkey and dried herbs. And the cottage cheese isn't bad at all. It's creamy like ricotta. Adaptation can lead to new discoveries in cooking. Plus, it's all about making the best of what you have. To culinary creativity. Cheers. And to a delicious improvised lasagna. To the guest room. Good evening. I'm a guest here, and I seem to have misplaced my room key. Is it possible to get a replacement? Good evening, sir. Of course, I can help you with that. May I have your name and room number, please? My name is James Johnson, and I'm staying in room 305. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. I apologize for the inconvenience. I'll arrange a replacement key for you right away. Please wait here while I retrieve it from the back office. Thank you for your assistance. Here is your replacement key, Mr. Johnson. Please remember to keep it in a secure place. And if you need any further assistance, feel free to contact our front desk. I appreciate your help. By the way, could you also provide me with directions to my room? I seem to have lost my way. Of course, sir. Room 305 is located on the third floor. You'll need to take the elevator on your left and exit on the third floor. Once you're out of the elevator, turn right, and your room will be the second one on the left-hand side. Thank you for the clear directions. I'll make my way to my room now. You're welcome, Mr. Johnson. If you have any further questions or need any assistance during your stay, please don't hesitate to reach out. Enjoy your evening and have a pleasant stay with us. How long will the flight take?
Excuse me? Do you happen to know how long this flight will take? Sure, I can help you with that. May I see your boarding pass, please? Of course, here it is. Thank you. According to the information on your boarding pass, the flight duration is estimated to be approximately 4 hours and 30 minutes. All right, thank you for letting me know. I was curious about the duration. You're welcome. Flight durations can vary depending on factors like weather conditions and air traffic, but the estimated time gives us a good idea of what to expect. That's true. I'll keep that in mind and plan accordingly. It's always a good idea to arrive at the airport on time and allow for some buffer time in case of any unforeseen delays. Additionally, remember to set your watches and devices to the local time at your destination. I'll make sure to do that. Thanks for the reminder. No problem. If you have any more questions or need assistance during the flight, feel free to reach out to the flight attendants. They're there to help make your journey comfortable and enjoyable. I appreciate the information. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Have a pleasant flight and a great time at your destination. Where to pick up baggage? Excuse me, could you please tell me where I can pick up my baggage? Of course. Once you exit the plane, you'll need to proceed to the baggage claim area. Do you know which carousel your flight's baggage will be on? I'm not sure. How can I find out? No worries. You can check the information screens located throughout the airport. They will display the flight numbers and corresponding baggage carousel numbers. Look for your flight number on the screen to determine which carousel you should proceed to. That's helpful. Thank you. Is the baggage claim area located in the same terminal where I arrived? In most cases, yes. The baggage claim area is typically located within the same terminal as your arrival. However, it's always a good idea to double check the signs and listen for any announcements to ensure you're heading in the right direction. I'll make sure to pay attention. Thank you for the advice. You're welcome. Once you reach the baggage claim area, you'll find the carousels with rotating belts. Look for the one assigned to your flight and wait for your luggage to arrive. Got it. I appreciate your help. Not a problem at all. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Enjoy your stay. Hi there, I'm interested in joining a health club and was wondering if you have any recommendations or tips for touring one. Absolutely. When touring a health club, it's important to assess a few key aspects. First, consider the facilities they offer. Look for a well-equipped gym with a variety of exercise machines, free weights, and cardio equipment. Additionally, check if they have amenities like a swimming pool, sauna, or group exercise classes that align with your interests. Good point. What about the staff and trainers? The staff and trainers play a crucial role in your experience. During your tour, interact with them to gauge their knowledge, friendliness, and willingness to assist you. Ask about their qualifications and certifications. A supportive and knowledgeable team can greatly enhance your fitness journey. That makes sense. And what about the membership plans and fees? It's important to understand the membership plans and fees upfront. Inquire about any initiation fees, monthly dues, or additional charges for specific services. Also, clarify their cancellation policy and any potential long-term commitments. This will help you make an informed decision based on your budget and needs. Thank you for all the helpful information. Is there anything else I should keep in mind during the tour? One more thing to consider is the club's overall atmosphere. Pay attention to the cleanliness, organization, and overall vibe of the facility. 
It's essential to choose a place where you feel comfortable and motivated to achieve your fitness goals. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the guidance. I feel more prepared to tour health clubs now. Cell phone. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice your phone case. It's really cool. Oh, thank you. I got it because it's also a wallet. Super convenient for travel. That's smart. I'm always worried about misplacing my cards when I'm on the go. Exactly. Having everything in one place makes life a lot easier. By the way, I saw you with those wireless earbuds. Are they good? Oh, these? Yeah, they're fantastic. The sound quality is impressive, and the fact that they're wireless is a game changer. I've been thinking about getting a pair. It's just so liberating not dealing with tangled wires. Absolutely. And the battery life on these lasts a really long time. Perfect for long flights or layovers. That's important. Travel can be draining, so having good entertainment is a must. Speaking of which, have you tried any travel apps? Oh, for sure. I have a bunch on my phone. Flight trackers, language translators, and city guides are my go-tos. Nice. Any recommendations for a frequent traveler like me? Definitely get a reliable currency converter app and a Maps app that works offline. They've saved me in tricky situations. Great advice. Thanks. Well, safe travels to you. Maybe next time we'll meet at another airport with more travel tips to exchange. Sounds like a plan. Have a great trip and happy travels. Postgraduates fever. Hey there. You seem a bit restless. Everything okay? Yeah, it's just this postgraduate's fever, you know. I'm about to head abroad for my master's program, and the excitement is mixed with a touch of nervousness. Oh, I totally get it. Postgrad studies are a big step. Where are you off to? And what's your field of study? I'll be flying to the UK for a master's in international relations. It's been a dream, but now that it's happening, I can't help but feel the pressure. It's natural to feel that way. The unknown can be both thrilling and intimidating, but you're going to do great. Thanks for the encouragement. Sometimes I worry about the academic load and adjusting to a new place. You've got this. Remember, many people have gone through similar experiences and have come out stronger and more knowledgeable. I appreciate your confidence in me. It's also about making new friends and building connections, right? Absolutely. Your fellow postgrads will likely be feeling the same way. It's a chance to bond over shared experiences and support each other. True. It's just this mix of emotions eager to learn, excited to explore, and a tad anxious about the unknown. Embrace it all. This journey will shape you in ways you can't even imagine right now. And remember, every challenge you face will contribute to your growth. Thank you for the pep talk. I guess I just need to take a deep breath, trust the process, and give it my all. You've got the right attitude. Embrace the fever and make the most of this exciting time in your life. Safe travels and best of luck with your postgrad adventure. Thanks a lot. I'll definitely make the most of it. How long will the flight take?
Excuse me? Do you happen to know how long this flight will take? Sure, I can help you with that. May I see your boarding pass, please? Of course, here it is. Thank you. According to the information on your boarding pass, the flight duration is estimated to be approximately 4 hours and 30 minutes. All right, thank you for letting me know. I was curious about the duration. You're welcome. Flight durations can vary depending on factors like weather conditions and air traffic, but the estimated time gives us a good idea of what to expect. That's true. I'll keep that in mind and plan accordingly. It's always a good idea to arrive at the airport on time and allow for some buffer time in case of any unforeseen delays. Additionally, remember to set your watches and devices to the local time at your destination. I'll make sure to do that. Thanks for the reminder. No problem. If you have any more questions or need assistance during the flight, feel free to reach out to the flight attendants. They're there to help make your journey comfortable and enjoyable. I appreciate the information. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Have a pleasant flight and a great time at your destination. Meeting old friends. Oh wow, it's been ages. It's so great to see you again after all these years. How have you been? I know, right? It feels like a lifetime ago since we last met. I've been doing well, thanks. Life has had its UPS and downs, but overall, I can't complain. How about you? What have you been up to? I've been keeping busy with work and family life. It's been quite the journey, but I'm grateful for the experiences. Speaking of which, do you remember that time? We went on that crazy road trip together. How could I forget? That road trip was one for the books. We had so many adventures and laughs along the way. It's amazing how those memories still bring a smile to my face. Absolutely. Those memories are cherished. It's funny how time flies, but reconnecting with old friends reminds us of the bonds we shared. We should definitely catch up more often. Children's Education Hi, I noticed you're carrying a bunch of books. And educational materials. Are you a teacher or parent? Hi, I'm actually a teacher. I'm heading to a conference on innovative approaches to children's education, always looking to learn and bring new ideas to my students. That's wonderful. Education plays such a crucial role. I have a niece who's starting school soon, and I'm a bit nervous about how she'll adjust. It's natural to feel that way. Starting school is a big step for children. Creating a positive and supportive environment at home can make the transition smoother. Thanks for the advice. I've heard a lot about different teaching methods nowadays. What's your favorite approach to teaching young children? I'm a fan of hands-on learning and exploration. Kids learn best when they're actively engaged and able to connect with real-world experiences. That makes a lot of sense. And I see you have a tablet there. Do you use technology in your classroom? Definitely. Integrating technology can enhance learning experiences. There are so many educational apps and interactive tools that can make lessons more engaging. That's fascinating. I'm glad to hear that education is evolving with the times. It gives me hope for the future. Education is a dynamic field that's always adapting to meet the needs of each generation. It's an exciting time to be involved in children's learning journeys. Absolutely. Well, have a productive conference. And thank you for your dedication to children's education. Thank you. And keep fostering curiosity and a love of learning in your niece. It's a gift that lasts a lifetime. Negative thoughts will cause different disabilities, so do better. Work hard under pressure. Individual Initiative.
Hey, I couldn't help but notice your project display over there. It looks impressive. Thank you so much. It's all about individual initiative and making a positive impact. That's fascinating. Can you tell me more about what you've been working on? Sure. I've been involved in a community-driven initiative to promote eco-friendly practices. We're organizing local cleanup events, raising awareness about recycling, and even collaborating with schools for environmental education. That's really commendable. It's not every day you see someone take such proactive steps. I believe that every small action counts. If we all do our part, we can collectively make a significant difference. Absolutely. And it's inspiring to see someone take charge and lead by example. Thank you. It's been quite a journey, and seeing the community come together and embrace these changes is incredibly rewarding. I can imagine. It takes a lot of dedication and effort to initiate change, especially on a local level. It's true, but when you're passionate about a cause, it doesn't feel like work. Plus, the positive impact keeps me motivated. Well, your project is a shining example of what individual initiative can achieve. It's inspiring me to think about how I can make a difference too. That's wonderful to hear. Remember, even small actions can lead to significant changes. It's all about taking that first step. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Keep up the fantastic work. Thank you. And best of luck with your own initiatives. Together, we can create a better world. How do I get to the gate? Excuse me, can you help me? I'm trying to find my gate. Of course. Which airline are you flying with? I'm flying with Delta Airlines. All right. You need to head to Terminal 2. The gates for Delta Airlines are located there. Let me give you directions. Go straight down this hallway until you reach the main concourse. Once you're there, take a right and follow the signs for Terminal 2. It's just a short walk from here. Thank you so much. Is there any security check I need to go through? Yes, there will be a security checkpoint before you can reach the gates. Make sure you have your boarding pass and identification ready. Follow the signs for the security checkpoint and they will guide you through the process. Got it. And how much time should I allow for security? It's recommended to arrive at least two hours before your domestic flight or three hours before an international flight. This will give you enough time to check in, go through security, and find your gate without rushing. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Have a safe and pleasant journey. Abroad. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice the excitement on your face. Are you off to study abroad? Yes, you guessed it. I'm about to embark on this incredible journey to study in a new country. That's amazing. Which country and what will you be studying? I'm heading to Germany. Actually, I'll be pursuing a degree in environmental science at a university there. Wow, that sounds like a fantastic opportunity. How do you feel about leaving home? and diving into a whole new culture. I'm a mix of nervousness and excitement. Leaving family and friends behind is tough, but I can't wait to explore a new culture and gain a global perspective. It's going to be quite an adventure. Do you have any language concerns? Well, I've been learning German for a while, so I'm hoping that'll help me get by, but I'm ready for the challenge of adapting to a new language environment. That's impressive. And you'll make new friends from around the world, too. Exactly. That's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most meeting people from diverse backgrounds and forming lasting connections. Well, 
I'm sure you'll thrive in this new chapter. Studying abroad can be transformative. Thank you for the encouragement. I can't wait to see where this journey takes me and how much I'll grow along the way. Safe travels and best of luck with your studies abroad. Embrace every moment of it. Thanks a lot. I'll do my best to make the most of this incredible opportunity. Digital products. Hey, is that a Wacom tablet in your bag? Are you into digital art? Yep, you caught me. I'm a digital artist. I'm heading to a workshop on creating and selling digital products. That's awesome. I've always been curious about digital art. How did you get started? I've always loved drawing, and digital art opened up a whole new world for me. The ability to undo and experiment without wasting materials is a game changer. True. The flexibility is a huge advantage. Are you also selling your artwork online? Absolutely. I sell my designs as downloadable prints and stickers. It's a great way to reach a global audience without worrying about shipping. Smart move. And what about piracy or unauthorized sharing of your digital products? It's a concern, but there are ways to protect your work. Watermarking and offering high quality, affordable products can discourage piracy. Plus, connecting with your audience helps foster respect for your creations. Those are good strategies. I see you have some business books in your bag too. Yeah. I'm always looking to improve my knowledge of marketing and entrepreneurship. Creating digital products involves more than just art skills. I admire your dedication. Well, safe travels to your workshop. Maybe one day I'll give digital art a shot. Thank you. And who knows, you might discover a hidden talent. Digital products are a world of opportunities. Learning new customs. Never stop, forget it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up. I'm really excited about my upcoming trip to Japan, but I'm a bit nervous about unfamiliar customs. Do you have any tips for learning and adapting to new customs? Absolutely. Learning new customs can be both challenging and rewarding. One key tip is to do some research before your trip. Read about the local customs, traditions, and etiquette in Japan. Understanding basic greetings, table manners, and gift-giving practices can go a long way in showing respect. That's a good point. I'll definitely do my homework. But what if I make a mistake? Making mistakes is a natural part of the learning process. Don't worry too much about it. The locals generally appreciate the effort you make to respect their customs. If you do make a mistake, apologize politely and learn from it. Most people will be understanding and helpful. That's reassuring. Any other suggestions? Yes, immerse yourself in the local culture as much as possible. Try local foods, visit cultural landmarks, and interact with the locals. This will not only enhance your understanding, of their customs, but also enrich your overall travel experience. That sounds like a great approach. I'll make sure to embrace the local culture during my trip. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Enjoy your trip to Japan and have fun learning about their customs. It's an incredible opportunity to broaden your horizons and appreciate the diversity of our world. Safe travels. Boarding United Airlines Fight Excuse me, I'm looking for the boarding gate for my United Airlines flight. Can you assist me? Of course. I'd be happy to help. May I see your boarding pass, please? Sure, here it is. Thank you. You're departing from gate C12, which is in terminal 3. 
You'll need to head down this hallway and take the escalator up to the departure level. Once you're there, follow the signs for Terminal 3. Gate C12 will be on your right hand side. Got it, thank you. Is there anything I need to keep in mind before boarding? Yes, please make sure you have your identification and boarding pass readily available. United Airlines also allows one personal item and one carry-on bag. Make sure your carry-on bag meets the size and weight restrictions. Okay, I'll double check that. How much time do I have before boarding? It's recommended to be at the gate at least 30 minutes before your departure time. This allows for any last minute changes or unforeseen delays. However, please consult your boarding pass or the airport monitors for the most accurate information. I'll make sure to be there on time. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need further help, feel free to ask. Enjoy your flight with United Airlines. Hey, I've been searching for a new apartment, and I could use some advice. How did you find the right place, when you were apartment hunting? Sure, happy to help. When I was looking for an apartment, I started by making a list of my must-haves and deal-breakers. It helped me stay focused during my search. What are your priorities? Well, I need a pet-friendly place with a washer-dryer in the unit. I also prefer a quiet neighborhood, with good public transportation access. Budget-wise, I'm looking for something within a certain range. Those are great starting points. I recommend checking online listings and reaching out to real estate agents. Also, consider driving or walking around neighborhoods you like to see if there are any for rent signs. It can be helpful to visit potential apartments in person to get a feel for the place and the surrounding area. That makes sense. I'll definitely take those steps. Did you come across any challenges during your search? Definitely. It's important to be patient and persistent. Some apartments might not meet all your criteria, but don't settle for something that doesn't feel right. Keep searching, and I'm sure you'll find the perfect place that fits your needs and feels like home. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully, I'll find my dream apartment soon. You're welcome. Best of luck with your search. I'm sure you'll find an amazing apartment that checks all your boxes. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any more help along the way. Shopping online. Hey, I couldn't help but notice all those packages. Shopping spree, how? Guilty as charged. I went a bit overboard with online shopping recently. Retail therapy, you know. I totally get it. It's so convenient to shop online. What did you get? Mostly clothes, shoes, and a few gadgets. Oh, and I couldn't resist those limited edition sneakers I've been eyeing for ages. Nice. I'm always hesitant about buying shoes online. How do you make sure they fit right? It can be a gamble, but I always check the size chart and read reviews. Also, some websites have really good return policies just in case. Smart move. And that laptop sleeve you're holding looks cool. Thanks. I wanted something stylish yet protective. Online shopping's been a lifesaver during lockdowns. Definitely. But I sometimes miss the experience of trying things on in stores. I know what you mean, but the convenience of browsing endless options and having them delivered to your door is hard to beat. True, especially with our busy schedules. Any advice for a successful online shopping haul? Research the products, read reviews, and be patient with deliveries. Oh, and keep an eye out for sales or discounts. Thanks for the tips. Enjoy all your new stuff and safe travels. Thanks, and happy online shopping to you too.
It's a retail therapy world out there. Chinese Medical Therapy Hey, have you seen that Chinese medical therapy booth here at the airport? It caught my attention. Yes, I noticed that too. It's interesting to see traditional Chinese therapies being offered here. Absolutely. I've heard about acupuncture and herbal treatments, but I never thought I'd see them offered at an airport. It's a unique concept. I guess they're catering to travelers who might be interested in alternative treatments. I've always been curious about acupuncture but I've never tried it. Do you think it's worth giving it a shot? Well, it depends on your comfort level and openness to different treatments. Acupuncture has been known to help with various issues like stress and pain. That's true. Traveling can be stressful and a long flight can leave me feeling pretty tense. It might be worth trying, especially if you're open to exploring new experiences. Just make sure you go to a qualified practitioner. Good point. Safety first, of course. And who knows, it might actually help me relax before my flight. That's the spirit. Sometimes, a little self-care can go a long way, especially during travel. I think I'll give it a try. Thanks for the encouragement. No problem. Enjoy your experience and have a great journey ahead. Checking a bag at the counter. Good morning. How may I assist you today? Hi there. I need to check in this bag for my flight to New York, please. Absolutely. Could I have your passport and airline ticket, please? Sure, here they are. Thank you. I'll just confirm your flight details. I, uh, you're traveling on flight 123 to New York. That's scheduled to depart at 10.30 a.m. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Great. I see that you're entitled to one checked bag. Do you have any other bags to check in today? No, just this one. All right. I'll tag your bag with the destination code and provide you with a baggage claim tag. Please keep it safe as you'll need it to collect your bag later. Here's your boarding pass as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Could you please place your bag on the scale so we can check its weight? Sure. Excellent. Your bag meets the weight requirement and it's within the size restrictions. We'll take care of it from here. You can proceed to the security checkpoint. Have a pleasant flight. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose it fits. Some loose shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. It's all good.
I'm sorry I couldn't make it to your party last night. Did everything go well? No worries at all. It's all good. The party was a blast, and we missed you, but I understand things come up. I'm glad to hear it was a success. I was really disappointed to miss out. Don't worry about it. There will be plenty of opportunities to hang out in the future. Thanks for being understanding. How was your weekend overall? It was pretty relaxing, actually. Caught up on some reading and spent time with family. It's all good. Sounds like a perfect way to unwind. I had a crazy weekend with unexpected work tasks. That happens sometimes. But hey, you got through it, right? It's all good in the end. You're right. I tend to stress over these things, but your perspective helps. Life's too short to stress over every little thing. Just take it one step at a time. True. I appreciate your positive outlook. It's refreshing. Anytime. We all have our UPS and downs, but at the end of the day, it's all good. Agreed. Let's remember that and keep moving forward with a smile. That's the spirit. If you ever need a reminder, I'm here to provide it. Thanks, friend. Your support means a lot. It's all good when you have good people around. What a waste of time. I can't believe I spent hours trying to fix that old computer. It's still not working properly. Ah, uh, what a waste of time. It's frustrating when things don't work out after all the effort you put in. Exactly. I thought I could save some money by fixing it myself. But now, I'm considering just buying a new one. Sometimes, DIY projects can end up costing more in time and energy than just getting a new one. Lesson learned, I guess. How was your day? Oh, don't even ask. I attended a three-hour meeting that went absolutely nowhere. What a waste of time. That sounds incredibly frustrating. Those meetings that lead to nothing are the worst. Tell me about it. I could have used that time to actually get some work done. I feel you. It's disappointing when time is spent on unproductive activities. On the bright side, at least we can commiserate together. It's nice to know I'm not alone in experiencing time-wasting situations. Definitely. And it reminds us to value our time and make sure we're using it effectively. Absolutely. Let's hope tomorrow brings more productive moments and fewer time-wasting ones. Agreed. And if we encounter any more of those, we can always share a good eye roll about it. Ah, uh, sounds like a plan. Here's to making the most of our time and avoiding unnecessary frustrations. Cheers to that. Let's keep moving forward and minimize those waste of time moments. I need to go to the shops today. Hey, do you have any plans for today? Not much, just some errands and chores around the house. Why, what's up? I need to go to the shops today. Care to join me? Sure, I could use a change of scenery. What do you need to pick up? 
just a few groceries, some cleaning supplies, and maybe a new pair of shoes. Sounds like a plan. I've been meaning to grab a few things myself, so it works out. Great. We can make a list and hit a couple of stores together. Efficiency at its finest. Plus, shopping is more fun with company. Definitely. And I could use a second opinion on those shoes. I'm here to offer fashion advice, as long as it doesn't take too long. Deal. We'll keep it quick and efficient. Perfect. Let's get our lists ready and head out. And don't forget to grab your reusable bags. Right. Saving the planet one shopping trip at a time. Exactly. Thanks for joining me. It's always more enjoyable to tackle errands with a friend. No problem at all. Let's make this shopping trip as painless as possible. Agreed. With both of us on a mission, we'll breeze through those shops. Let me know if you need anything. Hey, I heard you're moving into your new apartment this weekend. Need any help? Thanks for asking. I think I've got most of it covered, but let me know if you have some free time. Absolutely, I'm more than happy to assist. Just let me know if you need anything, carrying boxes, assembling furniture, anything at all. That's really kind of you. I might take you up on that offer, especially if I get overwhelmed. No problem at all. Moving can be quite a task and having an extra pair of hands can make a big difference. I really appreciate it. I'm excited about the new place, but the logistics are a bit daunting. Totally understand. Just remember, I'm here to help, so don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks, it means a lot. And if you're available, maybe we can grab some takeout and celebrate once everything's settled. Sounds like a plan. Moving can be exhausting, but a good meal and a little celebration can make it all worth it. Agreed. Your support and offer of help really make this process much easier. Friends help each other out, right? Plus, it's a great opportunity to spend some time together. Definitely. I'm lucky to have you as a friend. I'll definitely keep you posted as the moving day gets closer. Looking forward to it. Until then, if you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. We've got this. Thanks again. Having friends like you makes any challenge feel less daunting. Good morning. How may I assist you today? Hi there. I need to check in this bag for my flight to New York, please. Absolutely. Could I have your passport and airline ticket, please? Sure, here they are. Thank you. I'll just confirm your flight details. Uh, you're traveling on flight 123 to New York. That's scheduled to depart at 10.30 a.m. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Great. I see that you're entitled to one checked bag. Do you have any other bags to check in today? No, just this one. All right. I'll tag your bag with the destination code and provide you with a baggage claim tag. Please keep it safe as you'll need it to collect your bag later. Here's your boarding pass as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Could you please place your bag on the scale so we can check its weight? Sure. Excellent. Your bag meets the weight requirement and it's within the size restrictions. We'll take care of it from here. You can proceed to the security checkpoint. Have a pleasant flight. Thank you very much. Have a great day. How do I get to the gate?
Excuse me, can you help me? I'm trying to find my gate. Of course. Which airline are you flying with? I'm flying with Delta Airlines. All right. You need to head to Terminal 2. The gates for Delta Airlines are located there. Let me give you directions. Go straight down this hallway until you reach the main concourse. Once you're there, take a right and follow the signs for Terminal 2. It's just a short walk from here. Thank you so much. Is there any security check I need to go through? Yes, there will be a security checkpoint before you can reach the gates. Make sure you have your boarding pass and identification ready. Follow the signs for the security checkpoint and they will guide you through the process. Got it. And how much time should I allow for security? It's recommended to arrive at least two hours before your domestic flight or three hours before an international flight. This will give you enough time to check in, go through security, and find your gate without rushing. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Have a safe and pleasant journey. Choosing a seat. Good afternoon. How can I assist you today? Hello. I would like to choose a seat for my flight to Paris, please. Of course. May I have your passport and airline ticket, please? Sure, here they are. Thank you. Let me check your booking details. Ah, uh, you're traveling on flight 456 to Paris, scheduled to depart at 3.45 p.m. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Great. Our seating chart is displayed here. We have both window and our seats available. Which one would you prefer? I'd like a window seat, please. Certainly. Let me find the available options for you. Here we have a few window seats on the left side of the aircraft. How about seat 15 or seat 18F? Both offer a nice view. I'll take seat 15A, please. Perfect. Let me assign that for you. Done. You are now seated in 15A. Here's your boarding pass. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's all. Thank you for your help. It was my pleasure. Enjoy your flight to Paris and have a wonderful trip. Thank you. Goodbye. Body Scanner Excuse me, I have a question about the body scanner. Could you help me out? Of course. What would you like to know? I've never been through a body scanner before. Can you explain how it works? Certainly. The body scanner is a security device that uses advanced imaging technology to detect any concealed objects on a person's body. It's a quick and non-invasive process. You'll step into the scanner, raise your arms above your head and remain still for a few seconds while it scans you. Will it emit any radiation or be harmful in any way? No, the body scanner uses millimeter wave technology or advanced imaging technology, which is considered safe. It emits low-level electromagnetic waves that are harmless to passengers. The images generated are also privacy-friendly, as they are displayed as a generic outline rather than a detailed representation of your body. That's good to know. Do I need to remove any clothing or accessories before going through the scanner? Generally, you won't need to remove any clothing or accessories, except for bulky outerwear like jackets or coats. However, you'll need to remove any metal objects from your pockets, such as keys, coins, or belts, as they can trigger an alarm. You can place these items in the provided tray. All right, I understand. Thank you for explaining it to me. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Have a pleasant journey. Baby Party
Wow, what a lovely baby party. The decorations and atmosphere are absolutely adorable. Thank you so much. We wanted to celebrate this special moment in our little one's life with our closest friends and family. It's such a joyous occasion. Your baby is absolutely precious. How does it feel to be a parent? It's an indescribable feeling of love and fulfillment. Our hearts are overflowing with happiness since our little bundle of joy arrived. I can see the happiness radiating from both of you. Parenthood suits you well. How has the journey been so far? It's been a roller coaster ride of emotions and learning experiences, sleepless nights and endless diaper changes, but every moment is worth it when we see our baby smile. Parenthood definitely comes with its challenges, but the rewards are immeasurable. You're doing an amazing job. Congratulations once again. Thank you for your kind words and for joining us in this celebration. We're grateful to have friends like you to share this special moment with. It's an honor to be part of your baby's journey. Wishing you all a lifetime of love, laughter, and beautiful memories. Cheers to your growing family. Dinner. Good evening. I'm so glad we could finally meet up for dinner. It's been far too long. I completely agree. Life gets so busy sometimes, but I'm thrilled we could make this happen. This place looks amazing, by the way. Great choice. Thank you. I heard their food is exceptional, and the ambience is perfect for a relaxed evening. I hope you're hungry because the menu is quite extensive. I'm absolutely starving. I've been looking forward to this meal all day. What do you recommend? Is there anything on the menu that's a must try? Well, their seafood dishes are outstanding, especially the grilled salmon. And I've heard great things about their homemade pasta too. Let's explore the menu together and decide. That sounds fantastic. I love seafood, so the grilled salmon definitely has my attention. And pasta is always a safe bet. I'm excited to indulge in some delicious food and catch up with you. Me too. It's always great to have good food and even better company. So, tell me what's been happening in your life lately? Oh, you know, the usual. Work has been keeping me busy, but I recently started taking cooking classes. It's been so much fun experimenting with new flavors and techniques. That's fantastic. Cooking classes sound like a wonderful way to unwind and unleash your creativity. I'd love to try some of your culinary creations sometime. Absolutely. I'd be thrilled to have you over for a home-cooked meal. We'll plan it soon. But for now, let's enjoy this dinner and make the most of our time together. Agreed. Here's to good food, great company, and making memories. Cheers. Cheers. I couldn't have said it better. Cheers to a fantastic evening and many more dinners like this in the future. Balancing work and family life. I think we need to have a serious conversation about balancing our work and family life. Lately, it feels like we're constantly juggling and struggling to find a healthy equilibrium. I couldn't agree more. It's been challenging to give our family the time and attention they deserve while also meeting the demands of our careers. We need to find a better balance. I think we should start by evaluating our priorities. What truly matters to us? We need to be intentional about creating quality time for our family and ourselves. Absolutely. It's time to set boundaries and establish dedicated family time. We should carve out specific days or evenings where work takes a backseat and we focus solely on being present with our loved ones. And we also need to learn to delegate and ask for help when needed. It's not healthy for us to shoulder all the responsibilities alone. We should consider sharing household tasks and seeking support from family and friends. I agree. We should be open to accepting help and realize that it doesn't make us any less capable or responsible. 
it's about building a support system that allows us to thrive in both our personal and professional lives. Maybe we can also explore flexible work options or negotiate for a better work-life balance with our employers. It's worth discussing and finding ways to reduce the stress and demands on our time. That's a good point. We should advocate for ourselves and communicate our needs to our employers. It's important to find a work environment that values work-life balance and supports the well-being of its employees. Ultimately, we need to prioritize our family's happiness and well-being. Our time together is precious, and we must make a conscious effort to cherish and nurture our relationships. I completely agree. Let's make a commitment to each other and our family. It won't be easy, but with open communication, mutual support, and a shared vision, we can find the balance we need to thrive in both our work and family life. Weekend Adventure, Making Plans for Quality Time Hey, sweetie, the weekend is almost here. Do you have any plans or ideas for how we can make the most of our time together? Hi, Mom! I was thinking it would be fun to go hiking and explore a new trail. The weather is supposed to be great, and I know you enjoy nature too. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Spending time in nature and breathing in fresh air is always rejuvenating. Let's pack some snacks and make it a memorable hiking adventure. Awesome! I'll make sure to research a trail that suits our level of difficulty and offers beautiful views. I'm excited to embark on this little adventure with you. I'm excited too, my dear. It's important to connect with nature and create lasting memories together. We can also bring a camera and capture some stunning photographs along the way. That's a great suggestion, Mom. We can document our adventure and create a photo album or share them with our family and friends. I love that idea. It's a fantastic way to preserve our special moments and share our experiences. Besides hiking, is there anything else you'd like to do during the weekend? Well, I heard about a new ice cream parlor in town. It would be great to indulge in some delicious ice cream treats after our hike. That sounds like the perfect reward for a day well spent. Let's definitely treat ourselves to some sweet delights and enjoy a well-deserved ice cream feast. I can't wait, Mom! It's going to be a fantastic weekend filled with adventure, nature, and mouth-watering treats. I couldn't agree more, my love. I cherish these moments we share, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to create beautiful memories with you. Let's make this weekend one to remember. Have you ever experienced any culture shocks? Hey, have you ever experienced any culture shocks while traveling? Oh, definitely. Cultural differences can sometimes be surprising and eye-opening. One instance that stands out is when I traveled to Japan. Japan is known for its unique culture. Could you share specific culture shock you encountered there? One of the biggest culture shocks for me was the concept of etiquette and bowing. The level of respect and formality in daily interactions was something I had to adapt to. It was fascinating to observe how deeply rooted it is in Japanese society. That sounds like an interesting experience. Were there any other instances of culture shock during your travels? Absolutely. When I visited India, the vibrant chaos of the streets, the overwhelming diversity, and the sensory overload were all quite different from what I was used to. It took some time to adjust, but it was an incredible cultural immersion. It's amazing how travel can expose us to new perspectives. Have you found culture shocks to be positive or challenging? It's a bit of both, actually. 
While culture shocks can be initially challenging and make you step out of your comfort zone, they also broaden your horizons and make you appreciate the diversity in the world. It's a valuable learning experience. I couldn't agree more. Embracing and understanding different cultures can be truly enriching. Thanks for sharing your experiences. You're welcome. It's all part of the adventure. Cultural shocks remind us that the world is a fascinating and diverse place. Happy travels, and may you continue to have memorable encounters. Bar. Hey, fancy meeting you here. How's it going? Oh, hey, it's going well. Thanks. I needed a break, so I thought I'd unwind at this bar. What about you? Same here. This place has a great ambience and the perfect vibe for a relaxing evening. Mind if I join you? Not at all. Grab a seat. What are you in the mood for? Cocktails or maybe something different? I'm feeling adventurous today. How about we try some of their signature cocktails? I've heard they're fantastic. That sounds like a plan. Let's order a couple of their specials and share our thoughts. It's always fun to explore new flavors together. Absolutely. I love discovering new tastes. So, how's life been treating you lately? Any exciting updates? Well, work has been demanding, but I'm managing. On a positive note, I recently picked up a new hobby photography. It's been a great way to unwind and express my creativity. That's wonderful. Photography can be so fulfilling. I'm glad you found an outlet for your artistic side. We should plan a photo walk sometime. Definitely. I'd love that. It's always more enjoyable to explore with a friend. Let's make it happen soon. Absolutely. Cheers to new experiences and great conversations. Here's to a memorable evening. Cheers. I couldn't agree more. Cheers to friendship and making the most of the present moment. Financial problems. I think we need to talk about our financial problems. It's becoming increasingly difficult to make ends meet, and it's causing a lot of stress in our lives. I know. The bills keep piling up, and it feels like we're constantly struggling to make payments. We need to find a way to get our finances back on track. I've been thinking about it, and I believe we need to create a budget and stick to it. We have to prioritize our expenses and cut back on unnecessary spending. You're right. We need to be more disciplined with our money. It might be tough at first, but I think we can find areas where we can reduce our expenses. We should also consider finding additional sources of income. Maybe I can take up a part-time job, or we can explore other ways to supplement our earnings. That's a good idea. It's time to explore all our options. We might need to make some sacrifices in the short term, but it will be worth it in the long run. I think it would also be helpful for us to seek financial advice. Maybe we can consult a financial planner who can guide us in managing our money more effectively. I agree. We shouldn't be ashamed to ask for help. Getting professional advice can give us a clear picture of our financial situation and provide us with strategies to improve it. Together, we can overcome these financial challenges. Let's support each other and stay focused on our goals. Our family's financial stability is important, and I believe we can achieve it with determination and perseverance. I'm with you. We'll work through this together and come out stronger. Our love and determination will guide us through these tough times. How long will it take for my order to be ready?
Hello, how can I help you? How long will it take for my order to be ready? Our current wait time is approximately 20 minutes. However, I can check with the kitchen to give you a more precise estimate if you'd like. That would be great. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. The kitchen informed me that your order will be ready in about 15 minutes. Perfect. Thank you for checking. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can assist you with while you wait? Actually, could I get a refill on my drink? Of course. I'll bring that right over for you. Please enjoy your drink while your order is being prepared. Thank you. I appreciate it. Your order is almost ready. Just a few more minutes. Thank you for your understanding. No problem at all. I'm looking forward to it. Take your time. I appreciate your patience. I'll notify you as soon as your order is ready. What's your favorite mode of transportation? Hey, what's your favorite mode of transportation when it comes to traveling? That's a tough question. I enjoy different modes of transportation depending on the destination. But if I had to pick one, I would say train travel is my favorite. Train travel can be quite charming. What makes it your preferred choice? There's something nostalgic and romantic about train journeys. The rhythmic motion, the passing landscapes, and the opportunity to meet fellow travelers create a unique experience. It allows me to sit back, relax, and truly immerse myself in the journey. That sounds lovely. Have you had any particularly memorable train journeys? Absolutely. One of my most memorable train journeys was traveling through the Swiss Alps on the Glacier Express. The panoramic views of snow-capped mountains, quaint villages, and picturesque valleys were simply breathtaking. I can only imagine the stunning vistas. Are there any other modes of transportation that you find enjoyable? I also enjoy road trips, especially when exploring scenic routes and remote areas. The freedom to stop wherever I want and take detours to hidden gems adds a sense of adventure to the journey. Road trips definitely offer a lot of flexibility and spontaneity. Any other modes of transportation you're fond of? I also find boat rides fascinating. Whether it's cruising along the serene waters of Halong Bay or taking a scenic ferry ride to visit islands, being on the water provides a unique perspective and a tranquil atmosphere. It sounds like you've had some incredible travel experiences. Thanks for sharing your favorite mode of transportation. You're welcome. Each mode of transportation offers its own charm and allows us to see the world in different ways. Happy travels, and may you have wonderful journeys ahead. Could you make that for takeaway? Hello, how can I help you? Could you make that for takeaway? Certainly. All our dishes are available for takeaway. Which item from the menu would you like to order? I'll have the grilled chicken sandwich, please. Could you make that for takeaway? Absolutely. Our grilled chicken sandwich is a popular choice. I'll make sure it's packaged to go. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Actually, could I also get a side of sweet potato fries to go with it? Of course. Our sweet potato fries are a delicious accompaniment. I'll include them with your order. Anything to drink? I'll have a bottle of sparkling water, please. Noted. I'll make sure to include the sparkling water as well. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's everything. Thank you. You're welcome. Your order will be prepared for takeaway. It'll be ready shortly. 
Enjoy your meal. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Dancing Invitation Hey there, I wanted to invite you to a special event. There's a dance happening next weekend, and I thought it would be so much fun if you could join me. Wow, thank you for thinking of me. That sounds like a great opportunity to let loose and have a fantastic time. I'd love to come with you. That's awesome. I knew you'd be up for it. It's going to be a lively night with great music and a vibrant atmosphere. Plus, it'll be a chance for us to show off our dance moves. I can't wait. I've been meaning to hit the dance floor for a while now. Do we need to dress up or is it more casual? It's a semi-formal event, so dressing up a bit would be perfect. Let's put on our stylish outfits and make a statement on the dance floor. Sounds like a plan. I'll make sure to bring my dancing shoes too. Are there any specific songs or dances we should brush up on? Not really. The DJ will be playing a mix of different genres. It'll be a mix of classic and modern hits, so we can groove to whatever comes our way. That's great to know. I'm looking forward to having a blast with you on the dance floor. Thanks again for the invitation. You're welcome. It's going to be an unforgettable night. Get ready to dance the night away and create some amazing memories together. Asking for leave. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Hey, I need to talk to you about something important. Is now a good time? Sure. What's on your mind? Well, I've been dealing with some personal matters lately, and I need to ask for a leave of absence from work. I understand. It's essential to prioritize your well-being. How much time are you thinking of taking? I was hoping to take a week off to address these issues and take care of myself. I believe it will allow me to return more focused and productive. That sounds reasonable. We all need time to recharge and handle personal matters. Can you provide some details about the situation so we can determine the best course of action? Certainly. I'll provide a written request outlining the circumstances and the dates I'm requesting for leave. I can also suggest some colleagues who could cover for me during that period. Thank you for being proactive about it. I'll review your request and discuss it with the team. We'll do our best to support you and ensure a smooth transition during your absence. I appreciate your understanding and support. Please let me know if you need any further information or if there's anything I can do to make the process easier. Absolutely. We're here to help. Take the time you need and we'll be ready to assist you when you're back. Do you prefer to plan your trips in advance or go with the flow? Hey, when it comes to traveling, do you prefer to plan your trips in advance or go with the flow? That's a great question. Personally, I enjoy a mix of both. I like to have a general outline and keep bookings in place, but I also leave room for spontaneity and flexibility. That sounds like a balanced approach. Could you share why you find it beneficial to plan some aspects ahead of time? Planning in advance helps me secure important reservations like flights and accommodations, especially during peak seasons. It also allows me to research and prioritize the must-see attractions or activities, ensuring I don't miss out on anything I really want to experience. I see the advantages. What about the go-with-the-flow aspect? How does that enhance your travel experiences? 
Going with the flow allows me to be open to unexpected opportunities and discoveries. It gives me the freedom to explore off the beaten path places, interact with locals and immerse myself in the local culture. It's often in those spontaneous moments that I've had some of my most memorable travel experiences. That's fascinating. Have you ever had any surprising or unexpected encounters during your trips? Absolutely. From stumbling upon vibrant festivals to striking up conversations with locals that led to hidden gems, those spontaneous moments have added depth and richness to my journeys. It sounds like a perfect balance between planning and embracing the unknown. I'll definitely consider incorporating more flexibility into my travel plans. Thanks for sharing your perspective. You're welcome. Finding the right balance between planning and spontaneity can make each trip unique and exciting. Happy travels, and may you have unforgettable experiences along the way. Swarming Party I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stop in the Hey, welcome to our new home Thanks for coming to our housewarming party Thank you for inviting us Your place looks amazing The decorations are lovely And everything is so well put together Oh, I'm glad you like it We spent a lot of time making it feel cozy And inviting Please, make yourself at home And enjoy the party Absolutely by the way, congratulations on your new home. It's such a milestone. How does it feel to finally settle in? Thank you. It feels incredible. It's been a whirl in getting everything set up. But now that we're here, it's like a dream come true. We're excited to create new memories and host gatherings like this. That's wonderful to hear. I can already picture the many gatherings and good times ahead. I'm sure your house will become the go-to spot for friends and family. We hope so. We wanted to create a warm and welcoming space for everyone. Thank you for being a part of our celebration today. It's my pleasure. Cheers to your new home and to many happy moments to come. Discussing future plans. Hey, I've been thinking about the future a lot lately. What are your plans for the coming years? Oh, the future can be both exciting and uncertain. I'm Samantha, by the way. Nice to meet you. As for my plans, I'm considering pursuing a master's degree in business administration. Nice to meet you too, Samantha. That's a great plan. An MBA can open up a lot of opportunities. Have you decided on any particular specialization? Thank you. I'm leaning towards focusing on marketing. I've always been fascinated by consumer behavior and brand management. That's fantastic. With your passion for marketing, I'm sure you'll excel in that field. As for me, I'm contemplating a career change. I've been working in finance for a while, but I'm considering transitioning into sustainable development. Wow. That sounds like a meaningful and fulfilling career path. The world definitely needs more people working towards sustainable solutions. What steps are you taking to make that transition? I've been taking online courses and attending sustainability conferences to gain more knowledge and network with professionals in the field. I'm also considering volunteering or interning at organizations focused on sustainability. That's a smart approach, taking proactive steps towards your goal. I'm sure you'll make a positive impact in the field. It's inspiring to see people pursuing their passions and making a difference. Thank you, Samantha. It means a lot to hear that. I believe it's important to align our careers with our values. I wish you the best of luck with your MBA and future endeavors. Likewise, it was great talking to you. Best of luck with your career change and your pursuit of sustainability. Let's stay in touch and support each other's journeys. Absolutely, Samantha. Let's definitely stay connected. Thank you for the encouragement. Have a wonderful day, and may all your future plans come to fruition.
Do you have any desserts available? Hello, how can I help you? Do you have any desserts available? Absolutely. We have a delectable assortment of desserts to satisfy your sweet tooth. Our options range from classic favorites to indulgent creations. May I recommend a few? Yes, please. What would you suggest? One of our popular desserts is the Molten Chocolate Lover Cake. It's a warm, rich chocolate cake with a gooey center, served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. We also have a creamy New York-style cheesecake with a choice of raspberry or caramel drizzle. And for a lighter option, we offer a refreshing mixed berry parfait with layers of fresh berries and whipped cream. Oh, those all sound delicious. I think I'll go with the molten chocolate lava cake. Excellent choice. Our lava cake is a crowd pleaser. Would you like any additional toppings or sauces with it? I'll have a scoop of chocolate ganache on top, please. Noted. I'll make sure your dessert is prepared to perfection. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Your molten chocolate lover cake will be served shortly. Enjoy your dessert. Thank you so much. I can't wait to indulge in it. What's the most beautiful place you've ever visited? Hey, what's the most beautiful place you've ever visited? Oh, that's a tough question. I've been fortunate to visit many breathtaking places, but if I had to pick one, I would say Santorini in Greece. Santorini is known for its stunning views. What made it the most beautiful place for you? The iconic whitewashed buildings perched on cliffs overlooking. The deep blue Aegean Sea created a picturesque landscape that was unlike anything I had ever seen before. The sunsets were absolutely mesmerizing. It sounds absolutely magical. Did you have any memorable experiences in Santorini? Absolutely. Exploring the charming villages like Oya and Fira, tasting delicious Greek cuisine, and relaxing on the unique black sand beaches were all incredible experiences. The warmth and hospitality of the locals made it even more special. I can only imagine how wonderful it must have been. Are there any other destinations that come close to Santorini in terms of beauty? Yes, another place that left me in awe was the Plitvis Lakes National Park in Croatia. The cascading waterfalls, crystal clear lakes, and lush greenery created a natural paradise that felt like stepping into a fairy tale. That sounds like a hidden gem. I'll definitely add it to my travel list. Thanks for sharing your experiences. You're welcome. The world is full of incredible beauty, and exploring these places is a reminder of how diverse and awe-inspiring our planet is. Happy travels! Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose if it's a moose and shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, 
you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Tailored suit. You've got a big event coming up, right? Have you thought about what you're going to wear? Yeah, I've been considering getting a tailored suit. I want something that fits perfectly and looks sharp. That's a great idea. A well-fitted suit can make a huge difference. Have you found a tailor yet? Not yet. I'm looking for someone with a good reputation and attention to detail. I know a place downtown that's known for their quality tailoring. They've done some amazing work for my colleagues. Sounds promising. I'll check them out. What about fabric and color? It depends on the occasion. For a formal event, a classic navy or charcoal gray would be elegant. And for fabric, wool is versatile and comfortable. Good point. I don't want to go too flashy. What about the style of the suit? Stick to a timeless two-button single-breasted jacket. It's versatile and suitable for various occasions. And make sure the pants have a clean, slim fit without being too tight. Got it. Thanks for the advice. I want to make sure I look confident and put together. You'll definitely nail it with a tailored suit. Just remember, the fit is key. It'll be worth the investment. I appreciate your input. I'll set up an appointment with that tailor and make sure everything is on point. Laundry Ugh, laundry day again. I feel like I'm always drowning in a pile of clothes. Tell me about it. It's like the laundry basket never stays empty for long. And it's the folding that gets me. I can wash and dry, but folding and putting away feels like a never-ending task. Totally agree. I usually end up with a stack of clean clothes on my chair that I just keep digging into. Haha, <laughs> same here. But I heard about this new trick where you fold clothes as soon as they're out of the dryer. Supposedly saves a lot of time. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'll have to give that a shot. But you know what's worse. Socks that seem to disappear in the laundry black hole. Yes, the infamous sock mystery. I don't know how they vanish like that. It's like socks have a secret escape plan. I'm convinced there's a sock dimension where they all end up. Anyway, have you ever accidentally shrunk a favorite shirt? Oh, the heartbreak is real. I once turned a cozy sweater into a doll's outfit by mistake. I was devastated. I can relate. And don't even get me started on sorting whites, colors, and delicates. It's like a laundry puzzle. Haha, <laughs> so true. But you know what they say. Laundry is just proof that you have clothes to wear. Even if it feels like a chore. Wise words. Let's tackle this laundry mountain together and conquer the sock dimension mystery once. And for all. What to wear? Hey, have you thought about what to wear to the party on Saturday? Oh yeah, I've been mulling it over. I'm thinking maybe that black dress I wore last time. That sounds great. Classy and elegant. But didn't you mention you wanted to switch things up a bit? You're right, I do. Maybe I'll go for those tailored pants and a colorful blouse then. Solid choice. You always rock those pants. How about accessories? I was thinking of those silver hoops and that new bracelet I got last month. 
Nice, that'll add a touch of glam. You know, the weather's supposed to be a bit unpredictable, right? Yeah, I heard. So, I'm considering a light cardigan or a denim jacket just in case. Smart thinking. I'm still figuring out my outfit, torn between casual and semi-formal. Well, you could do a button-down shirt with jeans. That way, you're in the middle. Hum, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the suggestion. Anytime. We've got a few days to make up our minds. I'm sure whatever you choose will be perfect. Real Estate Agency Hey, I've been thinking about investing in some property. Have you ever dealt with a real estate agency before? Absolutely. I actually bought my current place through one. They can really streamline the whole process. That's what I'm hoping for. Any recommendations on agencies? Well, I had a good experience with Prestige Properties. They were professional and understood what I was looking for. Great. I'll look them up. I'm a bit nervous though, it's a big step. Totally get that. The key is to be clear about your budget and preferences. They'll guide you accordingly. Do they only help with buying, or can they assist with selling too? They do both. When I sold my previous place, they managed all the listing and negotiations. That sounds convenient. Did you feel they had your best interests at heart? Definitely. They were transparent about all costs and didn't pressure me into anything. Good to know. I'll reach out to them and a few others. Did you find the perfect place quickly? It took a few weeks of browsing and a couple of property visits, but it was worth it to find the right fit. Thanks for sharing your experience. It's reassuring to have some insight before diving into this. No problem. Remember, take your time and don't hesitate to ask lots of questions. Happy hunting! Calling a taxi for the guest. Good evening. I need to arrange a taxi for a guest who would like to go to the airport. Can you assist me with that? Certainly. I can help you with that. What time does the guest need to leave? The flight is at 8 o'clock a.m. tomorrow, so it would be best if the taxi arrives at the hotel around 6.30 a.m. Noted. I will arrange a taxi for that time. Could you please provide me with the guest's name and room number? Certainly. The guest's name is John Smith, and he is staying in room 203. Thank you for the information. I will make the necessary arrangements with our trusted taxi service. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Yes, please let me know the estimated cost for the taxi ride to the airport, so I can inform the guest. I will find out the approximate fare for you. Just a moment, please. According to our taxi service, the estimated fare to the airport should be around $30 to $40, depending on traffic conditions. Thank you for the information. I will inform the guest about the estimated fare and the taxi pickup time. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. If you or the guest have any further questions or need any assistance, feel free to ask. Have a pleasant evening. Hotel safety. Good evening. I have some concerns about hotel safety and security. 
Can you provide me with some information regarding the safety measures in place? Certainly, I understand your concern. Safety is our top priority here. We have several measures in place to ensure the security of our guests. Could you please let me know specific areas you would like information about? I would like to know about the security measures in the hotel premises, such as surveillance, access control, and emergency procedures. We have a comprehensive CCTV system in place covering all public areas and entrances. Our security personnel are also present 24 7 to monitor the premises and assist guests. Regarding access control, all entry points are secured with electronic keycards, and only registered guests can access guest floors. As for emergencies, we have a well defined evacuation plan, clearly marked emergency exits and smoke detectors in all rooms and common areas. That's reassuring to hear. What about fire safety precautions? Fire safety is of utmost importance to us. We have fire alarms, sprinkler systems, and fire extinguishers strategically placed throughout the hotel. In case of an emergency, we conduct regular fire drills to ensure staff and guest preparedness. That's great to know. Are there any additional safety tips you could provide to guests? Absolutely. We advise guests to keep their room doors locked and to use the in-room safe for valuable belongings. It's also essential to report any suspicious activity or concerns to our staff immediately. We have trained personnel who are ready to assist in any situation. Thank you for providing such detailed information. It gives me peace of mind knowing that safety is a priority here. You're most welcome. We strive to provide a safe and secure environment for all our guests. If you have any further questions or need assistance during your stay, please don't hesitate to contact us. I'd like to pay with cash, please. I'd like to pay with cash, please. Sure, no problem. Just to confirm, do you need change or are you paying with exact cash? I have exact change, thank you. All right, I'll just go grab your receipt and process your payment. Thank you for dining with us tonight. It was our pleasure. Thank you for the great service. You're welcome. We always aim to provide our guests with a positive experience. Well, you definitely succeeded. The food was delicious and the service was excellent. I'm glad to hear that. It's always nice to receive positive feedback. Here's your receipt, and you're all set to go. Great, thank you. Keep the change. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening, and we hope to see you again soon. Definitely, we'll be back. Goodbye. Goodbye, take care. Compliment others. You know, I've been meaning to tell you, I really admire your dedication and hard work. You always seem to give your best in everything you do. Thank you so much. That means a lot coming from you. I've noticed your creativity and problem-solving skills are truly impressive. You have a unique way of approaching challenges. Oh, thank you for saying that. I really appreciate it. But honestly, your attention to detail and organization skills are incredible. It's inspiring to see how you stay on top of things. That's very kind of you to say. But I've always admired your ability to communicate effectively. You have a way with words that captivates people and gets your point across effortlessly. Wow, thank you. I'm flattered. However, I must say, your positive attitude and uplifting energy are contagious. You have a way of brightening up any room you enter. Introducing nearby locations.
Hi there. I just moved to the neighborhood. Can you tell me about any interesting nearby locations worth exploring? Absolutely. Welcome to the neighborhood. There are a few places you might find interesting. First, we have a lovely park just a couple of blocks away. It's perfect for a relaxing stroll or a picnic. That sounds wonderful. I'll definitely check out the park. Any other recommendations? Of course. We also have a vibrant local market nearby. It's a great place to discover fresh produce, local artisans, and delicious street food. That sounds like a place I'd love to visit. I enjoy exploring local markets. Anything else? Yes, there's a charming cafe just around the corner. They serve excellent coffee and have a cozy atmosphere. It's a perfect spot to unwind or meet up with friends. I'm always up for a good cup of coffee. I'll make sure to stop by the cafe. Thank you for the recommendations. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your time exploring the neighborhood and discovering these nearby gems. If you need more suggestions or have any other questions, feel free to ask. I appreciate your help. I'll definitely reach out if I need more information. Thanks again. No problem at all. Have a fantastic time settling in and getting to know the area. Welcome once again. With a hotel voucher. Hi there, I have a hotel voucher that I'd like to redeem. Can you assist me with that? Certainly. I'd be happy to help. Could you please provide me with the details on the voucher, such as the voucher number and any specific terms or conditions mentioned? Sure, let me find it. Here it is. The voucher number is 123,456,789, and it's valid for a one-night stay in a standard room. Thank you for the information. Let me check the availability for the dates you're interested in. I'm looking to stay from the 18th to the 19th of this month. Good news. We have availability for those dates. I'll go ahead and make a reservation for you using the voucher. Could you please provide your name and contact details for the booking? Certainly. My name is Jane Davis, and here's my phone number, 555 123 Thank you, Miss Davis. Your reservation is now confirmed. When you arrive, please present the voucher at the front desk for check-in. Perfect. Thank you so much for your assistance. By the way, does the voucher include any amenities or services? The voucher covers the cost of your accommodation, including standard amenities such as WAFI access and complimentary breakfast. Any additional services or extras can be requested and settled separately. That's great to know. Thank you once again for your help. I'm looking forward to my stay. You're welcome, Miss Davis. We're glad to have you as our guest. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. Enjoy your stay with us. Room rate changes for a returning guest. Hi there. I'm a returning guest and I'm interested in booking a room for my upcoming stay. I wanted to inquire about the room rates. Welcome back. We're delighted to have you again. Our room rates may have changed since your last visit, but we still offer exclusive rates for our returning guests. May I have your name and the dates you're planning to stay? Certainly. My name is John Thompson and I'll be staying from the 10th to the 15th of next month. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Let me check our system for the updated rates and any special promotions available for returning guests. I appreciate that. I've always enjoyed the exceptional service and comfort here, so I'm hoping for a favorable rate. Good news, Mr. Thompson. As a returning guest, 
we can offer you a discounted rate of 15% off our standard rates for the duration of your stay. This is our way of showing our gratitude for your continued patronage. That's fantastic. Thank you for the generous discount. I'm pleased to see the appreciation for loyal customers. It's our pleasure, Mr. Thompson. We value your loyalty and strive to make your stay memorable. If there's anything else I can assist you with or if you have any special requests, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you for your assistance. The discounted rate is perfect, and I'm looking forward to my stay once again. I'll be sure to reach out if I have any further questions. Exchanging money Excuse me, I'd like to settle the bill for our meal. Sure, I'll take care of that. How would you like to pay? I'd like to pay in cash, please. Here's the total amount. Thank you. Let me check the bill to make sure the amount is correct. Yes, everything seems in order. I'll just count the money quickly. Take your time. I hope it's not too much trouble. No trouble at all. I want to make sure everything is accurate. It looks like the total is correct. Thank you for providing the exact amount. You're welcome. I prefer to pay with cash to avoid any issues with cards. Do you need any change? Just a moment, please. Let me calculate the change for you. Here's your change. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's all. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. If you have any further questions or need anything else, feel free to ask. Enjoy the rest of your day. Oh wow, it's been ages. It's so great to see you again after all these years. How have you been? I know, right? It feels like a lifetime ago since we last met. I've been doing well, thanks. Life has had its UPS and downs, but overall, I can't complain. How about you? What have you been up to? I've been keeping busy with work and family life. It's been quite the journey, but I'm grateful for the experiences. Speaking of which, do you remember that time? We went on that crazy road trip together. How could I forget? That road trip was one for the books. We had so many adventures and laughs along the way. It's amazing how those memories still bring a smile to my face. Absolutely. Those memories are cherished. It's funny how time flies, but reconnecting with old friends reminds us of the bonds we shared. We should definitely catch up more often. Vacation plans. Hey, summer is just around the corner. And I'm already dreaming about vacation plans. Have you thought about where you want to go? Absolutely. I've been craving a beach getaway. I'm thinking of heading to a tropical destination with pristine beaches and turquoise waters. Any suggestions? How about the Maldives? It's a paradise on earth with its stunning overwater bungalows and incredible marine life. It's perfect for relaxation and snorkeling. That sounds amazing. The Maldives has been on my bucket list for ages. I can already picture myself lounging on those white sandy beaches. Any other ideas? 
If I want something more adventurous. If you're up for an adventure, how about exploring the Canadian Rockies? The breathtaking landscapes, hiking trails, and picturesque lakes will leave you in awe. Wow, that sounds like an epic adventure. I've heard great things about the Canadian Rockies. It would be incredible to immerse myself in nature and witness its raw beauty. Absolutely. It's a nature lover's paradise. Whether you choose the serene beaches of the Maldives or the majestic mountains of the Canadian Rockies, both options promise unforgettable experiences. You're right. It's hard to choose. I'll have to weigh the pros and cons. Either way, I'm grateful for these amazing suggestions. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Whichever destination you choose, I hope you have an incredible vacation filled with relaxation, adventure, and lifelong memories. Thank you again. I can't wait to finalize my plans and embark on a well-deserved vacation. Let's catch up when I return and share our travel stories. Definitely. I'll be eagerly waiting to hear all about your adventures. Safe travels and have an amazing time, my friend. Shopping for food. I'm heading to the grocery store. Do you need anything? We can go shopping together. That would be great. I need a few things too. I'll make a list of what we need, so we don't forget anything. Perfect. Let's also check what's in the pantry and fridge to see what we already have. It'll help us avoid buying unnecessary items. Good idea. We should focus on getting fresh produce and ingredients for meals we plan to cook this week. It's always better to eat home-cooked meals and save some money. Absolutely. Cooking at home is healthier and more cost-effective in the long run. Plus, it's a great way to try new recipes and improve our culinary skills. I completely agree. And let's not forget to check for any ongoing sales or discounts. It's always nice to save a few bucks. Definitely. We should also be mindful of choosing sustainable options and supporting local producers when possible. It's important to make environmentally conscious choices. I'm glad you mentioned that. Let's prioritize organic and locally sourced products. It's a small step towards promoting a healthier planet. Agreed? All right, we're all set. Let's grab our reusable bags and head to the store. It's going to be a productive and mindful shopping trip. I'm looking forward to it. Shopping for food can be fun and rewarding, especially when we're making conscious choices. Let's go. Let's do it. Together, we'll make sure we have everything we need while making mindful and sustainable choices. Conveying messages for guests. Hi there. I'm the new receptionist. I noticed we have some messages for our guests. How do we typically convey them? Welcome to the team. When we have messages for guests, we usually deliver them through their room phones or leave written notes in their rooms. What messages do we have? We have three messages. One is for Mr. Anderson regarding a package delivery. The second is for Miss Johnson. Her colleague called and left a callback number. And the third is for Mr. Thompson. His dinner reservation has been confirmed for tonight. Great. Let's start with Mr. Anderson. I'll call his room and inform him about the package. Could you write down the details for the other messages? I'll make sure they receive them as well. Sure, I'll jot down the information. Once you're done with Mr. Anderson, I'll leave the notes in the respective rooms for Miss Johnson and Mr. Thompson. Perfect. Let's handle these messages efficiently and ensure our guests receive the information in a timely manner. 
If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Thank you for your guidance. I appreciate your support. Let's get these messages delivered promptly and provide excellent service to our guests. Absolutely. We're a team and together, we'll make sure our guests have a great experience. Let's go above and beyond for them. International Direct Call Hi, I need to make an international direct call. Do you know if there's a phone service available for that? Absolutely. We have international direct dialing available for our customers. Which country are you trying to call? I need to reach someone in France. Can you assist me with the necessary dialing instructions? Certainly. To make a direct call to France, you'll need to dial the international access code followed by the country code for France and then the recipient's phone number. The international access code for most countries is 00, so you would dial 00, then 33 for France, and finally, the recipient's phone number. Thank you for explaining. I really appreciate it. Is there a phone I can use to make the call? Yes, we have public phones available in the lobby for international calls. You can also use your room phone, but please be aware that international calls may incur additional charges. I can provide you with the rates, if you'd like. I'll use the public phone in the lobby. I'm aware of the potential charges. Thank you for your assistance. I'll make the call now. You're welcome. If you have any further questions or need any additional help, feel free to ask. Have a successful call and let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Other services to the room guests. Good afternoon. I hope you're enjoying your stay with us. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Actually, there is something I need help with. I've been having trouble connecting to the WI fee. Is there a way you can assist me in getting it set up? Absolutely. I apologize for the inconvenience. Let's troubleshoot that for you. Could you please provide me with your room number? Sure, it's room 315. Thank you. I'll check the network settings for that room and see if there's any issue. In the meantime, would you like a complimentary welcome basket? Delivered to your room? That's very thoughtful. Yes, I would appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll make a note of it. Regarding the WI fee, I'll contact our technical support team right away to resolve the connectivity issue. They'll be able to assist you shortly. Thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate your prompt attention to these matters. It's my pleasure. We strive to ensure our guests have a comfortable stay. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. Being locked out of the fire exit. Oh no, the fire exit is locked. We can't get out this way. What do we do? Stay calm. Let's try to find an alternative route. Is there another exit nearby that we can use? I'm not sure. Let's check the floor plan. According to the map, there should be another exit on the opposite side of the building. We'll have to make our way there. All right, let's hurry and head towards that exit. We shouldn't waste any time. Remember to stay cautious and follow any emergency protocols we come across. Agreed. Safety is our top priority. We need to alert someone about the locked fire exit too. Let's find a staff member or security personnel on our way and inform them about the situation. That's a good idea. They should be able to take immediate action to unlock the fire exit and ensure it doesn't happen again. 
Let's keep an eye out for any staff members as we make our way to the alternate exit. Absolutely. Hopefully, we can resolve this quickly and ensure the safety of everyone in the building. Let's stay focused and move swiftly towards the other exit. Transfer service. Hi there. I'm wondering if there's a transfer service available to get me from the airport to the hotel. Absolutely. We provide a transfer service for our guests. When is your flight arriving? And which airport will you be landing at? My flight is scheduled to arrive at 6.30 p.m. at the International Airport. Perfect. We can arrange a pickup for you. Would you prefer a private car or a shared shuttle? I think a private car would be more convenient for me. Noted. I'll arrange a private car to be waiting for you at the airport when you arrive. Can you please provide me with your flight details, including the airline and flight number? Sure, it's flight ABC 123 with XYZ Airlines. Thank you. I'll make sure the driver is aware of your arrival time and flight details. Once you collect your luggage, the driver will meet you at the designated meeting point. Do you have any other questions or requirements? No, that sounds perfect. Thank you for organizing the transfer service. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to assist you. Have a safe flight, and we look forward to welcoming you at the airport. If you need any further assistance, feel free to let us know. Message service. Hey, I just received an important message, but I won't be able to respond right away. Do you mind helping me with a message service? Of course. I'd be happy to assist. What do you need me to do? Thank you so much. Can you please send a reply to this message and let them know that I'm currently unavailable, but I'll get back to them as soon as possible? Absolutely. Could you provide me with the details of the message? so I can draft an appropriate response. Certainly. The message is from John Doe, and he's inquiring about the upcoming meeting. Please let him know that I'm unable to respond immediately due to prior commitments, but I'll provide a detailed response by the end of the day. Noted. I'll send the message on your behalf, assuring John that you'll get back to him by the end of the day. Is there anything else you'd like me to include? That should cover it. Thank you for handling this for me. I appreciate your assistance. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. I'll make sure to convey the message accurately. Just let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and to be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The news fits some loose shit. The stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Are you passionate about cooking? Ready to turn your culinary adventures into a fun-filled English learning journey? Welcome to Do You Like Cooking?
where we blend the art of cooking with the magic of mastering English. Ready to embark on a mouth-watering journey where cooking and English go hand in hand? Hit that subscribe button, join our culinary classroom, and savor the flavors of English like never before. Stay tuned for our first scrumptious episode. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Kitchen mishaps. Oh no, I can't believe I spilled flour all over the floor. Don't worry, accidents happen to the best of us. Let's clean it up together. It's just that I was trying to be so careful today while baking this cake. Baking can be tricky. Even the most experienced chefs have their mishaps. You're right, I guess I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Absolutely not. Remember the first time you made that cake? It's all about learning and improving. Yeah. That first attempt was a disaster, but I've come a long way since then. See, you're making progress with every mistake. That's how we become better cooks. Thanks for being so understanding. Now, let's get back to finishing that cake. That's the spirit. And if anything else goes wrong, we'll handle it together. Cooking is an adventure, after all. You're right, and I'm lucky to have a friend like you to share it with. Plating and Presentation Wow, this dish looks amazing. You really nailed the plating and presentation. Thanks so much. I've been working on my presentation skills lately. It's amazing how much of a difference it makes. Absolutely. It's like art on a plate. How did you decide on this arrangement? Well, I wanted to highlight the vibrant colors of the ingredients. So I placed the colorful vegetables in a circle around the protein. It creates a nice contrast. I love that idea. And the sauce drizzle adds that gourmet touch. What kind of sauce did you use? It's a homemade herb infused olive oil drizzle with a hint of citrus. It not only enhances the flavor but also adds a glossy finish to the dish. Impressive. And those microgreens on top. They add a pop of freshness. Yes, they provide a burst of color and freshness while also balancing the richness of the main components. Well, you've definitely inspired me to step up my plating game. This looks too good to eat. Thanks. Cooking is not just about taste. It's also about creating a memorable experience through presentation. Enjoy. Recipe Adaptations I wanted to make lasagna tonight, but I don't have all the ingredients. No problem. Let's get creative. What's missing? I'm out of ricotta cheese and fresh basil. Well, we could substitute cottage cheese for ricotta, and maybe use dried basil or oregano for the basil. 
That might work. What about the meat? It calls for ground beef, but all I have is ground turkey. Ground turkey is a lean option. Let's go for it and season it well. Thanks for being so flexible. Let's give it a shot. This is actually really good with the turkey and dried herbs. And the cottage cheese isn't bad at all. It's creamy like ricotta. Adaptation can lead to new discoveries in cooking. Plus, it's all about making the best of what you have. To culinary creativity. Cheers. And to a delicious improvised lasagna. Taste assessment. Ma'am, this dish is delicious. What's your secret ingredient? Thanks. It's all about balance. I use the combination of herbs and spices to enhance the flavors. A pinch of smoked paprika gives it a unique smokiness. I can definitely taste that smokiness. It's fantastic. And the tenderness of the meat. How did you achieve that? I marinated it overnight with a mixture of yogurt and lemon juice. The acidity of the yogurt tenderizes the meat while infusing it with a subtle tang. That's genius. And the side dish, it's the perfect complement. I thought some roasted root vegetables would provide a hearty contrast to the main dish. The caramelization adds sweetness, and a touch of thyme ties it all together. You've truly mastered the art of balancing flavors. It's a symphony in my mouth. Thank you. Cooking is all about understanding taste profiles and experimenting with different elements. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I definitely am. This meal is a culinary masterpiece. Your appreciation means the world to me. There's always more to learn in the kitchen, and I love pushing the boundaries of flavor. Leftovers Hey, what are your plans for those leftovers from last night's dinner? I was thinking of making a quick stir fry with them for lunch. Waste not, right? That's a great idea. Leftovers can make some of the best meals. What ingredients are you adding to the stir fry? I've got some bell peppers, onions, and broccoli in the fridge. I'll toss those in with the leftover chicken and rice from last night. A bit of soy sauce, garlic, and ginger should do the trick. Sounds delicious and efficient. I might turn my leftovers into a hearty soup. I have some leftover roasted vegetables that would make a great base. Sounds comforting. What kind of broth are you planning to use? I have some homemade chicken broth in the freezer. I'll thaw it out and add the roasted veggies, maybe some pasta or greens, to make it heartier. That's a fantastic idea. Homemade broth always elevates the flavor. It's impressive how leftovers can be transformed into something entirely new. Absolutely. Plus, it's a sustainable way to enjoy meals and reduce food waste. Couldn't agree more. Let's continue to embrace our leftovers and get creative in the kitchen. Taxi for the guest. Good evening. I need to arrange a taxi for a guest who would like to go to the airport. Can you assist me with that? Certainly. I can help you with that. What time does the guest need to leave? The flight is at 8 o'clock a.m. tomorrow, so it would be best if the taxi arrives at the hotel around 6.30 a.m. Noted. I will arrange a taxi for that time. 
Could you please provide me with the guest's name and room number? Certainly. The guest's name is John Smith, and he is staying in room 203. Thank you for the information. I will make the necessary arrangements with our trusted taxi service. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Yes, please let me know the estimated cost for the taxi ride to the airport, so I can inform the guest. I will find out the approximate fare for you. Just a moment, please. According to our taxi service, the estimated fare to the airport should be around $30 to $40, depending on traffic conditions. Thank you for the information. I will inform the guest about the estimated fare and the taxi pickup time. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. If you or the guest have any further questions or need any assistance, feel free to ask. Have a pleasant evening. Hotel Sadie Good evening. I have some concerns about hotel safety and security. Can you provide me with some information regarding the safety measures in place? Certainly, I understand your concern. Safety is our top priority here. We have several measures in place to ensure the security of our guests. Could you please let me know specific areas you would like information about? I would like to know about the security measures in the hotel premises such as surveillance, access control, and emergency procedures. We have a comprehensive CCTV system in place covering all public areas and entrances. Our security personnel are also present 24-7 to monitor the premises and assist guests. Regarding access control, all entry points are secured with electronic keycards, and only registered guests can access guest floors. As for emergencies, we have a well-defined evacuation plan, clearly marked emergency exits, and smoke detectors in all rooms and common areas. That's reassuring to hear. What about fire safety precautions? Fire safety is of utmost importance to us. We have fire alarms, sprinkler systems, and fire extinguishers strategically placed throughout the hotel. In case of an emergency, we conduct regular fire drills to ensure staff and guest preparedness. That's great to know. Are there any additional safety tips you could provide to guests? Absolutely. We advise guests to keep their room doors locked and to use the in-room safe for valuable belongings. It's also essential to report any suspicious activity or concerns to our staff immediately. We have trained personnel who are ready to assist in any situation. Thank you for providing such detailed information. It gives me peace of mind knowing that safety is a priority here. You're most welcome. We strive to provide a safe and secure environment for all our guests. If you have any further questions or need assistance during your stay, please don't hesitate to contact us. I'd like to pay with cash, please. I'd like to pay with cash, please. Sure, no problem. Just to confirm, do you need change or are you paying with exact cash? I have exact change, thank you. All right. I'll just go grab your receipt and process your payment. Thank you for dining with us tonight. It was our pleasure. Thank you for the great service. You're welcome. We always aim to provide our guests with a positive experience. Well, you definitely succeeded. The food was delicious and the service was excellent. I'm glad to hear that. It's always nice to receive positive feedback. Here's your receipt and you're all set to go. Great, thank you. Keep the change. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening, and we hope to see you again soon. Definitely, we'll be back. 
Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care. Compliment others. You know, I've been meaning to tell you, I really admire your dedication and hard work. You always seem to give your best in everything you do. Thank you so much. That means a lot coming from you. I've noticed your creativity and problem-solving skills are truly impressive. You have a unique way of approaching challenges. Oh, thank you for saying that. I really appreciate it. But honestly, your attention to detail and organization skills are incredible. It's inspiring to see how you stay on top of things. That's very kind of you to say, but I've always admired your ability to communicate effectively. You have a way with words that captivates people and gets your point across effortlessly. Wow, thank you. I'm flattered. However, I must say, your positive attitude and uplifting energy are contagious. You have a way of brightening up any room you enter. Introducing nearby locations. Hi there. I just moved to the neighborhood. Can you tell me about any interesting nearby locations worth exploring? Absolutely. Welcome to the neighborhood. There are a few places you might find interesting. First, we have a lovely park just a couple of blocks away. It's perfect for a relaxing stroll or a picnic. That sounds wonderful. I'll definitely check out the park. Any other recommendations? Of course. We also have a vibrant local market nearby. It's a great place to discover fresh produce, local artisans, and delicious street food. That sounds like a place I'd love to visit. I enjoy exploring local markets. Anything else? Yes, there's a charming cafe just around the corner. They serve excellent coffee and have a cozy atmosphere. It's a perfect spot to unwind or meet up with friends. I'm always up for a good cup of coffee. I'll make sure to stop by the cafe. Thank you for the recommendations. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your time exploring the neighborhood and discovering these nearby gems. If you need more suggestions or have any other questions, feel free to ask. I appreciate your help. I'll definitely reach out if I need more information. Thanks again. No problem at all. Have a fantastic time settling and, and getting to know the area. Welcome once again. With a hotel voucher. Hi there, I have a hotel voucher that I'd like to redeem. Can you assist me with that? Certainly. I'd be happy to help. Could you please provide me with the details on the voucher, such as the voucher number and any specific terms or conditions mentioned? Sure, let me find it. Here it is. The voucher number is 123,456,789, and it's valid for a one-night stay in a standard room. Thank you for the information. Let me check the availability for the dates you're interested in. I'm looking to stay from the 18th to the 19th of this month. Good news. We have availability for those dates. I'll go ahead and make a reservation for you using the voucher. Could you please provide your name and contact details for the booking? Certainly. My name is Jane Davis, and here's my phone number, 555-123-4567. Thank you, Miss Davis. Your reservation is now confirmed. When you arrive, please present the voucher at the front desk for check-in. Perfect. Thank you so much for your assistance. By the way, does the voucher include any amenities or services? The voucher covers the cost of your accommodation, 
including standard amenities such as WAFI access and complimentary breakfast. Any additional services or extras can be requested and settled separately. That's great to know. Thank you once again for your help. I'm looking forward to my stay. You're welcome, Miss Davis. We're glad to have you as our guest. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. Enjoy your stay with us. Room rate changes for a returning guest. Hi there. I'm a returning guest and I'm interested in booking a room for my upcoming stay. I wanted to inquire about the room rates. Welcome back. We're delighted to have you again. Our room rates may have changed since your last visit, but we still offer exclusive rates for our returning guests. May I have your name and the dates you're planning to stay? Certainly. My name is John Thompson and I'll be staying from the 10th to the 15th of next month. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Let me check our system for the updated rates and any special promotions available for returning guests. I appreciate that. I've always enjoyed the exceptional service and comfort here, so I'm hoping for a favorable rate. Good news, Mr. Thompson. As a returning guest, we can offer you a discounted rate of 15% off our standard rates for the duration of your stay. This is our way of showing our gratitude for your continued patronage. That's fantastic. Thank you for the generous discount. I'm pleased to see the appreciation for loyal customers. It's our pleasure, Mr. Thompson. We value your loyalty and strive to make your stay memorable. If there's anything else I can assist you with or if you have any special requests, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you for your assistance. The discounted rate is perfect and I'm looking forward to my stay once again. I'll be sure to reach out if I have any further questions. Exchanging money Excuse me, I'd like to settle the bill for our meal. Sure, I'll take care of that. How would you like to pay? I'd like to pay in cash, please. Here's the total amount. Thank you. Let me check the bill to make sure the amount is correct. Yes, everything seems in order. I'll just count the money quickly. Take your time. I hope it's not too much trouble. No trouble at all. I want to make sure everything is accurate. It looks like the total is correct. Thank you for providing the exact amount. You're welcome. I prefer to pay with cash to avoid any issues with carts. Do you need any change? Just a moment, please. Let me calculate the change for you. Here's your change. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's all. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. If you have any further questions or need anything else, feel free to ask. Enjoy the rest of your day. Oh wow, it's been ages. It's so great to see you again after all these years. How have you been? I know, right? It feels like a lifetime ago since we last met. I've been doing well, thanks. Life has had its UPS and downs, but overall, 
I can't complain. How about you? What have you been up to? I've been keeping busy with work and family life. It's been quite the journey, but I'm grateful for the experiences. Speaking of which, do you remember that time? We went on that crazy road trip together. How could I forget? That road trip was one for the books. We had so many adventures and laughs along the way. It's amazing how those memories still bring a smile to my face. Absolutely. Those memories are cherished. It's funny how time flies, but reconnecting with old friends reminds us of the bonds we shared. We should definitely catch up more often. Vacation plans. Hey, summer is just around the corner, and I'm already dreaming about vacation plans. Have you thought about where you want to go? Absolutely. I've been craving a beach getaway. I'm thinking of heading to a tropical destination with pristine beaches and turquoise waters. Any suggestions? How about the Maldives? It's a paradise on earth with its stunning overwater bungalows and incredible marine life. It's perfect for relaxation and snorkeling. That sounds amazing. The Maldives has been on my bucket list for ages. I can already picture myself lounging on those white sandy beaches. Any other ideas? If I want something more adventurous? If you're up for an adventure, how about exploring the Canadian Rockies? The breathtaking landscapes, hiking trails, and picturesque lakes will leave you in awe. Wow, that sounds like an epic adventure. I've heard great things about the Canadian Rockies. It would be incredible to immerse myself in nature and witness its raw beauty. Absolutely. It's a nature lover's paradise. Whether you choose the serene beaches of the Maldives or the majestic mountains of the Canadian Rockies, both options promise unforgettable experiences. You're right. It's hard to choose. I'll have to weigh the pros and cons. Either way, I'm grateful for these amazing suggestions. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Whichever destination you choose, I hope you have an incredible vacation filled with relaxation, adventure, and lifelong memories. Thank you again. I can't wait to finalize my plans and embark on a well-deserved vacation. Let's catch up when I return and share our travel stories. Definitely. I'll be eagerly waiting to hear all about your adventures. Safe travels and have an amazing time, my friend. Shopping for food. I'm heading to the grocery store. Do you need anything? We can go shopping together. That would be great. I need a few things too. I'll make a list of what we need, so we don't forget anything. Perfect. Let's also check what's in the pantry and fridge to see what we already have. It'll help us avoid buying unnecessary items. Good idea. We should focus on getting fresh produce and ingredients for meals we plan to cook this week. It's always better to eat home-cooked meals and save some money. Absolutely. Cooking at home is healthier and more cost-effective in the long run. Plus, it's a great way to try new recipes and improve our culinary skills. I completely agree. And let's not forget to check for any ongoing sales or discounts. It's always nice to save a few bucks. Definitely. We should also be mindful of choosing sustainable options and supporting local producers when possible. It's important to make environmentally conscious choices. I'm glad you mentioned that. Let's prioritize organic and locally sourced products. It's a small step towards promoting a healthier planet. Agreed? All right, we're all set. Let's grab our reusable bags and head to the store. It's going to be a productive and mindful shopping trip. 
I'm looking forward to it. Shopping for food can be fun and rewarding, especially when we're making conscious choices. Let's go. Let's do it. Together, we'll make sure we have everything we need while making mindful and sustainable choices. Conveying messages for guests. Hi there. I'm the new receptionist. I noticed we have some messages for our guests. How do we typically convey them? Welcome to the team. When we have messages for guests, we usually deliver them through their room phones or leave written notes in their rooms. What messages do we have? We have three messages. One is for Mr. Anderson regarding a package delivery. The second is for Miss Johnson. Her colleague called and left a callback number. And the third is for Mr. Thompson. His dinner reservation has been confirmed for tonight. Great. Let's start with Mr. Anderson. I'll call his room and inform him about the package. Could you write down the details for the other messages? I'll make sure they receive them as well. Sure, I'll jot down the information. Once you're done with Mr. Anderson, I'll leave the notes in the respective rooms for Miss Johnson and Mr. Thompson. Perfect. Let's handle these messages efficiently and ensure our guests receive the information in a timely manner. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Thank you for your guidance. I appreciate your support. Let's get these messages delivered promptly and provide excellent service to our guests. Absolutely. We're a team and together, we'll make sure our guests have a great experience. Let's go above and beyond for them. International Direct Call Hi, I need to make an international direct call. Do you know if there's a phone service available for that? Absolutely. We have international direct dialing available for our customers. Which country are you trying to call? I need to reach someone in France. Can you assist me with the necessary dialing instructions? Certainly. To make a direct call to France, you'll need to dial the international access code followed by the country code for France and then the recipient's phone number. The international access code for most countries is 00, so you would dial 00, then 33 for France, and finally, the recipient's phone number. Thank you for explaining. I really appreciate it. Is there a phone I can use to make the call? Yes, we have public phones available in the lobby for international calls. You can also use your room phone, but please be aware that international calls may incur additional charges. I can provide you with the rates, if you'd like. I'll use the public phone in the lobby. I'm aware of the potential charges. Thank you for your assistance. I'll make the call now. You're welcome. If you have any further questions or need any additional help, feel free to ask. Have a successful call and let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Other services to the room guests. Good afternoon. I hope you're enjoying your stay with us. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Actually, there is something I need help with. I've been having trouble connecting to the WI fee. Is there a way you can assist me in getting it set up? Absolutely. I apologize for the inconvenience. Let's troubleshoot that for you. Could you please provide me with your room number? Sure, it's room 315. Thank you. I'll check the network settings for that room and see if there's any issue. In the meantime, would you like a complimentary welcome basket? Delivered to your room? 
That's very thoughtful. Yes, I would appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll make a note of it. Regarding the WI fee, I'll contact our technical support team right away to resolve the connectivity issue. They'll be able to assist you shortly. Thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate your prompt attention to these matters. It's my pleasure. We strive to ensure our guests have a comfortable stay. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. Being locked out of the fire exit. Oh no, the fire exit is locked. We can't get out this way. What do we do? Stay calm. Let's try to find an alternative route. Is there another exit nearby that we can use? I'm not sure. Let's check the floor plan. According to the map, there should be another exit on the opposite side of the building. We'll have to make our way there. All right, let's hurry and head towards that exit. We shouldn't waste any time. Remember to stay cautious and follow any emergency protocols we come across. Agreed. Safety is our top priority. We need to alert someone about the locked fire exit too. Let's find a staff member or security personnel on our way and inform them about the situation. That's a good idea. They should be able to take immediate action to unlock the fire exit and ensure it doesn't happen again. Let's keep an eye out for any staff members as we make our way to the alternate exit. Absolutely. Hopefully, we can resolve this quickly and ensure the safety of everyone in the building. Let's stay focused and move swiftly towards the other exit. Transfer service. Hi there. I'm wondering if there's a transfer service available to get me from the airport to the hotel. Absolutely. We provide a transfer service for our guests. When is your flight arriving? And which airport will you be landing at? My flight is scheduled to arrive at 6.30 p.m. at the International Airport. Perfect. We can arrange a pickup for you. Would you prefer a private car or a shared shuttle? I think a private car would be more convenient for me. Noted. I'll arrange a private car to be waiting for you at the airport when you arrive. Can you please provide me with your flight details, including the airline and flight number? Sure, it's flight ABC 123 with XYZ Airlines. Thank you. I'll make sure the driver is aware of your arrival time and flight details. Once you collect your luggage, the driver will meet you at the designated meeting point. Do you have any other questions or requirements? No, that sounds perfect. Thank you for organizing the transfer service. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to assist you. Have a safe flight, and we look forward to welcoming you at the airport. If you need any further assistance, feel free to let us know. Message service. I just received an important message, but I won't be able to respond right away. Do you mind helping me with a message service? Of course. I'd be happy to assist. What do you need me to do? Thank you so much. Can you please send a reply to this message and let them know that I'm currently unavailable, but I'll get back to them as soon as possible? Absolutely. Could you provide me? with the details of the message, so I can draft an appropriate response. Certainly. The message is from John Doe, and he's inquiring about the upcoming meeting. Please let him know that I'm unable to respond immediately due to prior commitments, but I'll provide a detailed response.
by the end of the day. Noted. I'll send the message on your behalf, assuring John that you'll get back to him by the end of the day. Is there anything else you'd like me to include? That should cover it. Thank you for handling this for me. I appreciate your assistance. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. I'll make sure to convey the message accurately. Just let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way in to be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose if it's a motion shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Just let it go. I can't believe he said that about me. It's been bothering me all day. I understand, but holding on to it won't do you any good. Sometimes, it's best to just let it go. I know, but his words were so hurtful. I can't shake off the feeling. It's natural to feel hurt, but carrying that negative energy only affects you in the long run. You're right. I don't want to give him that power over my emotions. Exactly. Don't let someone else's negativity define your mood and outlook. I'll try. It's just easier said than done sometimes. I know it's not easy, but it's worth the effort. Focus on the positive aspects of your day and the people who appreciate you. You're always good at putting things into perspective. We all need a little reminder now and then. Remember, dwelling on this will only drain your energy. I appreciate your advice. I work on letting it go and moving forward. That's the spirit. And if you ever need to vent or talk, I'm here to listen. Thanks. It means a lot to have someone who understands and supports me. Anytime. Let's focus on the good vibes and positive energy from now on. Agreed. Thanks for being a friend I can count on. No problem. Now take a deep breath and let it all go. You've got this. It's okay. I'm really sorry about messing up the presentation. I should have been more prepared. Hey, it's okay. We all have off days. Plus, the team understands that things don't always go perfectly. I just feel like I let everyone down. 
especially with such an important client present. I get it, but dwelling on it won't change what happened. What matters is how we move forward. You're right. I'll work on improving and making it up next time. That's the spirit. Learn from this experience and use it to grow. Thanks for being understanding. I was really beating myself up over this. No need to be so hard on yourself. Mistakes happen, and it's all a part of the learning process. I appreciate your support. It's nice to have someone who doesn't make me feel even worse. We're a team, and we're in this together. Encouraging each other is how we thrive. You're absolutely right. Thanks again. I'll remember to keep a positive perspective. That's the way to go. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes as long as we learn from them. Thanks for being patient with me. I'm lucky to have you as a colleague. Likewise. Now, let's focus on the future and the opportunities to do better. Agreed. It's okay to stumble sometimes as long as we keep moving forward. Making requests. Hey, do you have a moment? I need a little help with something. Of course. What do you need help with? I'm throwing a small get-together this weekend, and I was wondering if you could lend me your portable speakers. Sure. I'd be happy to help. The speakers are in the closet near the entrance. Just make sure to handle them with care. Thanks a lot. You're a lifesaver. And, uh, do you think you could also help me set up a playlist? You have great taste in music. I'd be honored to assist with the playlist. I can send you some suggestions by tomorrow. Any specific vibe you're going for. Something upbeat and energetic, but not too overwhelming. People should be able to chat comfortably without shouting. Got it. I'll curate a playlist that fits the vibe. Should I consider any specific genres? A mix of pop, some indie tracks, and maybe a few classics. That should cater to everyone's tastes. Sounds like a plan. I'll get on it and send the playlist your way. Anything else you need help with? That should cover it for now. Thanks again, you're a real friend. Making offers. Hey, I heard you're looking for some help moving into your new apartment. Yeah, it's been a bit overwhelming. So much stuff to pack and move. Well, how about I lend you a hand this weekend? I'm free, and it would be great to catch up while helping out. Seriously? That would be amazing. You're a lifesaver. It's no problem at all. Just let me know what time works best for you, and I'll be there with some boxes and extra hands. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Of course, happy to help. And you know what? I have a spare air mattress. You're welcome to borrow it for a few days until you get your furniture set up. Wow, that's incredibly kind of you. Are you sure? Absolutely. It's just collecting dust in my closet. So why not put it to good use? I'll bring it along when I come to help with the move. You're the best. I can't thank you enough for all this. Don't mention it. Friends are here to support each other, right? Just shoot me a message with the details, and we'll make this move a breeze. Managing conflicts between siblings.
I can't believe they're at it again. Our kids just can't seem to stop fighting. Tell me about it. It feels like they're always at each other's throats. I don't know how to manage these conflicts anymore. I've tried talking to them individually, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. They just can't seem to get along. Maybe we should try setting some ground rules for them. Like, no name calling or hitting. We need to establish boundaries. That's a good idea. We should sit them down and have a family meeting to discuss these rules. They need to understand that their behavior is affecting the entire family. And we should also encourage them to express their feelings in a healthy way. Maybe they're acting out because they don't know how to communicate their frustrations. You're right. We need to teach them better conflict resolution skills. Maybe we could even find some resources or books that can help us guide them. That's a great plan. We need to show them that resolving conflicts peacefully is important and that their relationship as siblings is valuable. Let's make a commitment to work on this together. We owe it to our kids to create a peaceful and loving environment at home. Absolutely. With patience, understanding, and consistent effort, we can help them learn to manage conflicts and strengthen their bond as siblings. Covering for someone. Hey, I heard you're covering for Sarah today. How's it going? It's been quite hectic, to be honest. Sarah's workload is no joke. I can imagine. She always has so much on her plate. Is there anything I can do to help? Actually, there is something. Could you take care of her meeting with the client at 2 p.m.? I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. Of course, I'll be glad to assist. Could you brief me on the key points I should discuss with the client? Sure thing. I'll provide you with a summary of the project and the main objectives we've discussed so far. You can also refer to the client's file for additional details. That sounds good. I'll review the information and make sure to handle the meeting smoothly. Don't worry, I've got your back. Thanks a million. I truly appreciate your help. Let's sync up later to discuss any updates or questions that might come up. Absolutely. We'll touch base before the meeting to finalize our approach. Together, we'll make sure everything runs seamlessly. Family Life Good morning, everyone. Breakfast is ready. Please come to the table. Good morning, Mom and Dad. We're coming. How did you sleep last night? I slept well, thanks. I had a dream about going to the beach. That sounds like a fun dream. Maybe we can plan a beach trip soon. I had a hard time falling asleep, but once I did, I slept okay. Is there anything on your mind that you want to talk about, sweetie? Well, I've been feeling a little stressed about school lately. The workload is piling up. We understand, and we're here to support you. Let's discuss a plan to manage your time better and reduce stress. We can also reach out to your teachers for any extra help you might need. I'm excited about the family picnic this weekend. Can we go to the park afterward? That sounds like a great idea. We can enjoy some outdoor activities together. Let's make a list of games and snacks to bring. Yay! We can't wait. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You're welcome, my darlings. Now let's have a delicious breakfast and start our day off right. Strength and Embrace, Sharing Emotional Support
Hey, my sweet boy. How are you feeling today? Hi, Mom. I've been feeling a bit down lately. School has been overwhelming, and I've been dealing with some personal challenges. I'm here for you, my love. It's normal to have you peers and downs, and I want you to know that you're not alone. You can always lean on me for support. Thank you, Mom. It means a lot to hear that. I've been struggling with self-doubt and feeling like I'm not good enough. Oh, sweetheart, I can assure you that you are more than enough. You have unique strengths and qualities that make you special. Remember, everyone has moments of self-doubt, but it doesn't define your worth. It's just hard sometimes, Mom. I compare myself to others and feel like I don't measure up. It's natural to compare ourselves, but it's essential to focus on your own journey and progress. You have your own path to follow, and your growth is personal and unique. I believe in you, and I'm proud of who you are. Thank you for always being there, Mom. Your words give me strength. I'll always be your biggest supporter, my dear. Whenever you need to talk or simply have a shoulder to lean on, I'm here for you. You're never alone in this journey of life. I'm grateful to have you as my mom. Your love and support make a world of difference. The bond between a mother and child is unbreakable, my love. We'll face the challenges together, celebrate the victories, and embrace each other through it all. You are loved, cherished, and valued. I love you, mom. Thank you for being my rock. I love you too, my precious one. Our love will always provide you with the strength and resilience to face any storm that comes your way. Hi there, I'm John. It's great to meet you. Tell me about yourself. Hello. Nice to meet you too. I'm Lily. I have a background in marketing and currently work as a brand strategist for a digital marketing agency. I love helping businesses develop their brand identities and create impactful marketing campaigns. Outside of work, I'm passionate about volunteering for local community organizations and engaging in social causes that make a positive impact. That's impressive. What motivated you to get involved in volunteering and social causes? Thank you. I've always believed in the power of giving back and making a difference in the community. Volunteering allows me to contribute my skills and time to causes I care about. It's incredibly fulfilling to see the positive impact we can make when we come together as a community. That's truly inspiring. What other interests or hobbies do you have? Apart from work and volunteering, I'm an avid reader and love exploring different genres of literature. Reading provides me with new perspectives and expands my knowledge. I also enjoy practicing yoga and meditation to maintain a healthy mind and body balance. That's wonderful. Your dedication to both professional and personal growth is admirable. It's been great getting to know you. Let's exchange contact information and stay connected. I believe there could be some exciting opportunities for collaboration in the future. Thank you. I feel the same way. Let's definitely stay in touch and explore potential collaborations. It's been a pleasure meeting you at this networking event. Here's my business card. Looking forward to connecting further. Likewise, thank you for sharing about yourself. Let's continue making valuable connections and enjoy the rest of the event. Talking about travel experiences. Hey there. I couldn't help but notice your backpack. Are you a fellow traveler? Yes, I am. I love exploring new places. I'm Jane, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Jane. I'm Mark. 
So, what's the most memorable travel experience you've had so far? Oh, there are so many, but one that stands out is when I hiked through the Himalayas in Nepal. The stunning landscapes and the warmth of the local people left a lasting impression on me. How about you, Mark? That sounds incredible, Jane. As for me, I had an amazing time backpacking through Southeast Asia. The vibrant cultures, delicious food, and beautiful beaches made it a truly unforgettable journey. That sounds like a dream. I've always wanted to explore Southeast Asia. Any specific places you recommend? Absolutely. Thailand is a must visit, especially the bustling city of Bangkok and the stunning beaches of Phuket. Vietnam and Cambodia are also worth exploring for their rich history and breathtaking scenery. I'll definitely add them to my bucket list. Thanks for the recommendations, Mark. It's great to meet someone who shares a passion for travel. Likewise, Jane. It's always inspiring to connect with fellow travelers. If you ever need more travel tips or recommendations, feel free to ask. Safe travels and enjoy your future adventures. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. I wish you incredible journeys as well. Stay in touch and happy travels. Could I have a glass of water, please? Hello, how can I help you? Could I have a glass of water, please? Certainly. I'll bring that right over for you. Here's a refreshing glass of chilled water. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Actually, I'm ready to order. I'll have the chicken alfredo pasta, please. Excellent choice. Our chicken alfredo pasta is a customer favorite. Would you like any bread or salad on the side? I'll have a side of garlic bread, please and a Caesar salad as well, if that's possible. Absolutely. The garlic bread and Caesar salad will make a wonderful addition to your meal. Is there anything to drink besides the water? I'll have a glass of iced tea, please. Noted. One glass of iced tea coming right up. Your order will be ready shortly. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's everything. Thank you. You're welcome. Your order will be prepared with care. Enjoy your meal and let me know if you need anything else. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. Where would you go? Hey, if you had the opportunity to travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? That's a tough question. There are so many amazing places I'd love to explore. But if I had to choose one, I think I would go to the beautiful country of Iceland. Iceland sounds like a fantastic choice. What specifically attracts you to that destination? The stunning landscapes of Iceland, with its volcanoes, glaciers, and hot springs, have always fascinated me. I love to witness the northern lights and take a dip in the famous Blue Lagoon. That sounds like an incredible adventure. Any particular activities or sights you'd want to experience while in Iceland? I definitely want to go hiking in the breathtaking Ursmork Valley and explore the unique ice caves. Also, a road trip along the Ring Road, visiting the waterfalls, black sand beaches, and geothermal areas would be a dream come true. I can imagine the amazing photo opportunities. Is there any other destination on your travel wish list? Absolutely. I have a long list, but one place that stands out is the ancient city of Petra in Jordan. The intricately carved rock architecture and the history behind it is truly fascinating. Petra is on my list too. It must be an incredible sight to behold. Well, I hope you get to visit Iceland and Petra soon. Thank you. The world is full of wonders, and I hope we both get to explore these amazing destinations someday.
Hey, I don't think we've met before. I'm Anna. Tell me about yourself. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Peter. I work as a graphic designer for a creative agency. I've always had a passion for art and design. So it's amazing to have a career that allows me to express my creativity. Besides work, I love traveling and exploring different cultures. I find it incredibly inspiring to see the world through a new lens. That's fascinating. What's the most memorable place you've traveled to? It's hard to pick just one, but I'd say my trip to Japan was unforgettable. The vibrant culture, beautiful landscapes, and delicious cuisine made it an incredible experience. I was particularly fascinated by the attention to detail in Japanese design and architecture. Japan sounds amazing. I've always wanted to visit. What other hobbies or interests do you have? I love capturing moments and preserving memories. It allows me to combine my love for art and storytelling. I also enjoy hiking and being in nature. It's a great way to disconnect from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and find inner peace. That's wonderful. Your passion for art, travel, and photography is inspiring. It's been great getting to know you. Let's enjoy the rest of the party and maybe exchange some travel stories later. Thank you. I've enjoyed our conversation too. Let's definitely catch up later and share some travel tales. Cheers to a fun-filled evening. Making introductions. Hi there. I don't believe we've met before. My name is Sarah. What's your name? Hello, Sarah. Nice to meet you. I'm John. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Likewise, John. So, what brings you here today? I'm actually attending this conference on artificial intelligence. It's been quite interesting so far. What about you? Oh, that sounds fascinating. I'm here for the same conference. I've always been intrigued by AI and its potential applications. I'm excited to learn more. That's great to hear. It's always refreshing to meet others who share similar interests. Have you been to any other conferences like this before? Yes, I've attended a few in the past. They've always been enriching experiences, providing valuable insights and networking opportunities. How about you? This is my first time attending a conference on AI. I'm hoping to expand my knowledge and connect with professionals in the field. Any recommendations on which sessions to attend? Absolutely. There's a panel discussion on ethical considerations in AI scheduled for later today. It's definitely worth checking out. I can give you more details if you're interested. That sounds like an important topic. I'd appreciate any information you can share. Thanks for the suggestion, Sarah. You're welcome, John. I'll be happy to fill you in on the details. It's been a pleasure meeting you, and I look forward to the conference discussions. Likewise, Sarah. Thank you for your kindness. Let's keep in touch throughout the conference and exchange insights. Enjoy the rest of your day. Absolutely, John. Let's definitely stay connected. Enjoy the conference as well, and have a wonderful day. Do you have any allergies I should be aware of? Hello, how can I help you? Do you have any allergies I should be aware of? Absolutely. We take allergies seriously to ensure a safe dining experience. Could you please let me know? If you have any specific allergies or dietary restrictions. I'm allergic to peanuts and tree nuts. Thank you for letting me know. We have strict protocols in place to avoid cross-contamination. 
Our kitchen staff is well trained to handle allergies. Is there anything else I should be aware of? No, peanuts and tree nuts are the only allergies I have. Noted. Rest assured that we will take every precaution to accommodate your needs. If you have any questions about the menu or specific dishes, please don't hesitate to ask. That's reassuring. Thank you for your attention to detail. You're welcome. It's our pleasure to provide a safe dining experience for all our guests. If you need any assistance in choosing your meal or have any special requests, please feel free to ask. We want to ensure your dining experience is enjoyable and worry-free. I appreciate that. I'll take a moment to look over the menu and let you know if I have any questions. Take your time. I'll be here to assist you. Just let me know when you're ready. Thank you for your help. It's my pleasure. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here to assist you. Have you ever traveled solo? Hey, have you ever traveled solo? Yes, I have. In fact, I highly recommend it. There's something liberating about exploring new places on your own terms. That's interesting. What made you decide to travel solo? I wanted to challenge myself and step out of my comfort zone. Traveling solo allows for self-discovery, independence, and the freedom to create your own itinerary. Were there any specific destinations that you enjoyed traveling solo to? Definitely. One of my favorite solo trips was to Thailand. The warm hospitality of the locals, the stunning beaches, and the vibrant street markets made it a perfect destination for solo exploration. Did you face any challenges while traveling alone? There were a few challenges, like language barriers and occasional moments of loneliness. However, those challenges were also opportunities to grow and connect with people in unexpected ways. That's inspiring. Do you have any tips for someone considering traveling solo for the first time? Absolutely. Research your destination, stay informed about safety precautions, and trust your instincts. Also, be open to meeting new people and immersing yourself in the local culture. Those are great tips. I might consider traveling solo myself. Any other memorable experiences from your solo adventures? Oh, plenty. From hiking to breathtaking viewpoints to discovering hidden gems off the beaten path, every moment was filled with a sense of freedom and self-discovery. It sounds like an incredible journey. Thanks for sharing your experiences. Solo travel definitely seems like an enriching experience. You're welcome. It truly is. Whether it's a short getaway or a longer trip, solo travel has the potential to be transformative. Meeting. Good afternoon, everyone. Before we dive into today's meeting, let's take a moment to introduce ourselves. Let's start with you. Please tell us a bit about yourself. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Lisa Anderson, and I recently joined the company as a project manager. I have over eight years of experience in the industry, managing complex software development projects. Prior to joining this company, I worked for a multinational corporation, where I successfully led cross-functional teams and delivered projects within strict deadlines. Welcome aboard, Lisa. It's great to have your expertise on our team. Could you share any particular strengths or skills that you bring to the table? Certainly. One of my key strengths is my ability to effectively communicate and collaborate with team members, stakeholders, and clients. I believe clear communication is crucial for project success. I'm also skilled in project planning, risk management, and problem solving which help me ensure projects are delivered on time and within budget. Impressive. Lisa, how do you see yourself contributing to our current project? Thank you. 
I'm excited to contribute my project management skills and experience to this project. I'll focus on establishing clear goals, fostering collaboration among team members, and managing the project timeline and resources effectively. My goal is to ensure a smooth project execution and successful delivery that meets our clients' expectations. That sounds excellent, Lisa. We appreciate your dedication and expertise. Thank you for sharing about yourself. Let's continue with the meeting agenda and discuss the next steps. Thank you. I'm excited to work with all of you and contribute to the project's success. Let's make it a productive meeting. Resolving a conflict. I think we need to address the issue that came up during our last meeting. There seems to be a miscommunication and it's causing tension between us. I want to find a resolution and move forward positively. I'm glad you brought it up. I've been feeling the same way, and I agree that resolving this conflict is essential for a working relationship. Can you please share your perspective on what went wrong so we can better understand each other's viewpoints? From my understanding, I felt that my input wasn't given enough consideration, and it seemed like my ideas were being dismissed. It made me feel undervalued and frustrated. I apologize if it came across that way. That was not my intention at all. I can see now how my responses may have been perceived as dismissive. I truly value your contributions, and I want to ensure that your ideas are given the attention they deserve. Thank you for acknowledging that. It means a lot to me. Moving forward, I believe open and respectful communication is crucial. It would be helpful if we actively listen to each other's ideas provide constructive feedback and find common ground when we have differing opinions. Are there any vegetarian or vegan options? Hello? How can I help you? Are there any vegetarian or vegan options? Absolutely. We have a variety of dishes that cater to vegetarian and vegan preferences. Our menu is designed to accommodate different dietary needs. That's great to hear. Could you recommend a few options? Certainly. For vegetarian options, we have a flavorful vegetable stir-fry with tofu a delicious spinach and feta stuffed portobello mushroom, and a vibrant Mediterranean quinoa salad. As for vegan options, we offer a mouthwatering chickpea curry, a hearty vegan burger with sweet potato fries, and a refreshing avocado and kale salad. Those all sound fantastic. I think I'll go with the spinach and feta stuffed portobello mushroom. Excellent choice. Our stuffed mushroom is a savory delight. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Could I also get a side of steamed vegetables with my dish, please? Of course. Steamed vegetables will be a perfect complement. Is there anything to drink? I'll have a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice, please. Certainly. One glass of orange juice coming right up. Your order will be ready shortly. Enjoy your meal. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to it. Language Barriers I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed with the language barrier here. It's hard to communicate with the locals. I understand. It can be challenging, but let's not let it discourage us. We'll find a way to navigate through this. I wish I had learned a few basic phrases before coming here. It's frustrating not being able to ask for directions or order food properly. 
Don't worry, we'll figure it out. Let's use gestures, simple English, and maybe even rely on translation apps to get our messages across. That's a good idea. We'll have to be patient and open-minded as we try to bridge the language gap. I don't want it to hinder our experiences. Absolutely. Let's embrace the challenge as an opportunity to learn and connect with people in different ways. We might even discover some creative communication methods along the way. You're right. I shouldn't let this language barrier dampen my spirits. I'll make an effort to be more proactive and resourceful. That's the spirit. We're here to explore and immerse ourselves in a new culture. Language barriers are a part of the adventure. We'll find joy in the small victories of understanding and being understood. Thank you for the encouragement. I feel more determined now. Let's go out there and embrace this opportunity to learn, communicate, and create unforgettable memories. Absolutely. We'll face the language barrier head on and make the most of our journey. It's all part of the adventure. Together, we can overcome any communication challenge that comes our way. I can't find my luggage anywhere. I think it's lost. Oh no, that's terrible. Did you check the baggage claim area thoroughly? Sometimes it gets misplaced and ends up in a different section. Yes, I looked everywhere, but it's nowhere to be found. I'm really worried because all my essentials were in there. Don't panic just yet. Let's go to the airline's customer service counter and report the lost luggage. They might be able to track it down or provide us with some information. I hope they can help us. It's frustrating because I had all my clothes, toiletries, and important documents in that suitcase. I understand your frustration. Let's stay positive and provide them with all the necessary. Details. They may ask for the baggage tags and descriptions of the suitcase to assist in the search. You're right. I'll do my best to provide accurate information. I just hope they can locate it soon so that it doesn't ruin our trip. We'll do everything we can to resolve this situation. In the meantime, let's think about the essentials we'll need immediately. We can purchase some toiletries and clothes to get us through the first day or two. That's a good idea. At least we won't be completely stranded without anything. I appreciate your support during this stressful time. Of course. We're in this together and we'll figure it out. Let's stay positive and hope for the best. We'll make the most of our trip, regardless of the setback. Thank you. Your positivity is really reassuring. Let's go report the lost luggage and start our adventure with optimism. Family Life Good morning, everyone. Breakfast is ready. Please come to the table. Good morning, Mom and Dad. We're coming. How did you sleep last night? I slept well, thanks. I had a dream about going to the beach. That sounds like a fun dream. Maybe we can plan a beach trip soon. I had a hard time falling asleep, but once I did, I slept okay. Is there anything on your mind that you want to talk about, sweetie? Well, I've been feeling a little stressed about school lately. The workload is piling up. We understand, and we're here to support you. Let's discuss a plan to manage your time better and reduce stress. We can also reach out to your teachers for any extra help you might need. I'm excited about the family picnic this weekend. Can we go to the park afterward? That sounds like a great idea. We can enjoy some outdoor activities together. Let's make a list of games and snacks to bring. Yay! We can't wait. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You're welcome, my darlings. Now let's have a delicious breakfast and start our day off right. Dating
Hi there. It's nice to meet you. So, tell me about yourself. Hi. Nice to meet you too. Well, my name is Mark. I work as a software engineer at a tech company. I've always been passionate about technology and coding, so it's great to have a career that aligns with my interests. Besides work, I enjoy playing the guitar and exploring new hiking trails during my free time. That's fascinating, Mark. How did you get into playing the guitar? Thanks. Well, I've been playing the guitar since I was a teenager. It started as a hobby, and over the years, I've developed a real love for music. I find playing the guitar to be a great way to relax and express myself creatively. That's wonderful. Music is a beautiful form of self-expression. Tell me, what other interests or hobbies do you have? Besides work and music, I'm also into photography. I find capturing moments and creating visual stories to be incredibly fulfilling. I enjoy exploring different styles and experimenting with different subjects, from landscapes to portraits. That sounds amazing, Mark. So, what sparked your interest in photography? Well, it actually started when I traveled to some breathtaking destinations. I wanted to capture the beauty and share it with others. It quickly became a passion, and I've been honing my skills ever since. It's truly inspiring to see your enthusiasm for music and photography. Thanks for sharing, Mark. I'm excited to get to know you better. Thank you. I'm looking forward to getting to know you too. Let's continue exploring each other's interests and see where this journey takes us. I'll have a salad, please. Hello, how can I help you? I'll have a salad, please. Absolutely. We have a variety of salads to choose from. Are you looking for something specific? Like a Caesar salad or a mixed green salad? I'm in the mood for something light and refreshing. What do you recommend? Our house specialty is the Mediterranean salad. It's a delightful combination of crisp lettuce, juicy tomatoes, cucumbers, olives, feta cheese, and a tangy lemon vinaigrette. It's a perfect choice for a light and flavorful meal. That sounds delicious. I'll go with the Mediterranean salad. Great choice. Would you like to add any protein to your salad? S. X is grilled chicken or shrimp. Yes, I'll have some grilled chicken on top, please. Noted. And would you like any bread or dressing on the side? I'll have a side of warm garlic bread, please. And for the dressing, I'll go with the balsamic vinaigrette. Excellent. I'll make sure your salad is prepared just the way you like it. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Your order will be ready shortly. Enjoy your salad. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, so I'll get my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose if it's a moose and shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Are you passionate about cooking? 
Ready to turn your culinary adventures into a fun-filled English learning journey? Welcome to Do You Like Cooking, where we blend the art of cooking with the magic of mastering English. Ready to embark on a mouth-watering journey where cooking and English go hand in hand? Hit that subscribe button, join our culinary classroom, and savor the flavors of English like never before. Stay tuned for our first scrumptious episode. Hello, guys. Welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Recipe selection. Hey, I'm in the mood for something new and exciting for dinner tonight. Any ideas on what we should cook? How about trying a Mediterranean-inspired dish? I've got a great recipe for stuffed bell peppers with couscous and feta cheese. It's both delicious and healthy. That sounds intriguing. I've never made stuffed peppers before. What do we need for it? It's pretty simple. We'll need bell peppers, couscous. Feta cheese, tomatoes, onions, and some fresh herbs like parsley and mint. Oh, and don't forget the garlic for that extra flavor kick. Perfect. I think we have most of those ingredients in the kitchen. What's the process like? Well, we'll start by cooking the couscous and mixing it with the diced tomatoes, onions, feta cheese, and herbs. Then we'll stuff the peppers with this mixture. And bake them until they're tender, and the cheese is all melty and golden. Yum! I can already imagine the flavors. Let's do it. Do you have the recipe handy? Absolutely. I'll grab it, and we can get started. It's going to be a delicious dinner tonight. Grocery shopping. Running low on groceries, I think it's time for a shopping trip. Any ideas for what we should get? How about trying some new recipes this week? I saw a recipe for Thai curry that looked amazing. We could grab some coconut milk, curry paste, and fresh vegetables. That sounds delicious. We can also pick up some chicken or tofu for protein. What else should we add to our shopping list? Well, we're almost out of staples like rice, pasta, and olive oil. Don't forget to add those, and we could use some more spices like cumin and coriander for the curry. Good call. I'll also add some fresh herbs like cilantro and basil for garnish. Anything else? How about some snacks for in between meals? Maybe some hummus and veggies or a bag of mixed nuts. Great idea. And don't forget we're out of coffee too. Can't start the day without it. Of course, coffee is a must. Let's make a list and head to the store. It's going to be a tasty week ahead with all these ingredients. Agreed. I can't wait to try that Thai curry recipe. Food preparation. It's dinner time already, and I'm starving. What should we make tonight? How about whipping up a quick and healthy stir fry? We've got some chicken in the fridge, plenty of veggies, and a bottle of stir fry sauce. Sounds good to me. Let's get started. Should I start chopping the veggies? 
Yep, grab the bell peppers, broccoli, and carrots. I'll slice the chicken into thin strips while you prep those. Got it. Should we marinate the chicken with anything before stir-frying? A simple marinade of soy sauce, ginger, and garlic would be perfect. It'll add some extra flavor. Done. Chicken's marinating now. How hot should the pan be for the stir-fry? We want it hot but not smoking. Heat it up, add a little oil, and then toss in the chicken first. Cook it until it's no longer pink. Chicken's looking good. Should we add the veggies now? Yes, add the veggies and stir-fry for a few minutes until they're tender but still crisp. Then, pour in the sauce, stir, and let it simmer for a couple of minutes. This smells amazing. I can't wait to dig in. It's almost ready. Let's serve it over some steamed rice. Dinner is served. Thanks for the quick and delicious idea. This stir-fry hits the spot. Equipment gathering. I've got a great recipe in mind for tonight's dinner, but I think we need to gather some equipment first. Sounds exciting. What do we need? Well, it's a pasta dish, so we definitely need a large pot for boiling the pasta. Do we have one handy? Yes, we do. It's in the cupboard under the stove. What else? We'll also need a colander for draining the pasta. I remember ours is in the bottom drawer by the sink. Got it. Anything else on the list? We'll need a good-sized skillet for sauteing the vegetables and making the sauce. I believe it's in the cabinet next to the fridge. Perfect. And don't forget a cutting board and a sharp knife for chopping those veggies. They should be in the drawer to the left of the sink. Excellent. I think that should cover it. Let's get all these together and we'll be all set to start cooking. Agreed. I can't wait to try this new recipe. It's going to be delicious. It sure is. Let's get everything ready and we'll be enjoying a fantastic meal in no time. Baby Party Wow, what a lovely baby party. The decorations and atmosphere are absolutely adorable. Thank you so much. We wanted to celebrate this special moment in our little one's life with our closest friends and family. It's such a joyous occasion. Your baby is absolutely precious. How does it feel to be a parent? It's an indescribable feeling of love and fulfillment. Our hearts are overflowing with happiness since our little bundle of joy arrived. I can see the happiness radiating from both of you. Parenthood suits you well. How has the journey been so far? It's been a roller coaster ride of emotions and learning experiences, sleepless nights, and endless diaper changes. But every moment is worth it when we see our baby smile. Parenthood definitely comes with its challenges, but the rewards are immeasurable. You're doing an amazing job. Congratulations once again. Thank you for your kind words and for joining us in this celebration. We're grateful to have friends like you to share this special moment with. It's an honor to be part of your baby's journey. Wishing you all a lifetime of love, laughter, and beautiful memories. Cheers to your growing family. Missing Connecting Flights Hey, I heard you missed your connecting flight. That must have been quite stressful. What happened? It was a nightmare. My first flight got delayed due to bad weather, and by the time I arrived at the connecting airport, my next flight had already departed. I was left stranded and had no idea what to do. 
That's really unfortunate. Did you approach the airline staff for assistance? I did, but they couldn't get me on another flight until the next day. They provided a hotel voucher, but I was stuck at the airport for hours before that. It's frustrating when factors beyond our control cause us to miss connecting flights. Did you manage to contact anyone to inform them about the delay? Yes, I called my family and the people I was supposed to meet at my destination. They were understanding, but it was still disappointing to miss out on planned activities. It's understandable. Sometimes unexpected circumstances disrupt our travel plans. The most important thing is to focus on finding a solution and making the best of the situation. I'm trying to stay positive. I utilize the extra time to explore the airport, catch up on work, and relax as much as possible. That's a good approach. Making the most of the situation can help alleviate some of the frustration. Hopefully, the next day's flight went smoothly. Fortunately, the next day's flight went as scheduled, and I reached my destination without any further issues. It was a relief to finally get there. I'm glad to hear that. Despite the setback, you managed to overcome it and continue your journey. It's a testament to your resilience. Thank you for your support. It was definitely a challenging experience, but it taught me the importance of building an extra buffer time when planning connecting flights. Absolutely. Planning for potential delays can help minimize the stress and inconvenience if such situations arise in the future. Safe travels on your return journey. Changing travel restrictions. Hey, have you heard about the changing travel restrictions lately? It's becoming quite confusing to keep up with the updates. Tell me about it. It feels like every week there's a new set of rules and regulations to follow. It's making travel planning and decision making a real challenge. I completely understand. It's frustrating when you're not sure if your destination will suddenly impose stricter restrictions or require additional documentation. Exactly. I had to cancel a trip recently because the destination I planned to visit suddenly implemented quarantine measures that would have significantly impacted my plans. That's unfortunate. It's hard to predict how things will evolve, especially with the ongoing pandemic. Staying informed and monitoring official travel advisories can help, but even then things can change rapidly. It's a constant juggling act. I'm trying to be flexible with my travel plans and have backup options in case things don't work out as initially intended. That's a wise approach. It's important to have alternative destinations or dates in mind, just in case the situation shifts unexpectedly. Definitely. I'm also keeping an eye on the vaccination requirements and any testing protocols that might be in place. It's better to be prepared and have all the necessary documentation. Absolutely. Being well prepared and adaptable is key in navigating these changing travel restrictions. Hopefully, things will stabilize soon and we can travel with more certainty. Let's hope so. In the meantime, let's stay informed, stay patient, and keep our travel plans as flexible as possible. I'll be right back. Hey, do you have a minute to talk about the new project? Sure, what's up? I just wanted to get your thoughts on the design proposal before we submit it. Oh, okay. Let me take a look. Great, I'll pull it up. What do you think about the color scheme? Hmm, I'm not sure. Can you give me a second to think? Yeah, take your time. Actually, I need to step out for a moment. Can we continue this in a few minutes? Oh, sure. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just need to take care of something really quick. I'll be right back.
Okay, no problem. I'll wait for you here. Thanks. I won't be long. Hotel safety. Good evening. I have some concerns about hotel safety and security. Can you provide me with some information regarding the safety measures in place? Certainly, I understand your concern. Safety is our top priority here. We have several measures in place to ensure the security of our guests. Could you please let me know specific areas you would like information about? I would like to know about the security measures in the hotel premises such as surveillance, access control, and emergency procedures. We have a comprehensive CCTV system in place covering all public areas and entrances. Our security personnel are also present 24-7 to monitor the premises and assist guests. Regarding access control, all entry points are secured with electronic keycards, and only registered guests can access guest floors. As for emergencies, we have a well-defined evacuation plan, clearly marked emergency exits, and smoke detectors in all rooms and common areas. That's reassuring to hear. What about fire safety precautions? Fire safety is of utmost importance to us. We have fire alarms, sprinkler systems, and fire extinguishers strategically placed throughout the hotel. In case of an emergency, we conduct regular fire drills to ensure staff and guest preparedness. That's great to know. Are there any additional safety tips you could provide to guests? Absolutely. We advise guests to keep their room doors locked and to use the in-room safe for valuable belongings. It's also essential to report any suspicious activity or concerns to our staff immediately. We have trained personnel who are ready to assist in any situation. Thank you for providing such detailed information. It gives me peace of mind knowing that safety is a priority here. You're most welcome. We strive to provide a safe and secure environment for all our guests. If you have any further questions or need assistance during your stay, please don't hesitate to contact us. What a long day. I'm ready to unwind and watch some TV. Any recommendations for a good show or movie? I've got a few suggestions, depending on what you're in the mood for. If you're up for some suspense and drama, I highly recommend Mint Hunter or Breaking Bad. Both series are incredibly gripping and well written. Oh, I've heard great things about both of those shows. I might give them a try. Anything lighter or more comedic? Absolutely. If you're looking for a good laugh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is a fantastic sitcom. The characters are hilarious and the writing is top-notch. Another option is Parks and Recreation. It's a feel-good comedy with a fantastic ensemble cast. Those sound like just what I need right now. Thanks for the suggestions. By the way, do you have any favorite streaming platforms? Personally, I enjoy Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. They have a wide range of shows and movies to choose from, including some great original content. But it ultimately depends on your preferences and what streaming services you have access to. I have subscriptions to both of those, so I'm all set. Thanks for the advice. Finding the right apartment.
Hey, I've been searching for a new apartment, and I could use some advice. How did you find the right place when you were apartment hunting? Sure, happy to help. When I was looking for an apartment, I started by making a list of my must-haves and deal breakers. It helped me stay focused during my search. What are your priorities? Well, I need a pet-friendly place with a washer dryer in the unit. I also prefer a quiet neighborhood with good public transportation access. Budget-wise, I'm looking for something within a certain range. Those are great starting points. I recommend checking online listings and reaching out to real estate agents. Also, consider driving or walking around neighborhoods you like to see if there are any for rent, signs. It can be helpful to visit potential apartments in person to get a feel for the place and the surrounding area. That makes sense. I'll definitely take those steps. Did you come across any challenges during your search? Definitely. It's important to be patient and persistent. Some apartments might not meet all your criteria, but don't settle for something that doesn't feel right. Keep searching, and I'm sure you'll find the perfect place that fits your needs and feels like home. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully, I'll find my dream apartment soon. You're welcome. Best of luck with your search. I'm sure you'll find an amazing apartment that checks all your boxes. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any more help along the way. Learning new customs. I'm really excited about my upcoming trip to Japan, but I'm a bit nervous about unfamiliar customs. Do you have any tips for learning and adapting to new customs? Absolutely. Learning new customs can be both challenging and rewarding. One key tip is to do some research before your trip. Read about the local customs, traditions, and etiquette in Japan. Understanding basic greetings, table manners, and gift-giving practices can go a long way in showing respect. That's a good point. I'll definitely do my homework. But what if I make a mistake? Making mistakes is a natural part of the learning process. Don't worry too much about it. The locals generally appreciate the effort you make to respect their customs. If you do make a mistake, apologize politely and learn from it. Most people will be understanding and helpful. That's reassuring. Any other suggestions? Yes, immerse yourself in the local culture as much as possible. Try local foods, visit cultural landmarks, and interact with the locals. This will not only enhance your understanding, of their customs, but also enrich your overall travel experience. That sounds like a great approach. I'll make sure to embrace the local culture during my trip. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Enjoy your trip to Japan and have fun learning about their customs. It's an incredible opportunity to broaden your horizons and appreciate the diversity of our world. Safe travels. Touring a health club. Hi there. I'm interested in joining a health club and was wondering if you have any recommendations or tips for touring one. Absolutely. When touring a health club, it's important to assess a few key aspects. First, Consider the facilities they offer. Look for a well-equipped gym with a variety of exercise machines, free weights, and cardio equipment. Additionally, check if they have amenities like a swimming pool, sauna, or group exercise classes that align with your interests. Good point. What about the staff and trainers? The staff and trainers play a crucial role in your experience. During your tour, interact with them to gauge their knowledge, friendliness, and willingness to assist you. Ask about their qualifications and certifications. A supportive and knowledgeable team can greatly enhance your fitness journey. That makes sense. And what about the membership plans and fees? It's important to understand the membership plans and fees upfront. 
Inquire about any initiation fees, monthly dues, or additional charges for specific services. Also, clarify their cancellation policy and any potential long-term commitments. This will help you make an informed decision based on your budget and needs. Thank you for all the helpful information. Is there anything else I should keep in mind during the tour? One more thing to consider is the club's overall atmosphere. Pay attention to the cleanliness, organization, and overall vibe of the facility. It's essential to choose a place where you feel comfortable and motivated to achieve your fitness goals. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the guidance. I feel more prepared to tour health clubs now. Festival greetings. Hey, I just wanted to wish you a very happy festival season. May this special occasion bring joy and prosperity to you and your loved ones. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the warm wishes. I hope the festival fills your life with happiness, love, and endless blessings as well. Absolutely. It's a time to celebrate, come together, and create beautiful memories. May your days be filled with laughter and your heart be filled with contentment during this festive time. That's such a lovely sentiment. I couldn't agree more. Let's embrace the spirit of togetherness and cherish the moments spent with family and friends. Indeed, whether it's exchanging gifts, enjoying delicious food, or participating in traditional rituals, I hope this festival brings you closer to your cultural roots and leaves you with cherished memories. Thank you for your heartfelt wishes. It's conversations like these that make the festival season even more meaningful. May the festival be a time of reflection, gratitude, and immense happiness for you. Thank you, my friend. Let's make the most of this festive season, spreading joy and positivity wherever we go. Happy celebrations to you and your loved ones. Familiar face. Excuse me, but you look really familiar. Have we met before? Actually, I was thinking the same thing. Your face does ring a bell. I'm Sarah, by the way. Sarah, now I remember. We were in the same class back in high school. It's been ages. Oh my goodness. Yes. It's so good to see you again. How have you been all these years? I've been doing well, thank you. Life has been quite the journey since school. And you? Likewise, lots of UPS and downs, but overall, I can complain. It's amazing how time flies, isn't it? Absolutely. It feels like just yesterday, we were sitting in the same classroom, sharing laughs and dreams for the future. Those were some unforgettable times. We had such a great group of friends. I wonder where everyone ended up. That's true. We should organize a reunion someday and catch up with everyone. It would be fantastic to reconnect. I couldn't agree more. Let's exchange contact information and make it happen. It's wonderful to rediscover a familiar face from the past. Definitely. I'm excited to reconnect and relive some of those cherished memories. It's been great running into you, Sarah. Visiting someone in the hospital. Hello, may I come in? I heard you're at the hospital and wanted to visit. Oh, please come in. I've been feeling a bit lonely here. Thank you for visiting me. Of course, I wanted to check on you and see how you're doing. How are you feeling? It's been a tough few days, but I'm hanging in there. Your presence definitely brightens up my day. 
I'm glad to hear that. Is there anything I can do to make your stay more comfortable? Just having someone to talk to and share some laughter is already a great comfort. It gets quite lonely in the hospital sometimes. I understand. I'll stay with you for as long as I can. We can catch up, reminisce, or even watch a movie together if you'd like. That sounds wonderful. Thank you for being here for me. Your visit means a lot. It's my pleasure. You're not alone in this. We'll get through this together. If there's anything you need or if you want to talk, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you, my dear friend. Your support and presence bring me so much comfort. I'm grateful to have you by my side. Paying a private visit. Hello, I hope it's all right that I stopped by for a private visit. Oh, of course. Come on in. I wasn't expecting anyone, but I'm glad to see you. I thought it would be nice to catch up in a more intimate setting. How have you been? I appreciate the gesture. I've been doing all right, just going through some personal challenges. It's good to have someone to talk to. I'm here to lend an ear and offer support. Sometimes it helps to share our thoughts and feelings with a trusted friend. Thank you for understanding. It means a lot to have your support during this time. We all go through difficult periods in life, and it's important to lean on each other. You can count on me. I'm grateful to have you as a friend. Your visit brings some much-needed comfort and companionship. I'm glad I could be here for you. Remember, I'm just a phone call away if you ever need to talk, or if there's anything I can do to help. Thank you, my friend. Your presence brightens up my day. And I truly appreciate your willingness to be there for me. Hotel Safety Good evening. I have some concerns about hotel safety and security. Can you provide me with some information regarding the safety measures in place? Certainly, I understand your concern. Safety is our top priority here. We have several measures in place to ensure the security of our guests. Could you please let me know specific areas you would like information about? I would like to know about the security measures in the hotel premises such as surveillance, access control, and emergency procedures. We have a comprehensive CCTV system in place covering all public areas and entrances. Our security personnel are also present 24-7 to monitor the premises and assist guests. Regarding access control, all entry points are secured with electronic keycards, and only registered guests can access guest floors. As for emergencies, we have a well-defined evacuation plan, clearly marked emergency exits, and smoke detectors in all rooms and common areas. That's reassuring to hear. What about fire safety precautions? Fire safety is of utmost importance to us. We have fire alarms, sprinkler systems, and fire extinguishers strategically placed throughout the hotel. In case of an emergency, we conduct regular fire drills to ensure staff and guest preparedness. That's great to know. Are there any additional safety tips you could provide to guests? Absolutely. We advise guests to keep their room doors locked and to use the in-room safe for valuable belongings. It's also essential to report any suspicious activity or concerns to our staff immediately. We have trained personnel who are ready to assist in any situation. Thank you for providing such detailed information. It gives me peace of mind knowing that safety is a priority here. You're most welcome. We strive to provide a safe and secure environment for all our guests. If you have any further questions or need assistance during your stay, 
Please don't hesitate to contact us. Making an apology. I owe you a sincere apology. I realize now that my words and actions were hurtful, and I deeply regret them. Thank you for acknowledging it. It did hurt, but I appreciate you coming forward to apologize. Can you please explain what led to those words and actions? There's no excuse for my behavior, but I was going through a difficult time and let my emotions get the best of me. It's not an excuse, just an explanation. I understand that we all face challenges, but it's important to remember the impact our words can have on others. It's never easy to admit our mistakes, so I appreciate your honesty. You're right. I should have been more mindful and considerate. I promise to learn from this experience and make amends. I hope you do. Apologies are just the first step. It's important to show through your actions that you're genuinely sorry and committed to change. I completely understand, and I'm committed to making things right. I value our relationship and want to work towards rebuilding trust. I'm willing to give you another chance, but it will take time. Let's move forward, but let's also communicate openly and honestly to avoid similar situations in the future. Thank you for your understanding and forgiveness. I'm grateful for the opportunity to grow and improve as a person. Offering help. Hey, I noticed you've been juggling a lot lately. If there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your kind offer. I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed with everything on my plate, so your help would be greatly appreciated. Of course. What specifically can I assist you with? Are there any specific tasks or projects you need support with? Well, I have a deadline coming up, and I could really use some help with research and gathering data. It's been quite time consuming. I'd be more than happy to help. You can forward me the details and I'll get started right away. Together, we'll tackle this project efficiently. That would be a tremendous help. I can't thank you enough for offering your time and expertise. No need for thanks. We all need a helping hand from time to time. Plus, I know you would do the same for me. You're absolutely right. I appreciate your support, and it means a lot to know that I have someone I can rely on. Thank you once again. You're welcome. Remember, we're in this together. Let's make a plan and work towards easing your workload. Don't hesitate to reach out whenever you need assistance. Borrowing money Hey, I hope you're doing well. I hate to bring this up, but I'm in a bit of a financial bind at the moment. Is there any chance you could lend me some money? Hi, I'm sorry to hear that you're facing financial difficulties. I understand how challenging it can be. Can you give me some details about how much you need and what it's for? Thank you for understanding. I need about $500 to cover some unexpected expenses that came up. It's for a medical bill and car repairs. I see. I want to help you, but I also need to consider my own financial situation. Let me check my budget and see if I can lend you the full amount or a portion of it. I completely understand, and I appreciate your willingness to help. Take your time and let me know what you're comfortable with. After reviewing my budget, I can lend you $300 for now. 
I hope it can provide some relief. We can discuss repayment terms that work for both of us. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate your support. I'll make sure to repay you as soon as I'm able to. We can discuss the details and come up with a plan that suits us both. You're welcome. And I trust that you'll make it right when you're able to. We'll work out the repayment details soon. Remember, I'm here to support you. I won't forget your kindness, and I'll do my best to repay you promptly. Thank you again for being understanding and helping me through this tough time. Refusing Others Hey, I wanted to ask if you'd like to join me for the concert tomorrow night. It's going to be amazing. Thanks for the invite, but I have to decline. I already made plans for tomorrow. I appreciate the offer, though. Oh, no worries. I understand. Maybe next time then? Absolutely. I'd love to join you another time when our schedules align. Just let me know in advance and I'll try my best to make it work. That sounds great. I'll definitely keep you in the loop for future events. It's always more fun to enjoy experiences with friends. I completely agree. By the way, I wanted to ask if you could help me with a project this weekend. It's a bit time consuming, but I think you'd be perfect for it. I appreciate your confidence in me, but I'm swamped with other commitments this weekend. I won't be able to help out. Sorry about that. No problem at all. I completely understand. If anything changes or if there's anything else I can assist you with in the future, feel free to reach out. Thank you for understanding. I'll definitely keep that in mind. We all have busy times, and it's important to support each other's priorities. Absolutely. We're here to help when we can, and it's perfectly alright to say no when we can't. Smart Ways to Improve Your Speaking Skills Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The news if it's some loose shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. What are you getting up to this weekend? Hey, what are you getting up to this weekend? Not sure yet. I'm thinking of hitting the hiking trails. The weather's supposed to be perfect. Oh, that sounds awesome. Which trail are you planning to go to? I'm leaning towards the Pine Ridge Trail. It's got some breathtaking views, and I've been wanting to explore it for a while. Nice choice. I've heard the Pine Ridge Trail is quite a workout, but the views are totally worth it. Yeah, I'm up for the challenge. Plus, I've been cooped up indoors all week, so it'll be great to get some fresh air. Absolutely. Speaking of fresh air, have you thought about camping overnight? You know, I hadn't considered it, 
But now that you mention it, that could be an awesome idea. It would make the whole experience even more memorable. Well, if you decide to camp, let me know. I've got some extra gear you can borrow. Thanks, that's really kind of you. I'll definitely keep that in mind. So, what about you? Any plans for the weekend? I'm thinking of checking out that new art exhibition downtown on Saturday and maybe trying that new restaurant that just opened. Sunday, I'll probably catch up on some reading. Sounds like a well-rounded weekend. Enjoy the art and food and happy reading on Sunday. Thanks, I will. Have a fantastic time on your hike. And if you camp, I hope you have an amazing adventure. Are you keen to get together on Saturday? Hey there, are you keen to get together on Saturday? Absolutely. I've been looking forward to catching up. What did you have in mind? Well, I was thinking we could have a picnic in the park. The weather's supposed to be perfect. That sounds lovely. I'll bring some sandwiches and snacks. What about drinks? Great idea. I'll handle the drinks. How about some refreshing lemonade and iced tea? Perfect. And we should definitely bring a frisbee or some outdoor games to keep us entertained. I was thinking the same thing. I'll pack a frisbee, and we can challenge each other to some friendly competition. Awesome. Also, do you mind if I bring my dog along? He loves the park, and I'm sure he'll enjoy the company. Of course not. I love dogs. It'll be great to have a free friend with us. Fantastic. It's shaping up to be a wonderful Saturday. What time should we meet? How about 12 o'clock p.m.? Gives us plenty of time to set up and enjoy the day. Sounds perfect. I'll see you at noon on Saturday then. Looking forward to it. Likewise. It's going to be a great day. No worries. In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All this. Hey, I heard you had a rough day at work today Yeah, it was pretty hectic, to be honest But hey, no worries that's the spirit. Anything in particular that stressed you out? Just a pile of deadlines and unexpected meetings. You know how it goes. Absolutely. The daily grind can be overwhelming sometimes. Did you manage to catch a break? Not really, but I did sneak in a quick coffee to recharge. It helped a bit. Coffee's always a good idea. Need anything to unwind now? Nah. I'm good for now. I'll probably just Netflix and chill tonight. Sounds like a plan. I'll let you relax then. Remember, if you ever need to vent, I'm here. Thanks, I appreciate that. But seriously, no worries. It's just another day. True, true. Well, take care, and here's to a more relaxed tomorrow. Cheers to that. Have a great evening. Long time no see. Hey. 
Hey there. Long time no see. Oh my goodness. It's been forever. How have you been? I've been good. Just caught up with work and life. You know how it goes. And you? Likewise. Life's been keeping me busy too. But it's great to run into you again. Definitely. Remember the good old days when we used to hang out all the time? Those were some unforgettable times. We should totally catch up soon. Absolutely. We should plan something. How about next weekend? Sounds perfect. Let's do it. Great. I've missed our conversations. Any exciting updates on your end? Well, I got a new job and moved to a different part of town. Life's been an adventure. Wow. Congrats on the new job and the move. That's exciting. Tell me all about it when we meet up. Will do. I can't wait to hear what you've been up to too. It's a date then. Long time no see. But it won't be long till we catch up properly. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Discussing future plans. Hey, I've been thinking about the future a lot lately. What are your plans for the coming years? Oh, the future can be both exciting and uncertain. I'm Samantha, by the way. Nice to meet you. As for my plans, I'm considering pursuing a master's degree in business administration. Nice to meet you too, Samantha. That's a great plan. An MBA can open up a lot of opportunities. Have you decided on any particular specialization? Thank you. I'm leaning towards focusing on marketing. I've always been fascinated by consumer behavior and brand management. That's fantastic. With your passion for marketing, I'm sure you'll excel in that field. As for me, I'm contemplating a career change. I've been working in finance for a while, but I'm considering transitioning into sustainable development. Wow. That sounds like a meaningful and fulfilling career path. The world definitely needs more people working towards sustainable solutions. What steps are you taking to make that transition? I've been taking online courses and attending sustainability conferences to gain more knowledge and network with professionals in the field. I'm also considering volunteering or interning at organizations focused on sustainability. That's a smart approach, taking proactive steps towards your goal. I'm sure you'll make a positive impact in the field. It's inspiring to see people pursuing their passions and making a difference. Thank you, Samantha. It means a lot to hear that. I believe it's important to align our careers with our values. I wish you the best of luck with your MBA and future endeavors. Likewise, it was great talking to you. Best of luck with your career change and your pursuit of sustainability. Let's stay in touch and support each other's journeys. Absolutely, Samantha. Let's definitely stay connected. Thank you for the encouragement. Have a wonderful day, and may all your future plans come to fruition. Marital Problems I think we need to talk about our marital problems. Lately, it feels like we've been drifting apart. I've noticed that too. It's been hard to connect with each other like we used to. What do you think is causing this? I think it's a combination of things. We've both been so busy with work and the kids, we hardly have any time for ourselves or each other. It's like we're just coexisting. You're right. Our hectic schedules have taken a toll on our relationship. Maybe we need to prioritize quality time together and make an effort to reconnect. We need to remember why we fell in love in the first place. I agree. We should set aside dedicated time each week for just the two of us, without any distractions. We need to communicate more openly too. Bottling up our frustrations isn't helping anyone. Absolutely. We need to create a safe space for honest conversations, where we can express our feelings without fear of judgment. It's important for us to actively listen and understand each other's perspectives. 
I also think seeking professional help could be beneficial. A marriage counselor could provide guidance and help us work through our issues. That's a good idea. Let's take that step together. Our relationship is worth fighting for, and I believe we can overcome these challenges with the right support. I love you, and I'm committed to making our marriage stronger. Let's work together and prioritize our family's happiness and well being. I love you too. I'm hopeful that by addressing these marital problems head on, we can rebuild the love and connection we've been missing. Our family deserves a happy and thriving home. Confirmation of names. Excuse me, I made a reservation under the name John Smith. Can you please confirm it for me? Of course. Let me check that for you. May I have your full name, please? John Smith. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I see your reservation right here. You're all set. We have a room reserved for you at the hotel. Great. Thank you. Just to be sure, is the reservation for two nights starting from today? Yes, that's correct. You have a two-night reservation starting today. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Actually, I have a dinner reservation as well at the hotel restaurant. Can you confirm that too? Certainly, Mr. Smith. May I have the name under which the dinner reservation was made? It should be under John Smith as well. Perfect. I see your dinner reservation as well. You're all set for tonight. We'll be expecting you at 7 p.m. Excellent. Thank you for your help and confirmation. You're very welcome, Mr. Smith. If you have any further questions or need any assistance during your stay, feel free to ask. Enjoy your time at our hotel. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's catch up soon. It was great seeing you today. It feels like it's been forever. I know, right? Let's catch up soon. Definitely. How about we grab lunch next week? Are you free on Wednesday? Let me check. Yes, Wednesday works for me. Where should we go? How about that new sandwich place that just opened downtown? I heard their food is amazing. Sounds good to me. What time works for you? How about 12.30 p.m.? Perfect. I'll mark it in my calendar. Looking forward to it. Me too. We'll have to fill each other in on everything. That's been going on in our lives? Definitely. It'll be nice to catch up and see what's new with you. Likewise. I'll text you the details later this week. Sounds good. Can't wait. Arriving in San Francisco. Wow, we're finally here. San Francisco, the city by the bay. The view from the plane was incredible. Absolutely breathtaking. I can't believe we're standing in the heart of San Francisco. Look at all these iconic landmarks around us. The Golden Gate Bridge is even more impressive up close. It's surreal, isn't it? I've always dreamt of visiting this city. I can't wait to explore every nook and cranny. The cable cars, Alcatraz Island, and Fisherman's Wharf are at the top of my list. I'm with you on that. And let's not forget about Chinatown.
the vibrant colors, and authentic cuisine there are a must-see and must-taste. We should also visit the famous Painted Ladies and Lombard Street. Definitely. San Francisco is known for its diverse neighborhoods, so let's immerse ourselves in the local culture. I've heard the Mission District and hate ashbury are vibrant and full of character. Great idea. And we can't leave without trying some of the famous seafood. I've heard the clam chowder in sourdough bread bowls at Pier 39 are to die for. That sounds like the perfect plan. Let's make the most of our time here and create unforgettable memories in the city that has so much to offer. Agreed. San Francisco, here we come. Let's get started on our adventure. Flight delays. Hey, I can't believe our flight got delayed. This is such a frustrating start to our vacation. I know, it's so disappointing. We were so excited to get going. And now we're stuck here at the airport. I hope it doesn't mess up our entire itinerary. We had plans to explore the city as soon as we arrived. Yeah, it's definitely going to throw things off. But let's try to stay positive. Maybe it's just a short delay and we'll be on our way soon. I really hope so. It's just frustrating to sit here, not knowing when we'll be able to leave. And what about our connecting flight? Good point. We should keep an eye on the departure board and see if there are any updates. Maybe we can speak to the airline staff to get more information about our connecting flight. That's a good idea. Let's also make the most of this extra time at the airport. We can grab a bite to eat, catch up on some reading, or even explore the shops here. Absolutely. We might as well make the best of the situation. It's not ideal, but we can still find ways to enjoy ourselves. And who knows, maybe this delay will lead to an unexpected adventure. That's a great way to look at it. Let's stay optimistic and make the most of our time here. Our vacation will still be amazing, despite this setback. I couldn't agree more. Delay or not, we're going to make incredible memories on this trip. Could you recommend something? Hello, how can I help you? Could you recommend something? Certainly. Are you in the mood for something specific, like seafood, pasta, or a vegetarian option? I'm open to anything, but I do love seafood. In that case, I highly recommend our grilled sea base. It's a tender filet of sea base marinated in a flavorful herb sauce, served with a side of roasted asparagus and wild rice. It's a delightful choice for seafood enthusiasts. That sounds fantastic. I'll go with the grilled sea base. And could you bring me a glass of white wine to pair with it? Absolutely. Our house chardonnay pairs beautifully with the sea base. Anything else I can assist you with? Do you have any appetizers that you would recommend? Certainly. Our shrimp cocktail is a popular chase. It features plum, succulent shrimp served with a zesty cocktail sauce. It's a refreshing way to start your meal. That sounds perfect. I'll have the shrimp cocktail as well. Thank you for the recommendation. You're welcome. I'll make sure your order is prepared to perfection. Your shrimp cocktail will be served first, followed by the grilled sea base. Enjoy your meal. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. Job interviews. Good morning. Please have a seat. I'm excited to learn more about you. So, tell me about yourself. Good morning. Thank you for the opportunity. Well, my name is Sarah Johnson, 
and I have a background in marketing. I graduated with a degree in business administration from XYZ University. During my studies, I interned at a renowned advertising agency, where I gained valuable experience in creating and implementing digital marketing strategies. That sounds impressive. Sarah, can you tell me more about your work experience? Absolutely. After graduation, I joined a startup company as a marketing coordinator. In that role, I managed social media campaigns, collaborated with graphic designers for visual content, and analyzed data to measure campaign performance. I successfully increased the company's online presence and engagement by 30%. Great achievements, Sarah. What about your skills and strengths? Thank you. Well, I'm highly proficient in using marketing tools like Google Analytics and social media management platforms. I'm also a creative problem solver and a strong communicator, which has helped me build strong relationships with clients and stakeholders. Additionally, I enjoy staying up to date with the latest industry trends to bring innovative ideas to the table. Impressive, Sarah. How do you see yourself contributing to our company? I believe my experience in digital marketing, along with my passion for creativity and data analysis, would be a great fit for your company's focus on expanding its online presence. I'm excited to contribute my skills in developing effective marketing strategies and driving measurable results. Thank you for sharing, Sarah. It's been great getting to know you. We'll be in touch soon regarding the next steps in the hiring process. Thank you for your time and consideration. I look forward to hearing from you. Talking about travel experiences. Hey there. I couldn't help but notice your backpack. Are you a fellow traveler? Yes, I am. I love exploring new places. I'm Jane, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Jane. I'm Mark. So, what's the most memorable travel experience you've had so far? Oh, there are so many, but one that stands out is when I hiked through the Himalayas in Nepal. The stunning landscapes and the warmth of the local people left a lasting impression on me. How about you, Mark? That sounds incredible, Jane. As for me, I had an amazing time backpacking through Southeast Asia. The vibrant cultures, delicious food, and beautiful beaches made it a truly unforgettable journey. That sounds like a dream. I've always wanted to explore Southeast Asia. Any specific places you recommend? Absolutely. Thailand is a must visit, especially the bustling city of Bangkok and the stunning beaches of Phuket. Vietnam and Cambodia are also worth exploring for their rich history and breathtaking scenery. I'll definitely add them to my bucket list. Thanks for the recommendations, Mark. It's great to meet someone who shares a passion for travel. Likewise, Jane. It's always inspiring to connect with fellow travelers. If you ever need more travel tips or recommendations, feel free to ask. Safe travels and enjoy your future adventures. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. I wish you incredible journeys as well. Stay in touch and happy travels. Discussing future plans. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do Hey. I've been thinking about the future a lot lately. What are your plans for the coming years? Oh, the future can be both exciting and uncertain. I'm Samantha, by the way. Nice to meet you. As for my plans, I'm considering pursuing a master's degree in business administration. Nice to meet you too, Samantha. That's a great plan. An MBA can open up a lot of opportunities. Have you decided on any particular specialization? Thank you. I'm leaning towards focusing on marketing. I've always been fascinated by consumer behavior and brand management. That's fantastic. With your passion for marketing, I'm sure you'll excel in that field. As for me, I'm contemplating a career change. 
I've been working in finance for a while, but I'm considering transitioning into sustainable development. Wow, that sounds like a meaningful and fulfilling career path. The world definitely needs more people working towards sustainable solutions. What steps are you taking to make that transition? I've been taking online courses and attending sustainability conferences to gain more knowledge and network with professionals in the field. I'm also considering volunteering or interning at organizations focused on sustainability. That's a smart approach, taking proactive steps towards your goal. I'm sure you'll make a positive impact in the field. It's inspiring to see people pursuing their passions and making a difference. Thank you, Samantha. It means a lot to hear that. I believe it's important to align our careers with our values. I wish you the best of luck with your MBA and future endeavors. Likewise, it was great talking to you. Best of luck with your career change and your pursuit of sustainability. Let's stay in touch and support each other's journeys. Absolutely, Samantha. Let's definitely stay connected. Thank you for the encouragement. Have a wonderful day and may all your future plans come to fruition. Making Introductions Hi there. I don't believe we've met before. My name is Sarah. What's your name? Hello, Sarah. Nice to meet you. I'm John. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Likewise, John. So, what brings you here today? I'm actually attending this conference on artificial intelligence. It's been quite interesting so far. What about you? Oh, that sounds fascinating. I'm here for the same conference. I've always been intrigued by AI and its potential applications. I'm excited to learn more. That's great to hear. It's always refreshing to meet others who share similar interests. Have you been to any other conferences like this before? Yes, I've attended a few in the past. They've always been enriching experiences, providing valuable insights and networking opportunities. How about you? This is my first time attending a conference on AI. I'm hoping to expand my knowledge and connect with professionals in the field. Any recommendations on which sessions to attend? Absolutely. There's a panel discussion on ethical considerations in AI scheduled for later today. It's definitely worth checking out. I can give you more details if you're interested. That sounds like an important topic. I'd appreciate any information you can share. Thanks for the suggestion, Sarah. You're welcome, John. I'll be happy to fill you in on the details. It's been a pleasure meeting you, and I look forward to the conference discussions. Likewise, Sarah. Thank you for your kindness. Let's keep in touch throughout the conference and exchange insights. Enjoy the rest of your day. Absolutely, John. Let's definitely stay connected. Enjoy the conference as well, and have a wonderful day. Family life. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and miss me. Good morning, everyone. Breakfast is ready. Please come to the table. Good morning, Mom and Dad. We're coming. How did you sleep last night? I slept well, thanks. I had a dream about going to the beach. That sounds like a fun dream. Maybe we can plan a beach trip soon. I had a hard time falling asleep, but once I did, I slept okay. Is there anything on your mind that you want to talk about, sweetie? Well, I've been feeling a little stressed about school lately. The workload is piling up. We understand, and we're here to support you. Let's discuss a plan to manage your time better and reduce stress. We can also reach out to your teachers for any extra help you might need. I'm excited about the family picnic this weekend. Can we go to the park afterward? 
That sounds like a great idea. We can enjoy some outdoor activities together. Let's make a list of games and snacks to bring. Yay! We can't wait. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You're welcome, my darlings. Now let's have a delicious breakfast and start our day off right. There was once a day that I would pray for you, I'd go and miss me. Good morning, everyone. Breakfast is ready. Please come to the table. Good morning, Mom and Dad. We're coming. How did you sleep last night? I slept well, thanks. I had a dream about going to the beach. That sounds like a fun dream. Maybe we can plan a beach trip soon. I had a hard time falling asleep, but once I did, I slept okay. Is there anything on your mind that you want to talk about, sweetie? Well, I've been feeling a little stressed about school lately. The workload is piling up. We understand, and we're here to support you. Let's discuss a plan to manage your time better and reduce stress. We can also reach out to your teachers for any extra help you might need. I'm excited about the family picnic this weekend. Can we go to the park afterward? That sounds like a great idea. We can enjoy some outdoor activities together. Let's make a list of games and snacks to bring. Yay! We can't wait. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You're welcome, my darlings. Now let's have a delicious breakfast and start our day off right. Arriving in San Francisco. Wow, we're finally here. San Francisco, the city by the bay. The view from the plane was incredible. Absolutely breathtaking. I can't believe we're standing in the heart of San Francisco. Look at all these iconic landmarks around us. The Golden Gate Bridge is even more impressive up close. It's surreal, isn't it? I've always dreamt of visiting this city. I can't wait to explore every nook and cranny. The cable cars, Alcatraz Island, and Fisherman's Wharf are at the top of my list. I'm with you on that. And let's not forget about Chinatown. The vibrant colors and authentic cuisine there are a must-see and must-taste. We should also visit the famous Painted Ladies and Lombard Street. Definitely. San Francisco is known for its diverse neighborhoods, so let's immerse ourselves in the local culture. I've heard the Mission District and Hate ashbury are vibrant and full of character. Great idea. And we can't leave without trying some of the famous seafood. I've heard the clam chowder in sourdough bread bowls at Pier 39 are to die for. That sounds like the perfect plan. Let's make the most of our time here and create unforgettable memories in the city that has so much to offer. Agreed. San Francisco, here we come. Let's get started on our adventure. Covering for someone. Hey, I heard you're covering for Sarah today. How's it going? It's been quite hectic, to be honest. Sarah's workload is no joke. I can imagine. She always has so much on her plate. Is there anything I can do to help? Actually, there is something. Could you take care of her meeting with the client at 2 p.m.? I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. Of course, I'll be glad to assist. Could you brief me on the key points I should discuss with the client? Sure thing. 
I'll provide you with a summary of the project and the main objectives we've discussed so far. You can also refer to the client's file for additional details. That sounds good. I'll review the information and make sure to handle the meeting smoothly. Don't worry, I've got your back. Thanks a million. I truly appreciate your help. Let's sync up later to discuss any updates or questions that might come up. Absolutely. We'll touch base before the meeting to finalize our approach. Together, we'll make sure everything runs seamlessly. Resolving a conflict. I think we need to address the issue that came up during our last meeting. There seems to be a miscommunication and it's causing tension between us. I want to find a resolution and move forward positively. I'm glad you brought it up. I've been feeling the same way. And I agree that resolving this conflict is essential for a working relationship. Can you please share your perspective on what went wrong so we can better understand each other's viewpoints? From my understanding, I felt that my input wasn't given enough consideration and it seemed like my ideas were being dismissed. It made me feel undervalued and frustrated. I apologize if it came across that way. That was not my intention at all. I can see now how my responses may have been perceived as dismissive. I truly value your contributions and I want to ensure that your ideas are given the attention they deserve. Thank you for acknowledging that. It means a lot to me. Moving forward, I believe open and respectful communication is crucial. It would be helpful if we actively listen to each other's ideas, provide constructive feedback, and find common ground when we have differing opinions. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Hey, I need to talk to you about something important Is now a good time? Sure, what's on your mind? Well, I've been dealing with some personal matters lately And I need to ask for a leave of absence from work I understand It's essential to prioritize your well-being How much time are you thinking of taking? I was hoping to take a week off to address these issues and take care of myself. I believe it will allow me to return more focused and productive. That sounds reasonable. We all need time to recharge and handle personal matters. Can you provide some details about the situation so we can determine the best course of action? Certainly. I'll provide a written request outlining the circumstances and the dates I'm requesting for leave. I can also suggest some colleagues who could cover for me during that period. Thank you for being proactive about it. I'll review your request and discuss it with the team. We'll do our best to support you and ensure a smooth transition during your absence. I appreciate your understanding and support. Please let me know if you need any further information or if there's anything. I can do to make the process easier. Absolutely. We're here to help. Take the time you need, and we'll be ready to assist you when you're back. Shopping. Hey, it's so nice to see you here. Are you on a shopping spree too? Hi. Yes, I couldn't resist the urge to indulge in some retail therapy. It's always exciting to explore new stores and find hidden gems. What about you? Absolutely. 
Shopping is like a mini adventure for me. I love discovering unique pieces and updating my wardrobe. Plus, it's a great way to unwind and distress. I couldn't agree more. So, any specific items you're on the lookout for today? I'm in need of some new summer dresses and maybe a pair of stylish sandals. How about you? Any particular fashion cravings? Well, I'm eyeing a new handbag and some statement accessories. I feel like they can instantly elevate any outfit. Oh, and I'm also keeping an eye out for a gift for my sister's birthday. That sounds like a fun shopping list. We should browse the stores together and give each other style suggestions. I'd love that. Shopping with a friend is always more enjoyable. We can offer opinions and help each other make the best choices. Absolutely. And if we get tired, we can always take a break at a cave or grab a quick snack to refuel. That's a great idea. Shopping and treating ourselves go hand in hand. Let's make sure to have a memorable day filled with laughter and fabulous finds. I couldn't agree more. Here's to a successful shopping trip and the joy of finding exactly what we're looking for. Cheers! Cheers! May our shopping bags be filled with happiness and style. Let's make this shopping excursion one for the books. Parking problems. Ugh, finding parking in this area is such a nightmare. Tell me about it. We've been driving around for ages, and there's no available spot anywhere. I can't believe how crowded it is. It's like everyone decided to come to this area at the same time. I know, right. And it's not just the lack of parking spaces, but also the confusing signs and restrictions. Absolutely. It's so frustrating trying to figure out where. We can park without getting a ticket. Maybe we should consider a parking garage or lot nearby. It might cost a bit more, but at least we won't have to waste more time searching. That's a good idea. Let's check if there's one nearby. It's better to pay a little extra than drive around in circles. Agreed. Plus, it will save us from the stress and hassle. Let's find a parking garage and get on with our plans. Taking a taxi. Excuse me, taxi. Could you take us to the airport, please? Sure thing. Hop in. Which terminal are you heading to? We're flying out from Terminal 2. Noted. We'll take the quickest route to get you there on time. Buckle up, folks. Thank you, driver. We're running a bit late, so any shortcuts would be appreciated. No worries. I know a few shortcuts that can help us beat the traffic. By the way, have you checked in online? Yes, we have. We just need to drop off our bags at the counter. Great. I'll make sure to get you there with plenty of time for check-in. How long do you have until your flight? Our flight is scheduled to depart in about an hour and a half. Noted. We'll make it, don't worry. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around, I feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose it fits. I'm losing shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. 
Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Are you passionate about cooking? Ready to turn your culinary adventures into a fun-filled English learning journey? Welcome to Do You Like Cooking? Where we blend the art of cooking with the magic of mastering English. Ready to embark on a mouth-watering journey where cooking and English go hand in hand? Hit that subscribe button, join our culinary classroom, and savor the flavors of English like never before. Stay tuned for our first scrumptious episode. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Ingredient mix-up. Oh, I think I've made a mistake. Is this sugar or salt? Yikes! It's hard to tell. Let me smell it. Sniffs. Hum, it's a bit tricky, but I'm leaning towards salt. Salt in my cookies? That would be a disaster. Maybe I should taste a tiny bit to confirm? Be careful with that. Just a tiny bit on the tip of your finger. It's definitely salt. Oh no, I meant to use sugar. What can we do now? Well, you could try to balance it out. Add some extra sugar to the mix, but not too much. We don't want overly sweet cookies either. Okay, I'll add a little more sugar, and hopefully, it'll turn out okay. Crisis averted, I hope. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. And sometimes, unexpected twists can lead to delicious surprises in cooking. Let's hope this is one of those times. Thanks for the help, and let's keep our fingers crossed for these cookies. Anytime. And remember, it's all part of the fun in the kitchen. Enjoy the baking adventure. Recipe Review Dinner was fantastic tonight. That new recipe really hit the spot. I'm glad you enjoyed it. What did you think of the flavors? The combination of herbs and spices in that dish was incredible. It had just the right amount of cake. I'm so happy to hear that. And what about the texture? Did the chicken turn out tender enough? Absolutely. The chicken was perfectly tender and juicy. Plus, the sauce had a nice balance of creaminess and tanginess. That's great to know. I was a little worried about the sauce consistency. Well, it turned out beautifully. I'll definitely be requesting this dish again in the future. Overcooking Oh no, I got distracted and overcooked the pasta again. It happens to the best of us. How bad is it? They're way too soft and mushy. I was aiming for al dente. Well, we can salvage this. Drain the pasta immediately and run cold water over it to stop the cooking process. Okay, done. But will that really help? It should help firm them up a bit. Now, let's make a quick sauce to distract from the texture. What do you have on hand? 
I've got some canned tomatoes, garlic, and olive oil. Perfect. Let's make a simple tomato sauce. Solder the garlic and olive oil until it's fragrant. Then add the canned tomatoes and simmer. Add some herbs and seasonings to taste. Got it. It's already smelling good. See, cooking mishaps can sometimes lead to unexpected deliciousness. Just remember, practice makes perfect. And next time, you'll nail that pasta. Thanks for the encouragement. Let's hope this sauce distracts from the overcooked pasta. Taste testing. Ma'am, something's missing in this soup. Really? I thought I followed the recipe exactly. What do you think it needs? It's close, but I think it could use a bit more salt to bring out the flavors. All right, let's try that. Anything else? Hum, maybe a hint of acidity. How about a squeeze of lemon juice? Like this? Perfect. That added brightness I was looking for. Now it's just right. I'm glad you're here to help me fine-tune the flavors. Cooking is always better when it's a team effort. Absolutely. And it's all about personal taste. Everyone's palate is unique. Well, thank you for being my taste tester. Dinner is served. It's delicious now. Bon appétit. Bon appétit indeed. Thanks for your culinary wisdom. Multitasking I'm trying to multitask, but it's getting chaotic in here. Tell me about it. Cooking can be a real juggling act. What are you working on? I'm making a stir-fry and boiling rice, but I also need to prep a salad for tomorrow's lunch. Ambitious. I'm handling spaghetti and a tomato sauce, but my phone keeps ringing with messages. I just hope I don't mix up the ingredients between the stir-fry and the salad. That could be interesting. You have a unique fusion dish on your hands. Oh no, I forgot about the rice. And I left the sauce simmering too long. We're in a real race against time here. Crisis averted. Now, let's plate the stir fry and salad. We did it. High five for multitasking chefs. Absolutely. And despite the chaos, the food looks delicious. It's worth the effort. Cooking may be a challenge, but it's so rewarding. Agreed. Now, let's sit down and enjoy our well-earned meal. Borrowing money. Hey, I hope you're doing well. I hate to bring this up, but I'm in a bit of a financial bind at the moment. Is there any chance you could lend me some money? Hi, I'm sorry to hear that you're facing financial difficulties. I understand how challenging it can be. Can you give me some details about how much you need and what it's for? Thank you for understanding. I need about $500 to cover some unexpected expenses that came up. It's for a medical bill and car repairs. I see. I want to help you, but I also need to consider my own financial situation. Let me check my budget and see if I can lend you the full amount or a portion of it. I completely understand, and I appreciate your willingness to help. Take your time and let me know what you're comfortable with. After reviewing my budget, I can lend you $300 for now. I hope it can provide some relief. We can discuss repayment terms that work for both of us. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate your support. I'll make sure to repay you as soon as I'm able to. We can discuss the details and come up with a plan that suits us both. 
You're welcome. And I trust that you'll make it right when you're able to. We'll work out the repayment details soon. Remember, I'm here to support you. I won't forget your kindness, and I'll do my best to repay you promptly. Thank you again for being understanding and helping me through this tough time. Introducing nearby locations. Hi there. I just moved to the neighborhood. Can you tell me about any interesting nearby locations worth exploring? Absolutely. Welcome to the neighborhood. There are a few places you might find interesting. First, we have a lovely park just a couple of blocks away. It's perfect for a relaxing stroll or a picnic. That sounds wonderful. I'll definitely check out the park. Any other recommendations? Of course. We also have a vibrant local market nearby. It's a great place to discover fresh produce, local artisans, and delicious street food. That sounds like a place I'd love to visit. I enjoy exploring local markets. Anything else? Yes, there's a charming cafe just around the corner. They serve excellent coffee and have a cozy atmosphere. It's a perfect spot to unwind or meet up with friends. I'm always up for a good cup of coffee. I'll make sure to stop by the cafe. Thank you for the recommendations. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your time exploring the neighborhood and discovering these nearby gems. If you need more suggestions or have any other questions, feel free to ask. I appreciate your help. I'll definitely reach out if I need more information. Thanks again. No problem at all. Have a fantastic time settling in and getting to know the area. Welcome once again. Refusing others. Hey, I wanted to ask if you'd like to join me for the concert tomorrow night. It's going to be amazing. Thanks for the invite, but I have to decline. I already made plans for tomorrow. I appreciate the offer, though. Oh, no worries. I understand. Maybe next time then? Absolutely. I'd love to join you another time. When our schedules align, just let me know in advance, and I'll try my best to make it work. That sounds great. I'll definitely keep you in the loop for future events. It's always more fun to enjoy experiences with friends. I completely agree. By the way, I wanted to ask if you could help me with a project this weekend. It's a bit time consuming, but I think you'd be perfect for it. I appreciate your confidence in me, but I'm swamped with other commitments this weekend. I won't be able to help out. Sorry about that. No problem at all. I completely understand. If anything changes or if there's anything else I can assist you with in the future, feel free to reach out. Thank you for understanding. I'll definitely keep that in mind. We all have busy times, and it's important to support each other's priorities. Absolutely. We're here to help when we can, and it's perfectly alright to say no when we can't. Finding the right apartment Hey, I've been searching for a new apartment, and I could use some advice. How did you find the right place when you were apartment hunting? Sure, happy to help. When I was looking for an apartment, I started by making a list of my must-haves and deal breakers. It helped me stay focused during my search. What are your priorities? Well, I need a pet-friendly place with a washer dryer in the unit. I also prefer a quiet neighborhood with good public transportation access. Budget-wise, I'm looking for something within a certain range. Those are great starting points. I recommend checking online listings and reaching out to real estate agents. Also, consider driving or walking around neighborhoods you like to see if there are any 
for rent, signs. It can be helpful to visit potential apartments in person to get a feel for the place and the surrounding area. That makes sense. I'll definitely take those steps. Did you come across any challenges during your search? Definitely. It's important to be patient and persistent. Some apartments might not meet all your criteria, but don't settle for something that doesn't feel right. Keep searching, and I'm sure you'll find the perfect place that fits your needs and feels like home. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully, I'll find my dream apartment soon. You're welcome. Best of luck with your search. I'm sure you'll find an amazing apartment that checks all your boxes. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any more help along the way. Department. Hey, I've been searching for a new apartment, and I could use some advice. How did you find the right place when you were apartment hunting? Sure, happy to help. When I was looking for an apartment, I started by making a list of my must-haves and deal breakers. It helped me stay focused during my search. What are your priorities? Well, I need a pet-friendly place with a washer dryer in the unit. I also prefer a quiet neighborhood with good public transportation access. Budget-wise, I'm looking for something within a certain range. Those are great starting points. I recommend checking online listings and reaching out to real estate agents. Also, consider driving or walking around neighborhoods you like to see if there are any for rent signs. It can be helpful to visit potential apartments in person to get a feel for the place and the surrounding area. That makes sense. I'll definitely take those steps. Did you come across any challenges during your search? Definitely. It's important to be patient and persistent. Some apartments might not meet all your criteria, but don't settle for something that doesn't feel right. Keep searching, and I'm sure you'll find the perfect place that fits your needs and feels like home. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully, I'll find my dream apartment soon. You're welcome. Best of luck with your search. I'm sure you'll find an amazing apartment that checks all your boxes. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any more help along the way. Learning new customs. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm really excited about my upcoming trip to Japan, but I'm a bit nervous about unfamiliar customs. Do you have any tips for learning and adapting to new customs? Absolutely. Learning new customs can be both challenging and rewarding. One key tip is to do some research before your trip. Read about the local customs, traditions, and etiquette in Japan. Understanding basic greetings, table manners, and gift-giving practices can go a long way in showing respect. That's a good point. I'll definitely do my homework. But what if I make a mistake? Making mistakes is a natural part of the learning process. Don't worry too much about it. The locals generally appreciate the effort you make to respect their customs. If you do make a mistake, apologize politely and learn from it. Most people will be understanding and helpful. That's reassuring. Any other suggestions? Yes. Immerse yourself in the local culture as much as possible. Try local foods, visit cultural landmarks, and interact with the locals. This will not only enhance your understanding of their customs, but also enrich your overall travel experience. That sounds like a great approach. I'll make sure to embrace the local culture during my trip. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Enjoy your trip to Japan and have fun learning about their customs. It's an incredible opportunity to broaden your horizons and appreciate the diversity of our world. Safe travels. Conveying messages for guests.
Hi there. I'm the new receptionist. I noticed we have some messages for our guests. How do we typically convey them? Welcome to the team. When we have messages for guests, we usually deliver them through their room phones or leave written notes in their rooms. What messages do we have? We have three messages. One is for Mr. Anderson regarding a package delivery. The second is for Miss Johnson. Her colleague called and left a callback number. And the third is for Mr. Thompson. His dinner reservation has been confirmed for tonight. Great. Let's start with Mr. Anderson. I'll call his room and inform him about the package. Could you write down the details for the other messages? I'll make sure they receive them as well. Sure, I'll jot down the information. Once you're done with Mr. Anderson, I'll leave the notes in the respective rooms for Miss Johnson and Mr. Thompson. Perfect. Let's handle these messages efficiently and ensure our guests receive the information in a timely manner. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Thank you for your guidance. I appreciate your support. Let's get these messages delivered promptly and provide excellent service to our guests. Absolutely. We're a team and together, we'll make sure our guests have a great experience. Let's go above and beyond for them. I'll be right back. Hey, do you have a minute to talk about the new project? Sure, what's up? I just wanted to get your thoughts on the design proposal before we submit it. Oh, okay. Let me take a look. Great, I'll pull it up. What do you think about the color scheme? Hmm, I'm not sure. Can you give me a second to think? Yeah, take your time. Actually, I need to step out for a moment. Can we continue this in a few minutes? Oh, sure. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just need to take care of something really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, no problem. I'll wait for you here. Thanks, I won't be long. Lost. Hey, have you seen my tag anywhere? I can't seem to find it. Your tag? What does it look like? Where did you last see it? It's a small rectangular tag with my name and contact information on it. I usually attach it to my backpack. I last saw it this morning before I left for work, but now it's gone. Hum, did you check all the pockets in your backpack? Sometimes things can get misplaced inside. Yeah. I've checked every pocket multiple times, but it's not there. I'm starting to get worried. I need it for identification purposes. Don't panic just yet. Have you retraced your steps? Maybe it fell off somewhere along the way. That's a good idea. I'll try going back to the places I visited today and see if I can spot it. Hopefully, someone picked it up and will return it. Stay positive. I'm sure you'll find it soon. If not, consider getting a replacement tag made just in case. You're right. I'll keep looking and order a new tag if necessary. Thanks for your help and support. No problem. Good luck finding your tag. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to assist you. International Direct Call Hi, I need to make an international direct call. Do you know if there's a phone service available for that? Absolutely. We have international direct dialing available for our customers. 
Which country are you trying to call? I need to reach someone in France. Can you assist me with the necessary dialing instructions? Certainly. To make a direct call to France, you'll need to dial the international access code, followed by the country code for France, and then the recipient's phone number. The international access code for most countries is 00, so you would dial 00, then 33 for France, and finally, the recipient's phone number. Thank you for explaining. I really appreciate it. Is there a phone I can use to make the call? Yes, we have public phones available in the lobby for international calls. You can also use your room phone, but please be aware that international calls may incur additional charges. I can provide you with the rates, if you'd like. I'll use the public phone in the lobby. I'm aware of the potential charges. Thank you for your assistance. I'll make the call now. You're welcome. If you have any further questions or need any additional help, feel free to ask. Have a successful call and let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Inquiring room number. Excuse me, do you happen to know what room number Dr. Johnson is in? Dr. Johnson? I'm not sure, but I can check the directory for you. Give me a moment. Thank you. I appreciate it. I need to speak with him about an important matter. All right, let's see. Oh, here it is. Dr. Johnson is in room 305 on the third floor. Room 305. Got it. Thank you so much. I'll head there right away. You're welcome. I hope everything goes well with your conversation. Me too. I have some urgent questions that I need his expertise on. I'm sure Dr. Johnson will be able to assist you. If you have any more inquiries or need further assistance, feel free to ask. I appreciate your help. If I have any more questions, I'll be sure to reach out. Thanks again. No problem at all. Good luck with your meeting. Conveying messages for guests. Hi there. I'm the new receptionist. I noticed we have some messages for our guests. How do we typically convey them? Welcome to the team. When we have messages for guests, we usually deliver them through their room phones or leave written notes in their rooms. What messages do we have? We have three messages. One is for Mr. Anderson regarding a package delivery. The second is for Miss Johnson. Her colleague called and left a callback number. And the third is for Mr. Thompson. His dinner reservation has been confirmed for tonight. Great. Let's start with Mr. Anderson. I'll call his room and inform him about the package. Could you write down the details for the other messages? I'll make sure they receive them as well. Sure, I'll jot down the information. Once you're done with Mr. Anderson, I'll leave the notes in the respective rooms for Miss Johnson and Mr. Thompson. Perfect. Let's handle these messages efficiently and ensure our guests receive the information in a timely manner. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Thank you for your guidance. I appreciate your support. Let's get these messages delivered promptly and provide excellent service to our guests. Absolutely. We're a team and together, we'll make sure our guests have a great experience. Let's go above and beyond for them. direct call. Hi, I need to make an international direct call. Do you know if there's a phone service available for that? Absolutely. We have international direct dialing available for our customers. 
Which country are you trying to call? I need to reach someone in France. Can you assist me with the necessary dialing instructions? Certainly. To make a direct call to France, you'll need to dial the international access code, followed by the country code for France, and then the recipient's phone number. The international access code for most countries is 00, so you would dial 00, then 33 for France, and finally, the recipient's phone number. Thank you for explaining. I really appreciate it. Is there a phone I can use to make the call? Yes, we have public phones available in the lobby for international calls. You can also use your room phone, but please be aware that international calls may incur additional charges. I can provide you with the rates, if you'd like. I'll use the public phone in the lobby. I'm aware of the potential charges. Thank you for your assistance. I'll make the call now. You're welcome. If you have any further questions or need any additional help, feel free to ask. Have a successful call and let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Other services to the room guests. Good afternoon. I hope you're enjoying your stay with us. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Actually, there is something I need help with. I've been having trouble connecting to the WIFI. Is there a way you can assist me in getting it set up? Absolutely. I apologize for the inconvenience. Let's troubleshoot that for you. Could you please provide me with your room number? Sure, it's room 315. Thank you. I'll check the network settings for that room and see if there's any issue. In the meantime, would you like a complimentary welcome basket delivered to your room? That's very thoughtful. Yes, I would appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll make a note of it. Regarding the WI fee, I'll contact our technical support team right away to resolve the connectivity issue. They'll be able to assist you shortly. Thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate your prompt attention to these matters. It's my pleasure. We strive to ensure our guests have a comfortable stay. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. Being locked out of the fire exit. Oh no, the fire exit is locked. We can't get out this way. What do we do? Stay calm. Let's try to find an alternative route. Is there another exit nearby that we can use? I'm not sure. Let's check the floor plan. According to the map, there should be another exit on the opposite side of the building. We'll have to make our way there. All right, let's hurry and head towards that exit. We shouldn't waste any time. Remember to stay cautious and follow any emergency protocols we come across. Agreed. Safety is our top priority. We need to alert someone about the locked fire exit too. Let's find a staff member or security personnel on our way and inform them about the situation. That's a good idea. They should be able to take immediate action to unlock the fire exit and ensure it doesn't happen again. Let's keep an eye out for any staff members as we make our way to the alternate exit. Absolutely. Hopefully, we can resolve this quickly and ensure the safety of everyone in the building. Let's stay focused and move swiftly towards the other exit. Transfer service. Hi there. I'm wondering if there's a transfer service available to get me from the airport to the hotel. Absolutely. We provide a transfer service for our guests. When is your flight arriving and which airport will you be landing at? My flight is scheduled to arrive at 6.30 p.m. 
At the international airport. Perfect. We can arrange a pickup for you. Would you prefer a private car or a shared shuttle? I think a private car would be more convenient for me. Noted. I'll arrange a private car to be waiting for you at the airport when you arrive. Can you please provide me with your flight details, including the airline and flight number? Sure. It's flight ABC 123 with XYZ Airlines. Thank you. I'll make sure the driver is aware of your arrival time and flight details. Once you collect your luggage, the driver will meet you at the designated meeting point. Do you have any other questions or requirements? No, that sounds perfect. Thank you for organizing the transfer service. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to assist you. Have a safe flight, and we look forward to welcoming you at the airport. If you need any further assistance, feel free to let us know. Message service. Hey, I just received an important message, but I won't be able to respond right away. Do you mind helping me with the message service? Of course. I'd be happy to assist. What do you need me to do? Thank you so much. Can you please send a reply to this message and let them know that I'm currently unavailable, but I'll get back to them as soon as possible? Absolutely. Could you provide me with the details of the message so I can draft an appropriate response? Certainly. The message is from John Doe, and he's inquiring about the upcoming meeting. Please let him know that. I'm unable to respond immediately due to prior commitments, but I'll provide a detailed response by the end of the day. Noted. I'll send the message on your behalf, assuring John that you'll get back to him by the end of the day. Is there anything else you'd like me to include? That should cover it. Thank you for handling this for me. I appreciate your assistance. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. I'll make sure to convey the message accurately. Just let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The news it fits. I'm losing shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Yes, please. Would you like a slice of this homemade chocolate cake? It's incredibly rich and decadent. Yes, please. That sounds absolutely delicious. Great. Here you go. I also whipped up some fresh whipped cream to go with it. Oh, you're spoiling me. Thanks so much. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy it. By the way, have you seen the new movie that just came out? I heard it's fantastic. Yes, I did. It was amazing. 
The plot twists had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. That's awesome. I've been wanting to watch it. I'll have to check it out this weekend. You definitely should. It's worth it. Thanks for the recommendation. And speaking of weekends, any plans for yours? Well, I'm thinking of going hiking on Saturday and maybe having a picnic. Sunday, I'm just going to relax at home. Sounds like a perfect weekend. Enjoy your cake and your outdoor adventure. Thanks. I will. I'll check if I'm free. Hey, I was wondering if you'd like to join us for the concert on Friday night. It's going to be so much fun. I'll check if I'm free. Sounds like a good time. Awesome. Let me know as soon as you can because I need to buy the ticket soon. Yeah, I'll get back to you by tomorrow for sure. Cool, thanks. And have you thought about that road trip we discussed? It could be a great adventure. I'll check if I'm free for that too. It's something I've always wanted to do. That would be amazing. Just let me know whenever you can, and we can start. Planning. Will do. It sounds like a fantastic idea. By the way, did you want to grab coffee this weekend? I'll check if I'm free, but that should work for me. I'll confirm with you later. No problem. Just text me when you know. It'll be great. Catching up. Sounds good. Thanks for understanding. Anytime. Let's catch up soon. Whether it's the concert, the road trip, or just a coffee meetup. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. It's been one of those days. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make Hey, how are you doing today? Oh, it's been one of those days, you know. I hear you. What's been going on? Well, I woke up late, spilled coffee on my shirt, and then my computer crashed right before our big presentation. Yikes, that does sound like a rough day. Did the presentation go okay in the end? Surprisingly, yes. Managed to reboot my computer just in time and pull it off, but it was stressful. I can imagine. Sometimes, everything seems to go wrong all at once. Exactly. And then, my car got a flat tire on the way home, so now I'm stuck here waiting for the tow truck. That's some bad luck. I hope the rest of your day gets better from here. Thanks, I really need it. How about you? How's your day been? Not too bad, actually. Just the usual work stuff, but nothing as eventful as your day. Well, lucky you. Maybe some of your good vibes will rub off on me. I hope so. Hang in there, this day can only get better from here. I sure hope you're right. Thanks for listening. Thanks a million. Hey, I wanted to thank you for helping me move over the weekend. It made a huge difference. No problem at all. Happy to lend a hand. Moving can be quite a task. Seriously, it was a lifesaver. You saved me so much time and stress. Don't mention it. Friends help each other out, right? Thanks a million, though. I couldn't have done it without you. Can I treat you to lunch sometime this week? That's really sweet of you, but no need for that. I was glad to help, and we can catch. Up any time. Well, let me know if you change your mind. I owe you one. How about you owe me a favor in return? Just kidding. But seriously, don't worry about it. You're the best. Thanks again.
You made the whole process so much smoother. Anytime, my friend. And if you ever need help with anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks a million. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Take care and let's catch up soon. Staying in touch. It's been ages since we last caught up. How have you been? We really need to stay in touch more often. I couldn't agree more. Life has been keeping me busy, but I've missed our conversations. It's great to hear from you. I feel the same way. Time flies by so quickly, and it's easy to lose touch. Let's make a pact to stay connected regularly, whether through phone calls, texts, or even video chats. That sounds like a plan. I've realized how important. It is to nurture friendships and keep the bonds strong. We should set a specific day or time each month to catch up, so it becomes a habit. I like that idea. How about the first Sunday of every month? We can have a virtual coffee date, or just chat about what's been happening in our lives. Perfect. Consider it set. I'm looking forward to a monthly catch UPS. It's important to make time for the people who matter to us. Absolutely. Life gets busy, but friends like you are worth prioritizing. Let's promise to stay in touch and never let too much time pass between our conversations. Agreed. Cheers to staying connected and keeping our friendships strong. Making introductions. Hi there. I don't believe we've met before. My name is Sarah. What's your name? Hello, Sarah. Nice to meet you. I'm John. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Likewise, John. So, what brings you here today? I'm actually attending this conference on artificial intelligence. It's been quite interesting so far. What about you? Oh, that sounds fascinating. I'm here for the same conference. I've always been intrigued by AI and its potential applications. I'm excited to learn more. That's great to hear. It's always refreshing to meet others who share similar interests. Have you been to any other conferences like this before? Yes, I've attended a few in the past. They've always been enriching experiences, providing valuable insights and networking opportunities. How about you? This is my first time attending a conference on AI. I'm hoping to expand my knowledge and connect with professionals in the field. Any recommendations on which sessions to attend? Absolutely. There's a panel discussion on ethical considerations in AI scheduled for later today. It's definitely worth checking out. I can give you more details if you're interested. That sounds like an important topic. I'd appreciate any information you can share. Thanks for the suggestion, Sarah. You're welcome, John. I'll be happy to fill you in on the details. It's been a pleasure meeting you, and I look forward to the conference discussions. Likewise, Sarah. Thank you for your kindness. Let's keep in touch throughout the conference and exchange insights. Enjoy the rest of your day. Absolutely, John. Let's definitely stay connected. Enjoy the conference as well, and have a wonderful day. Financial problems. I think we need to talk about our financial problems. It's becoming increasingly difficult to make ends meet, and it's causing a lot of stress in our lives. I know. The bills keep piling up and it feels like we're constantly struggling to make payments. We need to find a way to get our finances back on track. I've been thinking about it, and I believe we need to create a budget and stick to it. 
We have to prioritize our expenses and cut back on unnecessary spending. You're right. We need to be more disciplined with our money. It might be tough at first, but I think we can find areas where we can reduce our expenses. We should also consider finding additional sources of income. Maybe I can take up a part-time job, or we can explore other ways to supplement our earnings. That's a good idea. It's time to explore all our options. We might need to make some sacrifices in the short term, but it will be worth it in the long run. I think it would also be helpful for us to seek financial advice. Maybe we can consult a financial planner who can guide us in managing our money more effectively. I agree. We shouldn't be ashamed to ask for help. Getting professional advice can give us a clear picture of our financial situation and provide us with strategies to improve it. Together, we can overcome these financial challenges. Let's support each other and stay focused on our goals. Our family's financial stability is important, and I believe we can achieve it with determination and perseverance. I'm with you. We'll work through this together and come out stronger. Our love and determination will guide us through these tough times. Welcoming the old guest. Good morning. Welcome back to our hotel. It's wonderful to see you again, Mr. Bean. How have you been? Good morning. It's a pleasure to be back. I've been well, thank you. It feels great to return to a place that feels like a second home. We're delighted to have you back. Your presence is always appreciated. Can I assist you with the check-in process or provide any information about our services? Thank you. I have already checked in online, so I just need 